Yeah, you don't. You ready for Jesus fuck? Didn't think that's gonna be that loud. Like you're running out of time. Fourth day and night, like you're running out of time. Every day you arc like you're running out of time. Keep on forfing in the meantime. Hey! <laughs> Friday night jump scare. Suddenly cure you. Um, hey, welcome. Happy Friday. Uh, we're gonna finish this game. Shoutouts to me starting on time for the first time since, I think, January 2nd. Um, I had to get up early and do a bunch of stuff. Which means I'm tired, but the plus side is on time, boys. So, we're gonna hop into it, because I'm hoping... I think we have a bit left, and I want to finish it. Because, uh, the rare pizza time in a Friday night transition. It's, it's a potent thing. Um, it's a St. Patrick's miracle, as is me wearing a green shirt. Definitely intentional. Uh, yeah. Wow, he's early. I know. I keep scheduling this as my starting time, but I never actually start now. But we're gonna do it. It's a miracle. Um, I think we can. I, again, I don't remember exactly how much is left, but just, just judging off of what the plots seem to be converging. So, we're gonna get into it. Um, it's a miracle, as it is. Thank you so much. Thanks for the, the hype train. Um... We're, we're, uh, uh, we're, we're in the deeps. Oh, right. I, I didn't pick the extended. I'm not used to it ending after a minute hey, and a half. Chat, don't be shy. Grab a piece of pie or a loaf of rye. If you're hungry, you should grab a snack or a little bite. Or you could just go ahead and spoil your appetite. I have the honor to be your sandwich ingredient. Slice of ham. Thank you very much. You can finish it, but can you finish the, the Banui? The Nintendo. The Nintendo 64. It's a lot of hammies. Telling the Thank story you. of its body. It's birthdays. It's birthdays. the expansion pack. Thank you. Happy birthdays. Tears of the Kingdom pre-order. Bonus in Japan's a fork and a spoon. That's incredible. My god. Fork knife is real. Um Can we finish the Banui? Uh maybe. If people really nice. want me to finish the little mini games we can see how we're doing maybe maybe if we're getting to the end of the game and we're it's not like seven hours in the stream because we'll see uh if enough people want it we can try um happy birthdays uh let me let me let me get caught up here thank you very much um very appreciated the banui is very good it's true it's just i don't know it's not high on my... Like, I want to get to the end of the game. <laughs> so we'll see what we do. Uh, what if it's six hours? Then maybe. It might be six hours of stream. Yeah. But, uh... First stream of the game, can I stay? Of course you can. No, you gotta watch the VODs first. And then, no, of course. Fuck. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna uh, get going in just a minute here. More evidence. It's true. We're one step closer to Ling Tingle takes the Holy Land. It's gonna happen. Ready to take notes? Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, let's... It's latent. Turn off your brain. <laughs> T turn off all the parts of your brain you don't need to solve puzzles, and then you're good. Um, Jinx, thank you uh, for 41 months. Uh, whoa, live early, unprecedented, I know. It's funny that when I start, when I actually have in the schedule, I'll start, everyone's like, oh my god, he's early, because I'm on time. Normally I'm just late, that's the difference. Thank you. Uh, Dizzy at five ma, thanks for 13 months. Welcome back. Wire Mouse, thanks for 34 months. Ordering some takeout and snuggling up with my dog for a nice Friday night berry stream. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Danyasha, thanks for 25 months. Finally made it over the hump. Welcome back. Dizzy at 5 months. Thanks for the 100 bits. In addition to your sub. Thank you. Manochi, thanks for 13 months. Uh, do, 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 do. Been catching up with the VODs from Miracle Mask. The nostalgia trip with the latent series you brought so far has been palpable. Thought I should drop by for the finale while I work on commissions. Where does Curse Key come from? Hey, you know. It's been lurking. Hanging out. Waiting. Alright, catching up Minish Cap. Damn, that's not that long ago. So you, you're good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did the police figure out that maybe it wasn't the one rich guy, possibly the other rich guy? Not yet. <laughs> I, I, my, my hopes are not high, but... You know. We did learn through a side conversation that... Um, uh, uh, Inspector Bloom is sus... It was an optional episode where he was just like, hmm, yes, according to plan. And it was like, huh? Okay. That's a bit. Of... Minish Cap was six months ago. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'll believe you. 
Uh, and Rian, thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. Thanks for the stream's vibes. Thanks for enjoying them. Dizzy, it's five mo with a hammy. My God. The sub, the bits, and the hammy. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good Friday. John, 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 John. John, John. John. Zekruel, thanks for 25 bits. Choo choo. Cola, thanks for 29. Early start in my fair stream. Crazy. I know. Rosebud will thank you for the hammy. Gonna have to catch the big ending in Vaudlin. Looking forward to this plot twist the next few days. Happy Friday night. Enjoy the vibe when you get to it. What do you mean, plot twist? What latent game has ever had a plot twist at the 11th hour? Certainly not this game. Have a good bar day. Exactly. Ain't been no Nintendo in this woods since 1892. Minish Cap hasn't lived here for 60 years. <laughs> There hasn't been a stream here in 85 years. Uh, Ramens! Even the Amy. Continuing the tradition of giving bits to the streamer in honor of my and Nerf's B Day. Happy Friday night. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Happy birthdays to both the Ramens and Nerf. Thank you. It's not at all necessary, but definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome, Fox. Thanks for 11 months. Ah, daylight savings. You're streaming before my bedtime, but I'm catching up on the VODs. Back to Vodland I go. Hello, future me. Enjoy Layton. Remember, folks, when you say Paddy's Day, you make an Irish person mad. Every time you say Paddy's Day, an Irish man gets his wings. His wings are his names for his fists up. Gets them up. Put up your dukes. Thank you. Uh, Trumpet Wings. Thanks for 69 bits. Nice. And soup. I had exactly 64 bits left. Have soup. Nice. I mean soup. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's get a pint of beer. Yeah. That's what I have in here. Just beer. Spare change before payday. Thank you for the 94 bits. Heck. Appreciate it. His chicken wings. Yeah. Ooh. St. Patrick's Day chicken wings. Pouring out for all the snakes. So that they slither into the pub and lap it up. Anyway. Um. Thank you very much. Um. He feels the scar. I mean... He probably says that without you saying Patty. But it's fine. Anyway, um, happy Friday. There was a poll redeem. How'd I miss that? Probably because I was reading alerts. Thank you. I, uh, uh, thoroughly knocked out of me. Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. Elix. Oh. Okay. Let me, let me, let me get this poll going for you. It's St. Patrick's Day. Should I buy a bottle of... Should Elix buy a bottle of Bushmills, a bottle of Jameson, a bottle of Bailey's, and a shoe to drink it from, dig into the collection, or total sobriety? Drinking Bailey's from a shoe. In the time-honored tradition of the patron saint of St. Patrick's Day, Old Greg. Xanry, thanks for four years! Hell, that's many. That's a lot. Thank you. Enjoy your key card. You can hold it up and it goes boop boop, and the door slides open. It's all fancy. Thank you. Welcome back. Sounds like a waste of Baileys. <laughs> if you've never drank Baileys from a shoe, you haven't lived. Bam. Um, okay, well, this is next in the playlist. We need to get back to the emotional stakes of what's about to happen. Um, you ever drink Bailey's from a shoe? Thanks for the hydrate. So, um, in case you missed last time, or maybe I had to leave early, um, we are in a bar singing Baka Uh, we are delving into the depths of an ancient tomb. Finally, our latent game fulfills his Indiana Jones roots by being an archaeology professor that very rarely teaches archaeology and uh, finally getting out there and getting his hands dirty. So we're running around, we're in the past in a flashback um, and we're gonna be running around with Randall in some weird top-down dungeon crawler. I don't know what's happening. Um, and in the present day, uh, the uh, the masked man, the masked gentleman, the default Twitch smiley face is... Um, he made everyone in the, in the, the in Pumpkin Hill disappear and come back and the greatest miracle of all is happening tomorrow. So, once we finish finding out what happened with Randall, probably good things. Probably they just misunderstand what happened. He like stubbed his toe, and they're like, "No, Randall, 
I have to leave you now. I'll be guilt-stricken for decades. He's like, but I'm fine. Um, now we're gonna go back to the to the present day and see what the final miracle is. Nothing bad will happen to him. Exactly. Bakamitai. Mav Madla, thanks for 35 months. Long time no sub. Hope all is well. Chat and barrel. Same to you. Hope you're doing well. Partial to Kahlua, but at least it's very good too. I don't know if Kahlua is a traditional Irish drink, though. I mean, I don't know if Bailey's is like a traditional drink either, but... That's fine. Thank you. Well, you gotta have a... You gotta, gotta have a, a pint of Guinness. And you gotta have a shot of Jameson. And then... I don't know. And then have a bad time. <laughs> Buttes, thanks for 32 months. Who's not gonna be drinking anything tonight? This guy. Water. I love water. I, have, I don't know. I'm gonna... Finish streaming and then maybe go home and play Hitman. <laughs> That's my Friday night. Sounds good to me. Beats. It's for 32 months. I finally decided to stop Amazon Prime since I'm mad at the price hike. Been glad he's my Prime for years on you. Thanks for all your content. You most likely see actual subs in the future. Hey, Beats. Totally understandable. Oh my god, 50%. The poll went to Bailey's in a shoe. Followed by total sobriety with 31%. And then a steep drop off for the rest. Nice. Um, thank you. And thanks for the hydrates, chat. Bushmills is also whiskey. Right. Dinless Guinness, I'm not big on beer. That should replace sobriety for sure. I mean, you can be big on beer and hate Guinness. It's a very... It's the powerful... Powerful... Guinness is a stout, right? God. I'm like, second-guessing myself. It's a pretty intense beer. I, I've had people describe drinking Guinness as the same thing as eating a loaf of bread. Um, it's a lot. Um... Thank you, dudes. Yeah, totally understand about the, the, the prime price. I totally get you. If you stop subbing, don't worry about it. If you want to keep subbing without it, appreciate it either way. But thank you for all the months, and I get you. Thanks for letting me know. Elix, it's like licking asphalt. I like Guinness. But I, I prefer darker beers in general. So. Would you like a slice of Guinness? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> exactly. Unless you're drinking a cake. Drinking a cake at a barbecue. Uh, Elix. Chat wants me to drink from a shoe or not at all. Not what I expected. Seems about right for chat. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Anyway, thank you. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all good. Let me see if I can seamlessly, seamlessly transition from Bakamitai to Miracle Mask. Oh, that, I, that wasn't seamless. That was pretty good. I think that was all right. Using one hand on the DS and one hand on YouTube. Yeah. Dun dun ba dun ba dun 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 Welcome back to Professor Lady the Miracle Mask. Uh Continue. Um yeah, we're 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 Laura Crofton down in here. And it's gonna be fine, I assure you. The story so far. Remember when Luke was on that little horse? That's the most important. That, don't forget. That is a crucial detail. That tiny horse is like three dudes in a horse costume. They're all in on it. Sorry to spoil it for you, but it's a detail that slips most people by. But it changes the context of everything. Herschel and Randall enter the mysterious ruins of Akbadain and begin exploring. What fate awaits them on their quest to uncover the secrets of the Azran? I mean, considering that the last game in the series, the one after this, is called Professor Lane and the Azran Legacy, I'm sure that they discover all the mysteries and there's no mysteries left, so... Let's continue. Previously on Leighton Ball Z. Um... Yeah, so I... I... Don't remember this at all. Um... Gotta, gotta tell you. I don't remember there being a top-down 3D... D dungeon. I don't know. Uh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Yeah, last time we came in here and he was just like, here's how you walk around. I was like, cool. Shovel Knight! Ba ba ba! With an accordion? It's a shovel. How very thoughtful. Can't go exploring without a good shovel. Here, let me explain. Randall, I know what a shovel is. Shovels can be used to dig holes. I know what a shovel is. Touch the dig hole icon to dig a hole. Or press the A button to dig a hole. What is an A button? Randall, you gave me a shovel. You can only dig up soil. Rocks on the stone floor are too hard for that little shovel. 
Try digging a hole over in that corner. Is this a setup? Is it, did you bury like dog poo in the corner? Go for it, Herschel. This is coming from the guy who literally hides puzzles around town and in Layton's own bedroom. I don't trust anything he says. Oh my God. Yeah, we're strip mining. You gotta be at height 12? Is height 12 or height 14? One of the two. Nicely dug. Thank you, Randall. I think I've got the hang of it. Right then, let's get on with becoming world famous archaeologists. What else you got in here? Yeah. You got. Is there anything here? Anything. Literally anything? Cool. Well. Step one rule one of archaeology is leave everything like you found it? Is that a rule of archaeology? Hmm. Scary for lots of this, apparently. We digging? Oh my god, Viz, you have the perfect emote for this. Inviso Psy. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, yeah. Oh. What on earth? The ground is glowing. Something must be buried there. Highly radioactive. What are you waiting for? Dig it up. Wow, the game is kind of chugging. <laughs> it's running like eight polygons, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what are you waiting for? Dig it up. Okay. Oh my god, I dug up a hint coin. Are hint coins from the... A Hold on. Hold on. Are hint coins from the Azran civilization? These coins go back much farther than anyone suspect. There's hint coin lore? This part of the game is over tutorialized. I mean, it's a stark change from anything else in the game. So I do kind of get it. Apparently so. Let's be sure to look for anything out of the ordinary. These ruins are bound to be filled with interesting items. Just as long as interesting doesn't turn out to be snakes or some such. What? Oh, come now, Herschel. No self-respecting student of letters would be scared of a few snakes. Damn. Throwing shade at Mr. Jones. Before we can move on, you have to fill in that hole, Herschel. Stand in front of the hole and touch the fill hole icon. Love a game with a fill hole button. Um. Step one of archaeology. We found this other culture's ancient forgotten history. It's ours now. Step two, be upset when cultures want their history back and don't want to pay the museum fees to see it like everyone else. Well, if the museum's free, though, then it's cool. Thank you, Viz. Thank you, Viz. Thank you, Viz. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. The door won't budge. Dr. Jones, you're right. He didn't go to archaeology medical school to be called Mr. Jones. Might as well eliminate the obvious first. Let me give it a push. He didn't go to doctor school for a mister. Blast! The obvious is usually a bit more satisfying than that. Do you see a handle or a lever anywhere? Sorry, lever. There must be something around here. I refuse to be stuck at the first door. Wait, what's that over there? Perhaps it's a switch of some kind. Oh my god, it's Majora's Mask. Nice. No time for puzzles, Dr. Jones. Thank you, Kate. Blast, double blast. That's no good either. Maybe the switch has deteriorated. Wait, let me try that other one over there. Perhaps that one does something. Still nothing. I don't understand. <laughs> this makes no sense. These switches must be here for a reason. Think, Herschel. What else can we do here? Hmm. Hmm. Let me try something here. Well, I'm out of ideas. Any advice? We must activate these blue switches. Hmm, tell me about exploring. Uh, the map. Oh, I bet there's a secret on the map. Nah, I know, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, cup. that's the basic, thank you. Hold on. Shut up, Randall. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I'm just gonna get out of here. 
Oh my god, I accidentally solved the pu- It seems you have to press both switches at once to open the door. Holy shit. Huge. Whoa. Me first. Brilliant, Herschel. You're a genius. I get the sense you're being facetious, Randall. I find it difficult to believe that idea hadn't occurred to you, Randall. You wanted to see if I could figure it out, didn't you? Heh <laughs> maybe. You know me too well, Herschel. I thought you might get some satisfaction out of solving that puzzle yourself. Regardless, I still needed you here to solve it. Teamwork may be crucial throughout this, Herschel. Let's be sure to stay close. Absolutely, Randall. That's a go. So this is the room with mummies on the... Oh, mummy chamber one. Hey, Randall. Why does it say mummy chamber one and neon lights above this cavern wall? Two more switches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll go left. You go other left. Leftant. No, I'll go left. You go leftant. It feels kind of nice to give the orders once in a while. Uh, wh what are those things? They tanked the friend raven more, Randall. The pile must be strong here. Mummies? But they look mechanical. I guess Akbadane had a built-in welcome wagon ready for us. If I, I'm not too inclined to be greeted by them. Agreed. I must admit, I'm kind of happy to see them. This will be much more exciting with a few adversaries. They don't look too bright, Herschel. I bet you could trap them if you dug a few holes. Wait, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll make a dash for the switch on the right. The left one is all yours. Once a mummy spots Herschel, he'll move as he does, matching him step for step. Look at that art! It's real goofy. They're robots! That makes it make sense. If Herschel stops to dig a hole, the mummies will still move one square. If a mummy catches Herschel, he'll have to re retreat to the previous chamber. Touch the arrows on the top corners of the touchscreen to change directions without actually taking a step forward. Oh, well, that's very nice. You can always use L or R to make Herschel spin! To quit and retreat to the previous chamber, tap the run icon. If you're completely at a loss, tap the guide icon on the touchscreen to activate guide mode. And then we'll just tell you what to do. Yeah! Bum, 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 bum. I want to get grabbed. I'm going to see what happens. We just kind of... Alright. Fair enough. Things must be serious, I mean. They sure are. Are you going to go through the dialogue again? Oh, God. Dig holes with your, for the mummies. Good luck. The, the Herschel bar. Hmm. Herschel bar. Made it. Doesn't look like they can go upstairs. You get to the other switch. On my way. App's chugging hard. Oh, no. Uh, Randall, the mummy is blocking the way. Keep your wits, Herschel. Dig a hole and lure the mummy into it. Okay. I dug a hole. My god, that was a deep hole. Good work, me. Another mummy murdered. No, I'm using the D-pad. It lights up on the touchscreen, but I'm using the D-pad to move. We did it! Good work, Herschel. I'm surprised there are this many security mechanisms still in place here. There are still guards here after all this time. Exciting, isn't it? Mish. Quiet. Remember Brendan Fraser? He just won an Oscar for this. For Professor Layton and the Mummy's Tomb. With Randall. It's the full title. <laughs> also Randall. Level B2. How deep do you think this place goes? It's so difficult to say. The Azren certainly knew what they were doing. I mean, did th they were really good inventors, but did did they know what they were doing? What if it goes on for another hundred levels, Randall? What is this, Stardew Valley? What do we do then? Well, let's worry about that when we hit the 99th one. Well, this is the rest of the stream. The rest of my stream for the next month. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, literally. 
This reminds me of a puzzle. Now it's was like, yeah! I don't suppose you research methods for moving giant boulders. Oh, blast. What shall we do? It looks almost perfectly round. Let's give it to Poosh and see if it rolls. It's certainly worth a shot. Poosh. Stand from a boulder and touch the push icon to push the boulder away from you. Or just press the A button. But if you really want to use the touch screen, come on, Urshel, put your back into it. E. Oh god, it's a sliding block puzzle. You're stronger than you look, Herschel. That was easier than I'd anticipated. So if we find any more boulders in our path, just shove them out of the way. Good. Oh. The camera shifted in a way that made me think it was taking control for me. Eh. Um. Oh boy, hidden coins. Yay. <gasps> Ooh. Hieroglyph relic. Uh, 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 uh. Use your strength, Herschel. You know the thing you're famous for. Your 12-pack abs. Puzzle chamber one. I wonder what obstacle this next room will try to thwart us with. Uh, looks pretty simple to me. Careful, Randall! That gap on the floor is too far to jump over! Let's use that boulder to make a path! Another puzzle solved! Haha, -ha, your enthusiasm is wearing off on me, Randall. Let's try it. You don't- you don't figure out what the puzzle is and then say another puzzle- you have to solve the puzzle first. You use boulders as stepping stones. Sure! Naturally. Uh, touch restart to restart. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, let me- let me take a little peek. Alright, done. Eh. It loves me a sliding block Sokoban game. This is how you know that they um, they lost the, the license to the game design uh, SDK. Whenever you see a sliding block puzzle where it like moves until it hits a wall. That's like, oh shit. The servers are down. Uh, just sliding block. We can walk over the boulder. Brilliant. So boulders have their uses too. Something to keep in mind. Onward to glory. Yeah, I just leave ran ran lead Randall off the edge. There's a puzzle that I have to like push a boulder into him. Sarcasm? I don't even know what sarcasm is. Or that should be more like, um, I've never used sarcasm in my life. What are you talking about? As, as, there you go. Wow! Looks like I should have done more research on ancient embalmed robots. Puzzle 80. Kill Randall. <laughs> you walk into a room and it's like, only one of you can pass through. The other must die. And Randall's like, well, sorry Herschel, but I'm the main character. Wait, since when does it say Professor Layton on the box? Mummy is wrapped up in paper. Paper covers rock. What happens when rock meets mummy? Eh. Oh my god, he got smooshed. This song about these mummies' designs. Oh. Oops. Nah, no, this is probably fine. I'm probably not gonna die from being chased by. There's something about the mummies' design. It's like, it's like, cause it's a mummy, but it's got a weird proportion and like a metal arm. It just kind of feels like a Kingdom Hearts enemy to me. Randall! 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 Randall, make room for me next to you on the platform, Randall. There. I've done it. Um. Hello. Dig? Uh-oh. Hey, I've got a little conga line going. I solved your puzzle. Oh, there they go. <laughs> uh, it's quite forgiving. <laughs> He returned to Pac-Man, as all things do. The common ancestor. Nicely done, Herschel. We'll reach the heart of this place in no time. Let's keep an even keel. There could be more unpleasant surprises ahead. You worry too much, Herschel. Together, you and I can do anything. If you insist, Randall. I solved your puzzle. Please respond. Together, we can do everything. Even find the whole puzzle. 
there's a puzzle in there! Strange, there really are all sorts of things buried in here. You dug it up, you solve it. Oh, well, thanks a lot, partner. Well, how to do, partner? Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, these ones are easy. I'm really good at them. This time, our blocks are piled up in a cave. There should be four columns here, arranged as in the picture in the top right, like a staircase. Put the columns back in order again. One crucial condition, you may only use the mallet once. What? Huh? That's got to make it easier, though. If I can only use the mallet once. Uh, 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 good, uh, 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 hum, 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 hem, hum, is there some shenanigans here? There must be some shenanigans here. Because that's all four of my options. Where else can I hit it? Shenanigans in my Layton? I remember. Do I have to... It... It, it's, it seems like this bottom slab is significant. Like, why are they propped up? Can I can I can I lift it up with the mallet? Eh. Hmm. Shenanigans. You were close. You were close. I I'm on the right track thinking that there's shenanigans at play, but I don't see where I can use the mallet anywhere other when they explicitly tell me you take one of the blocks and push it with the other, you know. It's probably just the three. Yeah, and I can't even like hit a block and then do more stuff, so I have to do something first. Huh? Huh? Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm afraid I just don't. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. A hint in the form of a pun, please. Block be looking awfully malleable. You can only use the mallet once. What if I just tell them to get an order? Bam, 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 bam. Grandma's watching Spirit Away. It's a good movie. You almost cracked this code. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. It can be. Word can's doing a lot of heavy lifting there. So I was on the right track thinking. It's weird they're all on this slab that's raised up and I should be able to remove that or something. And I was like trying to like push, but you have to tap on the crack. I did try tilting it and I was like, maybe that'll do it. Nope. Okay, that's probably when I spent hit coins on and then got mad. Uh, I love archaeology, Herschel. You never know what's around the next corner. This is very exciting, Randall. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry to leave? If you said it was exciting. I was being sarcastic, Randall. Ah, water, man. Delicious. Professor, Luke hasn't even been born yet. Luke's not but a twinkle in his papa's eye. Level B3. A cat wearing sunglasses. Third level, no end in sight. But I wonder how much farther to go. I never told my parents I was going with you. I hope my mother doesn't worry. The answer was three. 
Nothing could stop your mother from worrying, but your father will understand the lure of a secret treasure. My father is always telling me to stop wasting time on foolish adventures so I can take over the family business. Even Angela just tolerates my pursuits. I feel like Henry is really the only one who truly understands my love of archaeology. We just don't want you putting yourself in harm's way, Randall. That's all. I still can't believe I let you talk me into coming down here. No, come on, Herschel. This trip is going to make us legends in the field. If you get stuck anywhere, just ask me and I'll do what I can to help. We can do this. Come on. Come on. But I can dig a hole there. That, there you go. It's pretty rad. Nice. Left on a possibly weeks long expedition without telling your parents you're going anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Just get rid of that one. That's kind of rule number one of going off on a dangerous expedition is tell people where you are going and what you're expecting to do. Also bring like a GPS phone. I don't know if they had GPS phones. It's hard to tell with their analog media, but also robots in the latent world. It's hard to tell what's going on with them technology-wise. Hmm. Hmm. I need that hint coin, Randall. I need it. Layton, are you all right? You seem feverish. I need it. Two glowing spots. Quick, dig here. Hang on. What is that? An earthquake? Run! Run! Are you alright, Herschel? I think so. Akbadane is not for the faint of heart, or the slow of foot, I suppose. Ha ha! That's what it makes it an adventure! That we almost died, thrilled by nearly being crushed to death. You never cease to amaze me, Randall. It's alright to admit you're having fun, Herschel. Come, let's pick up the pace. Lane's always been steampunk, it's just been more subtle about it till now. It definitely gets more and more ridiculous as the series has gone on. Even though the prequel trilogy came out after the original trilogy and has some things in it that are even sillier. Just like some of the shit in the movie. <laughs> it's completely absurd. Oh, good! N new world of steam! Another puzzle. I'm just weirdly excited that it's like takes place after on one future because the prequels are cute and all but it's just like oh man let's go it's going into the few it's it's like the Metal Gear Solid 4 of the latent franchise you're like oh my god we're finally moving past this point in the timeline what do you think Randall hmm this dirt is made of dirt how many dirt is there Layton 92 Deep inside this cave is what appears to be a cave painting from many thousands of years ago. The cave is dark, so it's difficult to make out the entire painting. Your lamp can only illuminate one part at a time, but can you count how many bowls are depicted here? Move the lamp, count the numbers of bowls on the mural. Yep. This is just like last go, for real. Um. Okay. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sixth. Um. Uh, what? Is that a big one? Is the whole background one big one? I think it is. What was that? Was I, I already forgot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's ten with the big boy. Leave this to me. You tried to get sure me with the big boy. There are nine small bowls and one large one. They they didn't even point out that the large one's the like the background. If I didn't see that, and I was like, there's nine. They're like, uh, there's actually ten. And I was like, what? They're like, look, there's ten. I'm like, I'm counting nine. What are you talking about? That'd make me mad. 
But I guess my poo brain's not in full swing yet. Clearly the Azra enjoyed puzzles. Proof that solving a good puzzle is an ageless pastime. You are truly in your element, Randall. Puzzle chamber two. Uh, let's push. Hey, Sony Ildir Ildirim. Thank you for six months. Enjoy your golden key. Thank you very much. Hmm. Randall, I'm scared. Well. Um. I thought that was part of the solution, was rolling it off the edge. Apparently not. Um. So. Wait. Because I was going to push this down, push this guy out of the way, and then push it to the right. But now I'm like, wait, what? Do, how do I... Oh, uh, the opposite. Okay, yeah. Alright. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Okay. Good. Right track, wrong rock. Yep. Mummy chamber three. Mummy. Whoa. You know I'm getting rather fond of these cantankerous contraptions. There's something different about that one there, though. The red one? Yes. Perhaps that is one of the swift scarlet sentinels I read about. You knew about these? Be on your guard, Herschel. For the record, you're in danger here, too. <laughs> I'm a what? Uh... Uh... I don't think moving between them's a good idea. Or isn't it? Goodbye. And now this one's gonna follow me, which is fine. Cause I'll just, oh. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's gonna get me, isn't he, if I dig? Yeah, also I shouldn't dig like that anyway. Well, he died. Time paradox. I'm in danger. I'm in the Akba Dam ruins. I'm in the combination danger act, but Dan ruins. Red mummy's faster, yeah, probably. Um. Yeah. Eh. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Well. Randall, Randall, please, I'm gonna die, Randall. <laughs> Agbadan, cause I Agbadan. Okay. This is a really easy room, so hold on. Let me just first try it real quick. The red mummy's faster. Keep an eye on it. Yep. You got it. Okay. 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 All right. So not this way. Because if I go this way, I immediately get grabbed by the ghoulies. So let's not. Uh, maybe I want to lure him around like this. That seems... Like it makes sense. Um, as for this, oh, oh, he's gotten stuck in the back of the conga line. What a scrub! What are you gonna do? Oh, oh. Silly red mummy. Ha! How exhilarating! I wish my other expeditions had been half as exciting. It's certainly not dull, but on the whole, I'd prefer something quieter. Come now, Herschel, no risk, no glory. And I think you're starting to really enjoy the risk, too. You can't fool me. This aggressive gaslighting will be your downfall, Randall. Don't project your emotions on others and tell them they can't feel otherwise. Oh, button. Puzzle chamber three. Leave the hydrate, Dylan. The fact you just outpace them seems kind of silly. It seems like it's designed where there's a path you're supposed to take of, like, trapping them. Or roll them over, over with boulders, but I'm like, you can just walk past them most of the time. <laughs> you can tell this game takes place in the UK because the mummies will gladly wait in line. The mummies have their primary objective, 
Secondary objective is capture and murder all intruders. Primary objective is standard Q, standard Q protocols of waiting in a line. Blast! Blocked again. So it would seem. What do we have to work with here in the room? A switch and a lever. The lever. I imagine we'll need to use both of them. Any hot mummy action? I know I read between the lines. He meant to say hot mummy action, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. How do we get up there? Both the switch and the lever are out of reach. Tertiary objective, eat some beans. Hey, India. I know you so well. Listen, who doesn't want some hot mummy action? Uh, hmm. 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 Push. I say, it seems I've solved this puzzle. Yes. Aha! Another boulder, of course. Hmm. Stop uttering monosyllabic grunts and help me out of here, Herschel. Okay. Ba-ha-ba-ta. ha ba ta ha ba Herschel. Hot mummies in your area. In my area? That's where I am. Am I not? Okay. They set that up exactly knowing that 99.9% .9 of players will walk to the right of it and bonk the shovel into it. I guarantee everybody did that. Even if you were using the touchscreen and tapped the dig button, I think you would do that. Brilliant! I take back everything I said about monosyllabic grunt and keep it up, Herschel. Help me by doing everything. What was your plan if I wasn't here, Randall? Probably die in the first room. Okay. Level before. Incredible how far down we've come. Pity Henry couldn't come with us. He would have loved it down here. You really think your father would have been suspicious if Henry wasn't there? Absolutely. My father only sees Henry as our butler. When we, were, when we were younger, if we went somewhere together, my father always knew. Every time I see him, he seems so busy. We barely get the chance to talk anymore. He's a good person. Clever, hardworking, and loyal. Sometimes I think my father cares more for Henry than he does for me. Oh, maybe this is just another nonsensical adventure. Perhaps we should just go back. We could do that, but it would be rather difficult to become a noted archaeologist sitting in your bedroom. Ha <laughs> ha! Well said, Herschel! All right, come on, let's go get some stories to take back to the rest of the world! I can't wait to tell Angela and Henry about what we've already found. Right, then, shall we press on? Tell them about the robot mummies. This room looks enormous! What do they keep in here? If you marry Henry, you're both his sons, and it's okay. I... What was that over there? Oh, no! Spinny mummies! Oh my god, they're amazing. Oh my god, let her rip! How did I forget this? This is amazing. Holy shit. Yes! Yes! Violence! Randall, look out! Oh my god, they're so in sync. Not good! Hmm. Randall! Welcome back. Are you all right? Yeah. Hmm? It reminds me of a puzzle. <gasps> <laughs> Transition to the puzzle screen. Oh fuck! I don't think I've ever seen that. Where they've done that straight out of a cutscene. <laughs> it's amazing. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Bro, literally about to die. It reminds me of a puzzle. Herschel versus mummies. Two mechanical mummies have worded to action within the ruins. The mummies are moving in to attack Herschel, traveling along the lines of the floor tiles. Get rid of them by leading them into the pit. You need to get them to fall into the pit with from the tile immediately above it. Okay. Move the tiles to create a path for the mummies and lead to the hole in the bottom right. They must fall in from the tile above the hole. Oh, do I have to do this in real time? Oh. No, don't retry. Oh. Oh, this is very strange. Oh, huh? Whoa. Um. Okay. I need, I need, you need a way to, I need a down left, this guy. Um. Okay, just, you just keep doing that. You look doing great. I need to. Um. No. No. This is very strange. Uh. It's kind of cool when you. Oh, shit. <laughs> when you press on the touch screen without sliding, it lights up the adjacent tiles. That's kind of neat. It's a cool effect. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mix some shit up, you know? Real, really just. This is just a small peek into my twisted reality, my dark and twisted world of puzzle solving. Um. Okay, here's here's what I need from you, buddy. Is um, this guy into this guy? Come back. Go up. Thank you. One at a time, and then shoot. I need this over here, and then uh, how do I flip these two around? God damn! No, stop moving so I can solve your goddamn puzzle. Incredibly rude, sir. Um. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Okay, that's one down. Um, and then you can do uh, but that. Oh, he won't turn on his own. Uh, okay. There. Over there. Yeah. And now I stand here to watch him die. Like the psychopath I am. Goodbye. I think this may be it. <laughs> give him a high Looks five as if I got it. See you later. Look at it. Oh, look at that little model. It's so cute. All deserts have mummies. It's true. Maintain eye contact as he falls. Brother, you've betrayed me. <laughs> now, congrats. You defeated those mechanical menaces. Thank you. Oh my god. Literally a puzzle in the middle of a cutscene. <laughs> Should have thought of that sooner. Oh my god. Great. Great. Oh man. That was amazing payoff. That takes care of that. Let's move on. Uh, right. Um. You gotta hide something in the middle, right? Come on, look at it. Look at that. Damn it. Well. Well said, Randall. I cried. Ooh, crystals. Ah, shit. Sorry, I punched my microphone that one time. There. What is all this? Are these crystals? Crystals. Hmm. Looks like these blue crystals are blocking our path. I wonder if they were placed here or if they just formed here. Under certain conditions, crystals can form naturally. Regardless, we need to find a way past them. Blistles. I don't imagine they're any more boulder proof than robot mummies. Oh my god, he's doing something. Blast! Looks like it requires a bit of momentum to break through. We need to get the boulder rolling? Well, that should be easy enough. 
Yeah. What if I just use my shovel on it? Just chip away at it. Uh. Oh. I forgot that the lighter colored tiles are walls. Smash. What? Ha! Take that, Crystal. It seems that if you want to win a fight against rocks, bring a bigger rock. We can do this if we work together. If you get stuck here, ask me for help. Meaning I'll stand here and you do all the work. Together. We did it. What's this? Ancient luggage? Stone blocks. And there's an inscription. It's a fucking puzzle. <coughs> Good. 94. Cursed case. Hersh and Randall have found a cursed case. You better get all the cursed stone blocks back in the case and close it tight. Or who knows what might happen? To be safe, you'll have to pack every block neatly into the case. To complicate matters, the blocks are dotted with holes and protruding studs. You need to make sure the studs on one side slot into the holes on the other side, or you won't be able to close the case. Good luck. Oh. The white pegs and the black holes, they fit together when the trunk is closed. Good. Good. Great. Good. Oh. Uh, <coughs> yeah, uh, uh, that's, that's fine. That's cute that they get animated on the other screen, though. Um, does it need to be stacked like that? Eh. Let me, let me, let me see. Okay, so that's be the white peg on the bottom. So let's start with, like, this guy. Uh, and then maybe a little bit of that. Why didn't it... It didn't seem to like that. Am I miss- Is it because it needs to actually have stuff to stand on all the way? Hmm. Well. Um. That's fine. That's so fine. I couldn't even begin to tell you how legit chill that is. You can't put them on each other. Oh, you put them on both halves and then they close together. Okay. Okay. I... I don't know why I didn't think of that. Um, so... So step one is putting together... Just a shape that works. And then step two is going, can I make the same pattern on the other side? Eh. Uh... Like this... Uh... There... And there? That looks good, right? Maybe? No. Fuck. Almost. It's close. It's close. The hinge. What's wrong with the hinge? If you peg on one side of the case to the mirror side, yeah, right. Got it. Yeah, not quite, but it's almost there. Um, The bottom half is all good. Oh yeah, the top half is in no bueno. Um, how... How might we... Fix? Or is just this whole solution invalid and I can't just tweak it slightly? Maybe, maybe just try a different... Um... Well, this guy needs to be here. Hmm... Remember how a case closes. The case is closed. Yep. Right. Okay. Better. Um. But then. That seems better. Uh, 
Close it. Leave this to me. Case closed. Why wouldn't you? I'm sure of it. Why wouldn't you just close it and then show if it's a valid solution? Okay, there it is. You saved the day for now. Nice. It's good. It's great. I guess not all the glowing spots have good news buried under them. He's got to pose. Apparently not. Of course, a curse. That's just ancient superstition, right? Oh, uh, of course. It's the... Ah! What happened? Randall, are you okay? No, I stubbed my toe on one of those blocks. Was that because of the curse? If so, I think we can safely say that this curse weakened over the years. I knew it! I knew he was gonna stub his toe. Damn it, Randall, I'll never forgive myself for this. He was cursed by the ancient puzzle. Puzzle Chamber 4. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, I got it. He stubbed his toe. And then it got infected and he died. It's a terrible story, really. Claire in four years? No. No, too soon. How dare you? Take it back. Hooray. She doesn't exist yet. No, she exists somewhere. Hmm. It's a lot of nonsense down there. Yes! First try, baby. Maybe we should try the door. The door is locked, but there are five different keys here. Well, clearly it's a challenge to see if we can earn our way inside. Look, there's a, pla a plaque with a diagram. Oh, I was actually supposed to check that door. Wow, these are the same alphabet as us. Snakes and keys. In front of the door are five stone snakes, each coiled around a key. There's also a plaque depicting a key. Only one snake's key matches the one on the plaque. That key will open the door. Which one holds the correct key? A, B, C, D, or E? Uh, look at this diagram. Look at this snake. They're all very protective of their keys, and I can respect that. Uh, I think it's D. But I'm not. I'm gonna take a sec. No, it's not D. Never mind. Almost got me with that. Could it could be? Well, no. Oh my God! Is it three? Oh my God! It's three. Here's my answer. It's always three. God damn it! There is no puzzle without a solution. God dang it! Snake C is the correct key. The next question is, how on earth are they planning to get it out? Play a little flute. I knew it! The door opened so easily. That was a bit anticlimactic. Especially considering they set us up for like another puzzle with getting it from the snake, but I don't worry about it. Don't you see? The puzzle made a boring door into a mysterious door. The Azran had a real dramatic flair. What about, what about this, though? Oh, because I can... Yeah. Gotta do a little mic ride with this boulder. Gonna take your boulder for a ride. 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 Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yay. And then... Oh boy! And then... Wait, I gotta... Pat-pat. You gotta do a little pat-pat. Ooh! A lustrous crystal. From software clearly distributed out of all the dramatic doors. They bought all the ones they had in stock. 
Good dirt. Pat, pat. <laughs> Good dirt. Gonna take you for a ride? Yeah, but specifically the boulder. How, unless they, unless they say boulder, how would you know that U equals boulder? Uh, that's rule number one of video game song parodies. So, so, uh, uh, hmm. I've got it. I don't got it. Hey, don't rag time. Hmm. Why'd you have to dig for crystal everywhere? Well, that was a special underground crystal. Pup time. Pup time. <laughs> So I can do that, but then how do from there? Hmm. I'm able to get the first boulder where I need to line up another one to roll across this chasm to the right, but I don't want to get a second one then where I need it. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Hmm. You ever played RE2 Remake? Yeah, I streamed it. Completely vanilla with no mods whatsoever. <laughs> I might have modded it a little bit. I thought it'd be funny. And I thought it was funny. Uh... Uh... uh oh. Because here's what, here's what I'm thinking. I might as well stop just using my brain and start using my hands. Um, I'm thinking I can roll this guy around over here. And then if I can have a second one following his same path, then it would stop one short of that, and then I can roll to the right. But I'm like, how do I get this boulder here? Or the one above it, for that matter. I can't think of how to get either of them. Because I can roll this guy down, and he stops here, but then left or right will send him off into the abyss. It's the wrong direction. I need to do the other way around. It's up on YouTube. Yep, all my all my VODs are on. Yep, tub. Push it left instead of right. Push which one left instead of right? Thank you, Viz. Push which one? We'll make to what are you buying remake? Yeah. I was watching some stuff about RE4 remake. That is the canon events. But it did not I gotta Left rock down then left? Can't do. Wait, is that a wall? I thought that was an endless chasm. Fuck. For once the stereoscopic 3D would have actually been useful there. I thought this was abyss. Thank you. That's what I needed. Um, I think, in order to, when, when you, and then, um, um, what the way that it, it's close. I know it's close. But I'm like, wait. Ha- What? Have the- Another boulder down. I was thinking that, but... Why am I not seeing it? There's an easier way if you start over. Really. That way. I'm not seeing it from here. I'm gonna... Hold on. Now that I know that I can do it against this corner here, though, let me think. 
so that's what I was thinking. The rightmost one can go all the way around there. Hmm. No, I'm still confused. Not confused. Struggling to figure it out. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I got it. I don't know why this one... Even once I realized that the bottom left wall was not a pit. Still took me a minute. Thanks for the help, chat. Um, but yeah, I was looking at the RE4 remake because the one thing I wanted to know, of all the changes, how is the new merchant? And, um... I think it was IGN's review. They were like, the, the new merchant is not as good. Like, kind of objectively. And I'm like, that's like the one thing. Like, they even let you move a name at the same time, which I kind of consider sacrilegious to Resident Evil 4. And they're like, it feels more modern. And it's like, I don't care if it's more modern. So much of that game's tension comes from planting your fucking feet. Seems like you don't move that fast, so it's like, it's a compromise, but... I'm like, whatever. That, I can even deal with sacrilegious changes happening. But you don't fuck with the merchant. If he's more, if he's less goofy, I don't know. What are you buying? Not enough cash, stranger. I mean, I'll probably play it at some point. So, I'll decide for myself, but... Look at these mummies! I love Resident Evil 4, though. That game's great. What are those? It looks like spikes on their backs. Seems a bit much. Any speed AI can be just as intense. I'm sure it's still intense. That's why I'm like, I, I won't know until I get my hands on it. But when I think of the original game, so, so, so much of what I think works about that game is the fact you can't move. It's something that is oft maligned about that game. But I feel strongly the opposite. That the fact that you don't move when you're when you're in aiming mode is what makes it so good. Um, it was also kind of the first of its kind, really, for popularizing an over-the-shoulder third-person camera. So certainly we're a lot more comfortable these days with moving and aiming third-person over-the-shoulder like that. Um, so it could have just been like, well, you need to aim accurately like on certain parts of their body. And that's hard to do if you're moving. So it could have just been that. But it's good, Viz. You play the new one. If we meet the Azran designers, you can mention that. Keep in mind that if you trap one of those mummies in a hole, its spikes will still block the way. Those blue mummies may prove to be quite the challenge. Hmm, blue mummies. Wanna try the VR version? Yeah, I did too, and then they made it an Oculus exclusive, and I was mad. Whoa, look at Randall go! See you later, bud. Um. Cool. This is good, right? And I can get this guy hit to follow me this way. Hello. Not sure I walked an extra step towards him. Wang. And now I've made this impossible for myself. Cool. Let's restart that real quick. Oculus Quest exclusive. Yeah, it's not even Oculus. You're right. It's even dumber than that. I will never understand the decision. Like money, sure. But, but like, it just, it, it, it is emblematic of the differences in different VR manufacturers' mindsets. Remember when my phone says spikes can block the way. If you can't bring them, avoid them. Just make sure you hit that switch. Yeah. I mean, they move normal speed, so can't they just make them all chase me? In a single file line? Well, not like that. Not like that. Think I'll stream RE4? Probably, maybe? Feel free to drop it in the rec form. If you want. I'm definitely interested in checking out. It's just not... Listen, I finally got my hands on Metroid Prime Remastered. Right... I have my hands on it right now. I finally got it. <laughs> so, I want to check that out soon. We've established that whatever, Blue Spell, yeah. Making for my Aqua stuff and the meta stuff recently. Boo! Boo earns. Uh. Yes, follow me. Set me free. Trust me. You can use your brain and do like an interesting thing where you block them into holes or just make a conga line. Just Pac-Man it up, baby. 
It's that easy. Something dread myself. Nice. Round two of Ghost Trick, but HD. If I streamed Ghost Trick further back than last fucking year, I would consider maybe doing a replay. I have yet to stream a game a second time on stream yet. But I've been streaming for five years, so there very well, very well may come a time when enough time's passed. Or it's a re-release or something where I'm like, fuck it, I want to play it again. But not yet. We better keep our wits about us. We'll be moving in with the relics down here. Randall, I've been saying that's all this time. Safety must be our first priority. That can be your first priority, Herschel. Mine's the discovery of the unknown. You can't call yourself an explorer if you don't live for those moments. I don't call myself an explorer. We're not archaeologists, we're teenagers. And you said this was your last expedition. Let's stop bickering. What matters right now is finding Akbadane. Let's go. Oh, Randall. Oh, Randall. You said this was your last expedition. Oh, we gotta go. See you later. Busy, busy. No restream skills could occur surprising. Mm-hmm. Should stream all late again? Yeah. And I want a refresher before we play uh, 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 New World of Steam, so I'll need to replay the <laughs> first six all over again. I'm wondering if your 100 floors theory might be right after all. What floor is this? By my count, this is the sixth level. We must be getting close to the treasure. Do you really think we can navigate this entire complex? What do I keep telling you, Herschel? You and I can accomplish anything. We have the Mask of Chaos. Who knows what other wonders will be discovered? I'm going to uncover more artifacts than Rutilage ever dreamed of. Well, you and me, I mean. Together, every step of the way. Fine, but this is my last archaeological expedition, I can tell you that. Herschel, there's another reason behind all of this. I'll tell you now. After all this is over, I'm going to propose to Angela. I need your help so I can prove to her parents that I'm not a cr just a crazy dreamer. I want to show them what I can do. Randall, I... Why didn't you say so earlier? I feel terrible for... No, forget it. Let's find your treasure. You know, you know they're laying down some heavy uh, red flags. Death flags, even. When the character's like, I have to tell you something important. And I'll tell you now instead of later. I'll tell you right now, so now it's extra sad. Angela's fine. She she's didn't want to come with, or she wasn't invited. That's pretty, yeah. His last day before retirement. So sad. Uh, all right, all right, okay. Well, 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 well. What have we here? Um, we got a couple of these guys. Just a couple of balls. Just a couple of balls. Uh, oh, hmm. Just a couple of meatballs. Looking for some spaghetti to just kind of mess around and just kind of want to mess it up. Get in there and show them they mean business. And I'm gonna just keep staring at them because, uh, 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 uh yeah, uh, you sure could do that, and then you could, uh, nope, nope, also nope. I'm stuck on thinking that this is probably the first step, even though I don't know if it is. But I can do that and either push this guy right and up to land here or this guy right and up to land here. And I'm not sure which one makes more sense or even if this is the right opening move at all. But having one or one or the other there means I can then line up other meatballs to line up on this axis, maybe. Right, then top down. Top down's gonna roll, isn't, this isn't a wall, right? Yeah. Left block right first. Oh, and stop it. I didn't, why didn't I, why didn't I think of that? Thanks. Okay. Now do I need this here or can I push it right? 
Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. It's always, I'm just staring at him like, I just don't get it. It's like, well, just go up. And it's like, oh. Yeah. We good. Meet the ball. Funiculi Funicula is a good song. Uh-oh, a fork in the road. Odd that we haven't run to one before now. Let's go right. Uh, I'm thinking left. Wait! Randall, the ceiling, watch out! It's just a few stray pebbles. Randall! That's one spicy meatball, Randall! Can you hear me? Yes? I'm... I'm not hurt. That was close. Are you alright, Herschel? You sounded Italian. In like a racist sense. Yes, I'm fine. Blast! You blast that I'm fine? The way is blocked now. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I think we should go get some help, Randall. That's one big falafel. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll go down this way. You go the other way. Let's see if the paths meet. Italian, parentheses, wet, parentheses, racist. I'll see you at the other end, okay? All right, be careful, Randall. No. Hmm, puzzle chamber seven. Now I don't have... Wait, can I talk to Randall? I can still talk to Randall? Let's see. How would Randall see this? Break all the crystals. Put a boulder in each of the three holes. Then go crazy with the last boulder. He's just imagining what Randall would say to him. I hope Randall's all right. <laughs> he doesn't even give me the tutorial text anymore. It's just... That's fun. I should find Randall as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. That's cute. All right. Uh... You know, I was thinking they just have Randall pop up and be like, yeah, don't worry about it. Just gotta break some crystals, you know? I'm in the crystal breaking business and business is booming! Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then, um... And then, uh, yim. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 Did I fuck this up? You gotta break some crystals if you want to make an omelet. No. Now I fucked it up. No, that broke a guy. We're good. Nice. I didn't see that hole on the left there. Laytona. Puzzle chamber. This, I don't remember this segment at all. And it is much bigger than I expected it to be. Um... All right. All right, then. It's just a simple game of boulder rolly. We used to play back in jolly old England, which is where we presently are. Let's just get busy rolling. You know, you know what I, I that is what I, I like to say. It's my catchphrase. Let's get busy rolling. I'm always, I'm always saying that. What's with the left boulder? What can he even do? What can he even do? Um, cause it, it is it. This doesn't seem correct, but I'm just gonna start rolling. Let's get busy rolling. Have it on a t-shirt. Yeah. It's my best seller. 
Um... Yeah, this isn't anything. Um... Or isn't it? Pretty sure it isn't, but... Can I do anything else here? The proto Luke. Get busy rolling or get busy falling. You gotta get busy rolling or get busy stones. Maybe if it was something, though. There's something about this anyway. I need you more than any boulder in my life. Hmm. Very Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre. Mm hmm. It's very strange, but. I don't dislike it. I just. Uh, uh, what would Randall say? I have to try to think like Randall here. If I move the bottom right boulder up, left, and down, then the top right boulder left. I think I see the answer. Okay. Um. Yeah. So top right, up, left, and down? Or the the right? Didn't it say the top right one up, left, and down? Nice. Or bottom left up? You had it? I don't I don't know. I don't know anything. The bottom right boulder. Right. Up, left, and down. Mm-hmm. And then he said moving the top one left. So it is kind of what I was doing already. Uh, oh, but if I do this first, which is what I had previously done, uh... Oh, 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 okay. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sly like a fox. Classic Layden. Mmm! Mummy Chamber 5. I like how they separate Randall so there'd be no dialogue here. It's just like, eh, hey, there's a bunch of puzzles. Never mind, there's dialogue. There doesn't seem to be any way past these confounded crystals. What to do, what to do? Hey, Herschel, need a hand? Hey, you guy. Thank goodness, and yes, please. Well, only because you said please. Good to see you're in one piece, Herschel. Now, watch yourself. Speaking of One Piece, Randall, I found something strange down here. There's no time for that. We need to find the secrets of Akbadane. Sorry I don't have a red carpet to roll out for you, but this will have to do. More than enough. Um. Okay. Do I just have to make a break for it? Herschel! I'll take out the mummies with this boulder once you're clear. Try to line up a couple of them for me if you can. Uh, yeah. Hit him. Take this, you robotic relics. This is just like Rhythm Thief. Ha ha ha. Excellent work, partner. Yeah, good work. Yeah. Layton is the One Piece. Can we get much puzzles? So puzzles, I Three pick rats. Oh no! Hold on, Herschel, I got it. Sly like a Cooper. That was a nasty surprise, thanks. Of course, I've always got your back. However, we still have a problem. We need to press both switches at once. Of course, I'd take the second switch if I could get down there, but the drop is a bit uninviting. Any ideas? Ooh, how about this? Critical thinking is key to success. Let's make this place work for us. Push this boulder onto a switch. It's heavy enough to take my place. Good thinking, Randall. I'm surprised you didn't wait for me to have that idea. 
good thinking. Very good. Eh, eh. Oh no. 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 No, don't. Shit. Eh, eh. Where? Uh oh. Wait. I'm good. Still a little loop de loop. It's nice for the mummies to just squish down into nothing. Once you got the door open. Her, shall you continue that way? I'm going to check things out over here. We can cover more ground that way. Meet you on the other end. All right, Randall. Look after yourself. Always do, Herschel. See you soon. Mm. More puzzles. It's basically three. I mean, there are three boulders, so... There's still three in there. Ah, uh, uh. What is this? Good grief. This pit is enormous. Was it part of the original structure, I wonder? It's pitch black down there. I don't like the look of this at all. Wow! The shovel! Well, that certainly wasn't the most clever thing I've ever done. Oh. A rack attack. The shovel's fallen in a pit. Herschel needs to retrieve it, but there are poisonous spiders coming up the poles. The spiders change direction any chance they get while still moving upward. They somehow manage to never bump into each other, but if they bump into Herschel, he'll be in trouble. Which of the marked spots is the only safe place for Herschel to avoid the spiders as they climb out of the hole? A, B, C, D, or E. Uh... Uh... Not D. Um... Not C. Uh... Not B? Uh... uh possibly A? Uh... Or maybe is it E? Wait. No, it's A. It's A. Ah. Submit. Put him there. Don't like that. Stand perfectly still. Their vision is based on groovement. No Fortnite dance is allowed. Ah. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. Puzzle with the poly, eh? Phew! Looks like Herschel- Look how small he is! He's the size of a flea! Herschel is safe! He better get out of that hole before those creepy crawlies come back. Little a default dance as a treat. Phew! I got the shovel and the spiders didn't seem to notice me. Hope I never have to do that again. Phewie! Hi, Layton! <laughs> There he is. He's saying hi to you. The tiny. Herschel! Hey, Herschel over here. Randall. The next level's just past this chamber. Come over here. Uh, ooh. Tilt to traverse. Oh, no. Just when Hersh and Randall think they're reunited, they find an aqueduct system separating them. Fortunately, you can make a safe path across for Hersh by using the walkways and floating stepping stones. Tilt your Nintendo 3DS system back, forward, left, or right to make the stepping stones slide in that direction. Watch out for the dark holes, though. If you slide a slipping, stepping stone over one, it'll plug the hole and stay stuck there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, move them with the touch screens, move the stepping stones, tap arrows, lead them there. Okay. Um, I can tilt it. How, how sensitive is it? <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Can I slide on a block? 
Oh, it doesn't slide when you're on it. Okay. Understood. Um, I was like, is, is it like analog where it like can go like a little bit? It's like, no, it just kind of... Oh, this is not great. Um, yeah, let's, let's head over here. There's nothing for me over here. Let's restart. Okay. Um, so f step one involves dropping a block into a hole. There's no way around that. I don't think. Question is which? Let's go this way. Um, uh, didn't mean to do that. Do this. Go back to the right. And go not up. Not up. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Well, damn. If I have to do that, I might as well do it first. But then I... Well, well. Shoot! How do I get out of here? Uh... It's very little thought. Not a lot needed. It's also... Yeah, I can't, it's a little bit awkward to do the... Looking at the capture for this. But it's like... Tilting the screen, I'm getting like the ceiling light reflecting off the screen. At least this thing has a backlight. Damn. Just a bit awkward. How do people... Can you even do this with an emulator? Like if someone was trying to, I don't know, play this game... After a few weeks from now. Is there just a skip puzzle button <laughs> just built into it? I don't even know. This is a way to simulate gyro events. I... Hmm... That's not it either. So I need a bridge to get to Randall at the end. Which is either that down in the bottom right... Or all the way to the right. All the way to the right looks more promising. Okay. I think it's this. Hmm. I was like, how do I get I it back to the it. spot next to him? Looks as if I got it. Oh, you can use mouse for gyroscope. Oh. That's interesting. So it just... I think you push the mouse up. That's awkward, but it, it like, as long as it works, right? Because this is a required puzzle, it seems. So it would suck to get to this point and be like, well, can't play anymore. Inspector Bronski? Inspector Grozki? Oh my god, it's right there. Phew! Hirsch and Randall are finally reunited. Now they can continue their exploration. Look at them! They're having fun! Nothing bad's gonna happen to them! Yeah, it's neat. They have see-through mouths. Are you alright, Randall? It'll take more than a few traps to stop the archaeologist Randall Ascot. You, you okay? Still standing. Things got a bit hairy. But I survived. You mean they got a bit mummy. We made it unscathed. The resounding success. Down we go. 
Yeah, I gotta go back and go digging. When I first walked into this room, it looked like it was spelling out words. Like it was it was like a giant maze that spelled out. Thank you so much for to playing my game. Adobe Dobe doll. Oh, he's really good. He looks like one of the, the, the what are they called? From Mother 3. The like the Gumby concrete motherfuckers. He looks great. And Dobe Dame. The clay men, yeah. They weren't concrete, they were clay. You can hook any wireless controller to it. I think the x bone controller is a gyro. Don't quote me like that. I don't believe so. The DualShocks 4 and 5, or DualShock 4 in the Dual Sense PS5 controller, they have gyros built in. The Switch Pro controller is a gyro built in. I don't believe the x bone does. Sony, Nintendo has gone bonkers with all their controllers for a long time. Sony adds weird things but doesn't mess with what works. And Microsoft has just been, like, iterating very slowly over time. Pretty much since the first Xbox. He wears a bandana. Uh, next question. Wiimote Forever. The the peak game design controller. It was the Wiimote. That's not the that's the direction I came from. There's nothing of any interest that way. Just some one-piece, two-piece. Something. I don't know. Didn't seem interesting. We're getting close to the Azran treasure, Herschel. I can smell it. I don't think that tre that's treasure, Randall. How much farther do you... How much farther down do you think it is? Getting tired, are you? Not at all. But this area here... What do you think it could have been? Well, the complex seems designed to repel intruders, which supports my theory that it houses a great treasure. Somewhere. The traps will likely get bigger and nastier the farther we go, so don't hesitate to ask me for help. I will, and you do likewise, Randall. The legacy of the Azran. He said the li what secrets are hidden down there. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Probably swamp gas, yeah. Yeah, they've only dug, they're still on the surface. They hit a gas vent, and they've just been walking around, digging holes in the sand. One of their dads is gonna pull up in a van and be like, What are you kids doing? Uh, yeah, that can just roll over there. Yeah. Oh, wait. This hole reminds me of a puzzle. Randall, <laughs> this hole reminds me of a puzzle, Randall. Herschel, you cad. That's no puzzle, that's a scorpion. Ran ran a locus of puzzle. Herschel back away from the puzzle. I mean the scorpion. Whoo, I'm getting lightheaded. Yeah. Pat pat. Good dirt. Whoa! This sun reminds me of a disappointment. Holy shit. Damn. Wait, I hit something strange. Strings? Layton having dot eyes. It's peak design, India. You're an artist, so your opinions on this are valid. But as far as I'm concerned, dot eyes and a line mouth is peak character design. There's a reason Barvatar is bottled after Layton and Ditto and any tiny little guy. Usually dot eyes and a line mouth. It's peak. It's peak. Baymax, exactly. Grep? Kind- yeah, pretty much. Randall? It's not as if the Azran knew we were coming. Shroomish? Uh, Shroomish looks a little angry, doesn't he? 98! Watertight code. He might be a ditto. There's a glass water tank next to a locked door. On the floor by the door are some metal balls and wooden balls, each of which has a numbered panel attached by a cord. Place the correct panels into the gaps to enter the code to unlock the door. You only have one clue to guide you. Those who seek passage need only ask the water. What's the code to open the door? Well, I'm assuming if you flood it... Wait. Okay, so if you- if you filled this with water, the wood would float. 
So some of the wooden signs have wooden balls, so both would float, and some of them have, what was the metal? There's metal. Just metal balls would be at the bottom, and then their number would float to the top. But which one's the important one? Is the one that f both of them floats to the top, or is the one where the metal's on the bottom, and then the wood is at the top? Would it? Because I feel like you could kind of make an argument for either? And then how would you know the order? Like, I- I am pro possibly probably overthinking it. Um, ask the water. I- I guess so. The metal ones would be upright. Right, and the wooden ones would just kind of be floating around any which way. S -s maybe that? But then, I- mm. Is this guy put glitter on his balls? That sounds like a nightmare. How much wood would wood float float if a wood float could float wood? I'm just gonna assume the metal balls. If five float and four are sunk, you only have four slots. Are the... There's eight of them. So there's four and four. So it could be... Excuse me. It could be either. Unless I don't know how to count, which has been proven before by latent games. Um... So this guy goes to nine. And this guy goes to five. Eight, six, seven, five... Three, oh, and nine. Nine, nine, five, four. Final answer. How exciting! Regis. Fuck yeah! I hate being wrong. The strings are different lengths, right? Uh, that's the, you're right. That's the answer. And they, ha on the touch screen, they have heights. We did find 69. It was the man eating pizza in the, in the, in the, in the museum. So four is the shortest one. Um, followed by, it looks like nine, then five, then nine. Time to solve this little puzzle. That's okay, that's pretty good. There is no puzzle without a solution. That's pretty good. Why did we do this? I don't know. There's gotta be a better way. The code was 9594. How come you can write four different ways? Like you make it like a triangle point at the top or it's an open bucket. Seven can have like a little dash through it. You know, some people make it fancy like that. Um, and nine and six, you just like underline it. If it can be ambiguous. It's like, why haven't we figured out a way to make it less ambiguous? You write a number anyway if you're bold enough. Well, yeah, my handwriting sucks, so... If you drop the balls in the water tank, the wind balls in the attachment balls fall on the top, metal balls sink to the bottom. Lengths of course take the order of the numbers. That's good. That's good. Only the fish can see it. That's why he's pogging. These puzzles must be carefully documented and preserved. Indeed, perhaps one day we can share them with others. Until then, good dirt, pat pat. Pip, pip, pip. His languages are hard to translate between even and numbers. I mean, that's fair. I just think we still could figure out some way of making them less. Is it radially? They're not radially symmetrical. They're just flipped. Whatever. New six. Is. Where's Luke now? He hasn't been born yet. This, 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 this is the before times. Long, long ago. Uh, I've got it. This is one long flashback? Sure is. This is, this is a doozy of a chapter. Um... Wait, do I have it? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I solved it, and then I unsolved it in my brain. Or did I? No! Wait. Shit. No, I did have it. And then I fucked it up. I forgot what my solution was, and then I fucked it up. Alright, let's try that again. me, 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 me. Yes, 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 and then this up. 
There you go. Uh, wait. The evolution of our modern six compared to the digits modern six can be traced back to the Brahmi numerals of India, first known from the edicts of of Ashoka 250 BCE. Nines from Hindu Arabic numeral system. Wait, so nine and six are from different I fucked it up, didn't I? Because I wasn't paying attention. It was the boomers. I knew it. I knew it. Uh can I unfuck this? Where does this respawn to? No, we can just keep going. Okay. Wait. Was that what I was supposed to do? No. Wait. Did I... Did I even solve this properly? I fucked it again. Wait, is it... Is that correct? Okay, wait. Undo. Undo. Rewind. How did I solve it in like 20 seconds? And now I'm staring again like, wait. What did I do? <laughs> what did my brain... I mentioned I didn't get a lot of sleep, right? And I got the poo brain from streaming, so they, we got a double aim. Still, you can. So I know I'm not high. I'm never high. I'm just like this normally. Are you sure? No, not anymore. Thanks for the hydrate. Stop blaming Boomer Kawanger. He didn't choose to be a weird bug robot. And he got blown up by Mega Man. So what do you want from him? Uh, high on puzzles, maybe. I'm high on pickle rats. Uh, Why can't I not? Why, why does my brain sit? I'm like, hey, brain, do you have a minute? My brain's like, yeah, sure. What's up? I'm like, hey, I need you to solve this rudimentary sliding boulder puzzle. Brain's like, on it. What was the question? I want, I want, I want, I want you. You said you're free, right? Yeah, I got all the time in the world. Okay. You're not doing anything else? Nothing. Cool. I need you to slide three boulders around to get one out of the top middle. Got it. What was the question, though? Okay. Good. That's what's happening. Um. And it's great. It's going great. It's going really well. Uh, bottom rock, bottom text? Bottom rock what? Oh. Wait. I fucked it up. <laughs> uh, oh no! Wait, this is fine. This is okay. Nope. Let me start. Okay. Bottom rock, bottom text. My face when bottom rock, bottom text. Alright, check this out. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Uh. Bing, bing, bing. Bring, 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 and then, and then Mia, and then get this over here, but don't, and then do this, and then do, and then over here, and then over me, and then over me. First try, boys. Easy. Man, I'm hungry for meatballs. Hey, Randall, did you bring any meatballs in your traveler's pack? Oh, man! Rolling boulder puzzle? All of these. Uh, well, okay, well... Let's see what our, what our, uh, what our situation might... involve. Um... Probably gotta do, like, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. 
A little bit of this. A little bit of that. It's my boulder of choice. Does that make up for previous poo brain? No. Don't kid yourself. Oh, good, more! I wonder what the treasure chamber holds. Jewels, technological marvels, maybe alchemical formulas? Uh, it's pronounced formulae. I can't even imagine, Randall. The closer we get, the more curiouser I get. Randall, aren't you concerned that we have no idea how deep this place goes? We're exploring an ancient ruin, Herschel. What do you want, an informational booth? This place has been waiting for eons to be discovered, so no, I'm not worried. Well, I am. Anyway, let's get to Boulder Rolling. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Um. All right. But can you solve it before you even walk into the room? Hmm? Oh, I can't roll this up. Well, there goes that solution. Uh... Unless... Cool. Actually, I can just... Wait, I can't. Randall, we're like 15. And... Time is of the essence, Herschel. Top rock, bottom text. It's just here. There you go. I skipped a step. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the. Which one has a puzzle? This one? This place has more puzzles than an archaeological dick site I've ever heard of! Hi, Onsta, how you doing? We're all ancient. We're all ancient people as obsessed with puzzles as you are. You're truly a man after your time, Randall. Well, if archaeology doesn't turn out to be your calling, you seem quite suited for stand-up comedy. Herschel, look at this. Is it a comedy puzzle? Oh, boy! 99. Artistry 2. Another cave, another cave painting. As before, the cave is dark. It's difficult to make out the entire painting. Your lamp can only illuminate one part of time. Count how many deer are depicted here. Uh, one. Finally, two, three. Four. Five. That was the first one, right? One, two, three, four, five. Um, six. Oh, seven. That's a big eight in the back there. Nine? This is nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight. Nine, ten? Is it ten? Oh, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, one, one, two, three. Four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. It's ten, isn't it? Probably three. Leave this to me. Can you find Bambi's mom? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm counting a big one. Is there more than one big one? Is it eleven? It's 11. Was it 10 last time? I think so. 11. There's another big one in the background. Here's my answer. Sure. There is no puzzle without a solution. Why not? There are nine small deer, two large ones overlapping in the background. Where? The white one? Oh, the black one. All right, okay. All right. Yeah, all right. One plus one equals three. Yep. Inside you are two deer. They're kissing. One more. The puzzles enhance the mystique of this place. It's just fascinating. Truly. 
Counting isn't a puzzle. It is if it's hard to count. A mineral nugget. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Where's deer? Right? Uh, well, when in doubt, get rolling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, eh. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Bring it back now, y'all. And then you... That's an ordeal. Have you seen the counting channel in Nicole's Discord? Where are they up to now? Yeah. Yeah, I was probably supposed to... Stop it with the other one. Think Randall will be satisfied the treasure where the friendship we made along the way? He would probably strangle Herschel to death in that moment. Currently 11. That's not very high. Can we get much higher? Me, 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 me. I kind of like it when there's crystals because all I was doing was smashing crystals and I solved it. And that feels great. Yeah. Randall, no! He's out for blood. He's walking out of here with a treasure or with a dead body in tow. One or the other. This is a big chamber. They are meat wadons. He's been hanging out. Quite a few of those bandaged barbarians. We must be getting close. What makes you say that? The heavier the defenses, the closer to what is being defended. We need to save the chat and focus instead on getting through this room. Uh... Um... Uh, oh... Hmm... Well, this is a puzzle. Well, let's get them... Chasing me. It always goes well when I just have them chase me. Uh, yeah, probably just, just make a little conga line. Oh, well this, hmm, hmm, yeah, if I go up, I'm dead. If I go up there, I'm dead. Hmm, what do you think, mummies? Hmm, can I not try my... Can I use my, my tried and true method of make a conga line? Maybe not. Hmm. Moomies? Can't believe these moomies. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> Anti-conga mummies. Never thought I'd see the day. Feels like Layton's actually want to do all the work. Yeah. Layton's a busy boy. If you can't bury the blue mummies, just avoid them. Good luck. Thanks. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. How do I get one of those top ones out of there? Even ignoring everyone else in the room. I guess if I'm able to have no one following me and move into the top there, I can duck in there and then run away. But that means I need to have two other guys buried. Too bad I died. Yeah. All right. And then uh, you. Oh, I can't have him one tile away from me though. Maybe this is fine. Let's see. Wait, no. This is the same problem. So I need... Oh, no. <laughs> I went the wrong... Oh, I fucked this up. Okay, wait, 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 wait.
Very top left and bottom right. Well, that's what I'm thinking is, is I don't know if where you bury them necessarily matters. It probably does. But I'm going to try what I was doing there before I messed it up. Because if I can get these guys out of the picture, then we're good. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I can probably just ignore this guy entirely on the right. And I think, as long as I'm on the way out, yeah, this this will work. I say with absolutely unearned confidence. And now we make a conga line. We bam bam dum ba dum ba dum ba do that puzzle. No, mystery dungeon. You <laughs> thank you, monster. Nice, Herschel. You have the makings of a great explorer in you. Haha. -ha. Thanks, Randall. But I can't really see myself taking that path. Oh, come now. If you enjoy it, what else matters? We could be partners. This world is filled with puzzles just waiting to be solved, and we'd have such fun working together. They'll make a video game series of our exploits. Professors Randall and Layton. Puzzle duo. See it in lights. You do make it seem as though anything is possible, but even this is more excitement than I need. Where is your spirit of adventure? We've survived this far, haven't we? In fact, why are we talking? Let's go! There's more puzzle rooms! Hours and hours, a thousand rooms of puzzles in the dungeon. Level B! Hmm? The air feels different here. Yes, I feel a draft. It must be coming from outside. But how? Let's find out. Off we go. Hmm. Hang on, do you hear that? It sounds like running water. We've made it. Herschel, there's the door. I'm sorry, Herschel. Just drop the mask. I let you down. Tell Angela I'm sorry. I can't pull you up. No, give me your other hand. Take the mask. It's yours. You must solve the last puzzle, Herschel. <laughs> the last puzzle. Here. Dead. He could just throw on the mask and then give him his other hand. This is it. The last door. Only one door, Randall. One last door that stood between you and your treasure. Puzzle 100. Gate to the ruins. 
It's very cute they lined it up, so this is Puzzle Hunter. The door to the ruins has five slots on it, each marked with a different symbol and nine stone blocks that fit into those slots. Can you place five blocks on the slots in the correct door and open the door? Solve the code. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, there, and then there, and then there, and then there, and then there. Oh. Are they not on the right? They look right to me. Let's try that again. What do you mean, no? Hmm. Is it, uh, is it this? Is, 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 is that? Well, now I don't know. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe the code's boob. He's fucking dead. He's for a sad puzzle music to cry to. Uh, I mean, I just assumed it was like where in the square is it? Top left corner, side, but that's not the case. Hmm. The answer's three. Probably. Hmm, 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 hmm. The vague limit of the solution. Um. And then I was trying to see if... Is it in the negative space? I don't think so. Can't swap them or anything. Five slots marked with a different symbol. Nine stone blocks that fit in those slots. Place them and open the door. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's it either. Of like, which one has that shape in it? Doesn't seem right. Unless. No, I don't see it. Um. I get what to do. You wanna give me a nudge? Maybe a hint. It's gonna be like, look, there's some kind of ancient glyph. There doesn't seem to be any direct correlation. If the glyphs don't mean anything, then what could the code on the door represent? I like that the middle one here is a little happy face though. Between the slabs. Mm-hmm. Just like... Like this... For the first one. But what does that point to? Because that's in between them. It's the opposite of what I was doing. Because that shape surrounds this guy here. So it's that guy. And then it's this guy. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. So I, I, I didn't have... I wasn't completely off. And I was correct to abandon that line of thought. But I didn't think of that. It's pretty good. Well done. I wish I had a hat, Randall. Puzzling's not the same without a hat. Don't eat it. That's okay. I was looking at the negative space of the shapes, not of the... Oh, he's sad. <laughs> he's fine. He's okay. Don't worry, Layton. This isn't even the saddest thing that'll happen in your life. It's just the saddest thing so far. So, you know. Chin up, buddy. More tragedy ahead. No technology, no magic, Randall. Just this. Gold, gems, metal, and rocks. Was this worth your life? Yeah, we could build a Randall mummy robot. The Azran treasure this moment. Was it all worth it, Randall? I want no part of this. None. 
I will never be an archaeologist. I'll never solve a puzzle again. Oh no. He's doing the Mega Man walk. It's Herschel! Uh. Herschel! What happened? How did it go? Where's Randall? Herschel, where is he? Tell me what happened out there! Why aren't you with Randall? Why? He's gone. <sighs> they found a fuck ton of gold, though. It's kind of cool. He stubbed his toe. Randall. I'm... I'm leaving Stansbury. No more Azran. No more masks. It's too much for me. He's eating meatballs with mummies now. I'll never forget you. I just need some distance from all this. Herschel, are you ready? Her animation was way more chipper than her voice acting was. Her voice went, Herschel, are you ready? And, and she went, Would you like a cup of tea before you go, my dear? Almost. I just need a minute. Of course, dear. The carriage is ready when you are. Ooh, carriage. Thank you. Did he break up with his friend? Uh, something broke. The ground they were standing on. Hello, Randall. Oh, no! <laughs> I solved the last puzzle. <laughs> the treasure was there, just as you said it would be. <laughs> the discovery that would have made you famous. <laughs> I told no one of it. Uh. It shall forever remain our secret. Oh, he didn't tell nobody. Here is what you sacrificed your life for. It's yours. The last puzzle was friendship. Oh, the ladybug. He's gotta go find some corn. No, damn it. No, I don't want to save. Undo. No, go back. Maybe things will be different if I just go back one more time. Hey, these games are fun. Chapter 7. The Reunion Inn. The Reunion in what? In what? We made our way to Pumpkin Park, where the masked gentleman was set to perform his next miracle. I didn't have Pumpkin Hill ready to go, or I would have hit it for one second. It happened so quickly, and right before our eyes, mm -hmm. everyone in the park had vanished. Yeah, let's drag this castle. It becomes Castlevania now. The reunion. The last gentleman then announced that his final miracle would be visible all over town, and then he disappeared. The stage is set for the masked gentleman to unveil his final act. I'll hum Pumpkin Hill for you. It was his favorite song. Mm-hmm. Remember Bruce? Where should we start today, Professor? I'm not sure yet. Emmy, do you think people were aware of the masked gentleman's presence in the amusement park yesterday? Well, Inspector Grosky didn't seem to notice, although that may not mean much. Don't need to... There must have been some trick to the whole thing, right, Professor? Man, I really forgot how Luke being present undercuts any dramatic tension. Hello, Professor! It's me! Your best and favoritest apprentice, Luke! I can talk to animals, Professor! You can't-
can't be sad when I talk to a squirrel, right, Professor? I suppose not, Luke. I suppose not. Did Lane finish telling the story? I guess so. Here it is. There you go. And it just... There we go. All right. There must have been some trick, right? Most probable. Let's see what we can find. I missed some puzzles somewhere. I missed King Arthur's sword in that flashback sequence. That's fine. I didn't go around the entire town and talk to everyone, so... Fine with that. I if anything, it's probably for the best I'm missing puzzles because I want to finish the game today. So, uh... Probably not going to be talking to everyone, too, as well. God damn it! They have ever, ever, it's like landmines. It's like, oh, I wonder if he's going to say something about, like, the day. He's got a puzzle. I, fuck, I don't... Good day. I trust y'all are well-rested. While we're in fierce competition with the other hotels in the city, we strive to provide the best for our guests. Of course, we don't really consider anyone to actually be competing with us. Even so, there is a quaint rivalry between Mr. Lador's own hotels. The Reunion Inn in particular has had some stellar reviews. To my chagrin, it's now the hotel our customers compare us to. This is the final chapter? Okay. Behind these monuments to comfort lies a battle that is far from relaxing. I ain't gonna lay get to me. I suppose one could say that. Man, listening to the pumpkin in one second increments is really rough. In a battle of luxury, I can't imagine that either side can be considered a loser. Enough about my work. Would you like a puzzle to go along with your investigation? Would I? Would I ever? Puzzle 101, wonky wiring. Oh no. The radio has broken, and right when these kids were going to listen to some music, they were going to listen to... You'll have to help repair the radio. Adjust the wiring so that every section of wire is connected. Make sure the cross and square terminals in the center connect to the matching cross and square terminals on either side. Use the stylus to rotate the pieces of wiring and connect everything. Everything. Uh, uh, there. Watch me solve this in record time. Why? What am I stuck? I rolled over the power cable. God damn. It gets like mashed up, you know. Like I, I got, it's like an office chair with like the the wheelie caster wheels with like the plastic cap over it, and somehow it gets like smushed up in there. I'm like that. I mean, I guess I'm moving it. It's a Bioshock. Oh my god, it's Pipe Dream. I shift. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So check this out. Um, just gonna give us some ambiance. For the this is our goal for fixing the fixing this up um can i move them i guess not okay crazy 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 um, oh, this isn't correct at all, is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Or, oh, you can spin this, too. Hmm. Okay. Can I make the re- Actually, this is still bad. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Da damn it. Make sure the cross square terminals and center connection matching on the other side. Right. This is more difficult than I thought it would be. Well done. Bravo. Um. Hmm. Hmm. This is Knuckles. Hi, Knuckles. Oh, is it. Well. <laughs> This is going great. Uh, uh oh. oh. Listen to it with different track. I mean, I can just turn down the DS. Uh. Uh. I thought this was gonna be easy. How naive I was. No, I can't. This has to. This has to be that. This... 
could do like that. Um. Mm. Done. Yeah, you have to use all the wiring. I did it, Professor. The radio's fixed. Nothing like a good tune to liven up the atmosphere. Yeah. They're reading the Sonic Adventure 2 instruction booklet. Willy Wonka. What's the name of that puzzle? Uh, how clever. You're quite sharp. Just what I expect from acquaintances of Mr. Lidador. Gives me a great pride to work for a man with such high standards. Mr. Lidador is popular with his employees. I still prefer the professor as a boss. Me too. Very good. Very good. Um. All right. Let me get carbon alerts real quick. Ebbay, thanks for 100 bits. Layton, I know what a shovel is. Randall, but this isn't just a shovel. It's a shovel. Layton, why did you shout that? Because it's more exciting. Kay, thanks for 69 bits. Akko, thanks for 53 months. Next month is Master Chief Card Key, I think it is. Squints? Yeah, I mean, next next the uh, sub badge isn't for a few months, but... Oh, you're right. Thank you. My bad. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Sony Eldirium, thanks for six months. Enjoy Golden Key. Shady Octopi, 29 months. Gotta escape, because spoilers. 29 months is neat. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, thanks for 69 bits. You best start believing in puzzles, Mr. Layton. You're in one. Berg Flax, thanks for two months. Enjoy your bronze key. Two months? That's like a whole year. Pretty much. You're like halfway there, at least. Nerf Herder, thanks for 32 months. Happy my birthday, Baron Chat. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. I hope it's a wonderful birthday day. Uh, Ramans had uh, mentioned it. it was your birthday as well as theirs. Happy birthday. Happy Friday night. Thank you. And Sassy Bear, thanks for 10. Don't know if you know, sorry, there are a bunch of gifts of you on Facebook Messenger, and they're amazing. My sister and I discovered them today, and they're a new favorite thing. That is news to me. I've never used Facebook Messenger once in my life. Huh. I would imagine they're gifts from my grump days, but... I would not even know what they are. Uh, thank you, Sassy Bear. Keep it that way. I mean, I haven't been on Facebook in many years. Uh, so. Yippers. Yippers. I mean, that's the only gift you really need. To express any emotion in any scenario. Hey, my, uh... I went on an archaeological dig with my best friend and he fell into a, a, a bottomless pit. They say he's still falling. Yippers! Brings me back to middle school. Damn. I liked one of you dancing. Mm, 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 mm. Where should we begin today? I doubt the investigation's just gonna come to us. Oh man, what if it did though? Oh shit, it did though. Mr. Le Master Layton, please wait up. Gonzalez, whatever is the matter? I stand corrected. Boom! Sometimes it comes to you. The police have cleared Master Dalston. Whoa. Has he been released yet? Yes, he has just returned to the mansion. How can I ever thank you? Gonzalez, I don't believe I did anything to merit any thanks. But of course you did. Even when all the townspeople suspected Master Dalston, you continued to pursue the true villain. And for that, you have earned my gratitude. He ate a ruler. Um, thank you for this, Kelly. Where did you get this concept art for Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask? That says, didn't puzzle hard enough. <laughs> Solve the last puzzle for you, bitch! See you in hell! <laughs> ah, thanks, Gilly. You've earned my gratitude! Ah, oh, well, I'm glad to help it anyway. Dalston's an old friend. You're a true gentleman. Now, if you will excuse me, Master Dalston's waiting for me at the mansion. Please do drop by if you have the time. Gonzalez cares quite a bit for Mr. Dalston. If Dalston has been released, it must mean that news of yesterday's incident reached the police station. We should speak with Dalston. Perhaps the police told him something about the case. It's always a good idea for police to share new information with an active suspect in the case. Indeed. Let's go speak with Dalston. Yeah. Where was... Was Dalston left? I think Dalston was left. Oh my god, a bird. Wait. Bird, wait, come back. Wait, come back. 
I got an Enigma coin. Where did you get this? Look, the parrot dropped a coin! This looks like a hint coin at first glance. We can't trade it for a hint. What is it? Hmm. Well, as its use is an enigma to us, why not call it an enigma coin? An enigma coin? Where did that parrot come from anyway? I don't believe it's someone's pet. Perhaps it flew in from somewhere. Parrots have it easy, don't they? Flying around wherever they please, chatting with new friends, eating crackers. They sure do. Maybe it's the parrot from the other game. Just been hanging out, following- I'm not- no, I'm on- I'm on a mission. I'm no. Listen, if I hit a wall where they're like, you must have solved this many puzzles and be this tall to ride the plot ride, then I can definitely go do more puzzles. But... Is Michael a gamer? Oh, you mean Michael Barity? No, he's- he's with, uh, Gerard the Completionist. Which is I, the office I work out of. I don't work for them, I just rent a space from them. Hint coins are a tangible currency. Yeah. The more they talk about the in-universe mechanics, the more upset I get. Yeah, Michael's a good dude. Master Layton, please come in. Would you like a ruler? Master Dawson has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. In we go. Oh my god. Damn, dude. Damn, dude, you got a sword on the wall? Damn. Uh, uh. A puzzle. D finishes. The very same. This book holds a hidden puzzle. Good. Hmm. 104. Undercover code. A famous writer has written an adventure novel with no page numbers. Apparently, the fold-out island map contains a code that allows readers to work out how many pages are in the book. Can you crack the code? What a really cool idea, and then a horrendous final bit. <laughs> just, just to be like, it, it has a weird thing about it, and there's a fold-out map with clues. I'm like, that's rad. It tells you how many pages are in the book. That's not rad. <laughs> there's so many cooler things you could have done with that idea. Uh, those are clearly numbers, right? But what, what does it say? Um. Uh. Uh, how would that even work? Uh, how would you be able to fold that to make a thing? Uh, maybe have to rip it into pieces, throw it away. Is this loss? Oh fuck! Is this loss? Damn it. Yeah, happened again. I need like cable clips or something when I do a DS game to just like keep all this shit out of the way. Actually, I can unplug the power. We're good for another 20 minutes. I got 10 minutes of juice in this thing. Let's solve some puzzles. Bum, bum, bum. Just put greater than one. More than one. Done. Uh, crack the code. I mean, I, the, the immediate first thing that was just like, okay, well, it's gotta be like, uh, you know, you take like this bit and that's like this. Uh, and then you take the next bit. It's like this. Um, it's like, wait, this isn't a number. So I, it, it's, it's, it's using that somehow, but there's an extra trick to it, maybe? Or it's like every other one smooshes together somehow. I'm not clear. Uh, oh good. A ceiling hook like those VR arcades? Yeah. Just dangling up from up there. It's, this, is, this is strange. Don't judge a book by its cover. Definitely 12 pages. Man, this is just making me nostalgic. I, I had um a hardbound copy of The Hobbit and it had all the maps and stuff in it. And man, I spent so much time looking through those as a kid. It was so cool. And then I read the first 
third of Fellowship and thought I hated reading. <laughs> I was like, The Hobbit's such a fun adventure. And then Fellowship felt like work. I still need to go back and reread it now that I'm older. I just, at the time, it's not... Oh, man, the, 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 the Middle Earth maps are so good. Those symbols must tell you the pages. It's a three-digit number, by the way. Yeah, I figured. I figured there was some... It's like from the side and some kind of something. That is a long birthday party. Maybe we could set on fire. No way. I read The Hobbit for class, which made me hate it by default. That's the worst. That fucking sucks. I, I, I strongly relate. There's so many books that I was like, I might have enjoyed this if I wasn't forced to read it for school. Which is, you're under time pressure to read it, you're having to read it to read between the lines and find, like, metaphor and symbolism and stuff, which... I don't, I don't even want to debate whether or not the author intended for that to be there. It depends, right? That's not how I choose to read a novel. I want to read a novel to get lost in the story and the characters and be taken on this journey. And not be on this meta layer the whole time, above the novel. I want to read it. And then you can't. It's, it's just, it sucks. Most time, no. No. Most authors, I think, it's like subconscious as they're writing. And then maybe they can find it or their editor finds it and they can kind of drill it in a little bit further in an edit. But certainly high level metaphors and symbolism stuff, that's 100%. It can easily be planned. But when it's like, what, what's the significance of, of the bug that is pestering him in the scene? It's like, I don't know, they're in a swamp. Uh, fuck it. Leave me alone. I want to read a book. Anyway. Uh, what's the, what's the fucking number of pages? How would the fold out map look if you folded it along the folds? That was also my thought, but it would cover it up. And then I was like, maybe you could like half fold it, but that doesn't look like a number either. So that's why I'm still, I don't know. Sparknotes was godsend. Yeah. What did it mean? First draft metaphors are accident. Once you revise the net, you make it like it was your intent from the start. Right. That That is, I think, what a good author does is you you write, you put your heart on the page, and then you reread it, or you get another fresh pair of eyeballs. And you're like, oh, there's some interesting patterns here, or there's a motif. I can strengthen that. And, like, you take the core of what's working there, and you, you reinforce it. That's, that's smart, but... I still don't want to argue that every single thing in a book is a symbol. It can just be a thing. <laughs> this is how it is in college, and they're like, yeah. Well, it, it probably depends on what you're, what you're gonna, your your field of study. But yeah, I didn't have to do anything like that in college. I tested out of whatever base requirement they had for like English and grammar, and I was like, I'm good. If you fold up the map, you see something that looks more like numbers at some point. Maybe you should try rotating the book. If you fold it up, you'll see something that looks like numbers. What? What? I still don't. I don't know. It's raining. Look at the cover of the book. Oh. Oh, boo. Oh, boo, hiss. There's shapes on the book. I didn't see that. Fold the thing, <laughs> snap the 2DS in half. Um, okay. So if there's, there's this here. That's, that's sneaky. So, are you meant to fold the map and just stick that underneath? What would that make? Uh... Looks like 973? Wait, is it? That doesn't connect, does it? No. It's just like... This... And then... This... And this... Well, that's not anything. So that's not right. TDS can be full at all? No, that's why it's a 2DS. I think they did make 2DSs with a clamshell design, but not not this style. 7 to 7 E. Yeah, that's the number of pages in the book. Um Unless 
What if it wasn't that half of the page? And it was this, this. That looks more promising. Okay. It's it's this half, not this half. Okay. Okay. How about this? How about it, Layton? How about it? Puzzles are made to be solved. Are they? Correct. The key is to fold the map along the fold lines and combine it with the front cover. How novel. I don't hate this puzzle. I don't even dislike it. But man, oh man, do they give you a lot of stuff you don't need. <laughs> but... Meh. Eh. Novel. It's novel. A book relief cannot physically have 735 pages? Sure it can. A thick tome? What do you mean a page book can't have that many pages? I'm not entirely sure why the author decided to go in this direction. Page is real thin. You just have a juicy spine. I'm sure there's an upper limit, but man, you can make like a big tall boy that you gotta put on a table and do that shit, you know? Page counts have to be divisible by four. Well, but that could be the pages of the text, and then you have like extra pages of like the copyright info. The special thing. You know, like you can have extra pages that don't count for the the page count of the book. So I still think it's fine. Anyway, um tap. I like to take a crack at a really thick book. More than ten pages this time. All these books seem to be about business. This one appears to be a cookbook. Maybe he wants to know about the kitchens in his hotels. I don't know. Eh. Candles? Somebody didn't think Dalston would be the type. A keen businessman always pays attention to the finer details. Why, why not? Why have them if you're not going to use them? I really like the, the perspective here. Like, instead of it just kind of looking like a static scene with like some like parallax or whatever, you have this fucking couch really close up here. That just gives you this, like, really cool perspective. That works really well, even not with stereoscopic 3D. Because they could have said it where it's like, you turn on the 3D slide and you're like, Whoa, look at all that depth. But it's like, this works as soon as you move the camera around. It's really neat. It's a good place for the virtual camera to go, I guess. It looks cool, yeah. I like the 3DS. I'm sad Nintendo's murdering it next week. Next week? Week at whatever. 20-something. Every 3DS is going to self-destruct on that day. It will no longer be playable. I gotta finish buying games. I've bought most of what I plan to get. There's a couple others I need to... I need to do a few more passes. But there have been a lot of recommendations in the, the rec form, so thank you. Um, I'm not buying all of them, but... It's, it's giving me a few that I'm like... Because there's a lot of lists and YouTube videos I've been checking to just make sure... There are, I'm sure there's gonna be some stuff I missed. I'll be like, damn, but... I'm not gonna buy a million games. It's mostly I want to buy games that I think are... have a chance. Even though I bought, like, all the Apollo Justice games, it's like, oh, they were three bucks. When it's that cheap, it's a little bit easier to be like, might as well. But... There's a lot of games that are still basically full price. So... Is it less 3D games to check out still out there? Are you talking about what I'm just referred to? I mean, I, there's no one particular list. I've just found many threads on the internet, on Reddit, YouTube videos. If you just look up, like, 3DS exclusives, there's a lot of stuff out there. Apollo. Not clear, sorry. No worries. Uh, thank you for your help with the police, Layton. I suppose I owe you one. But I still haven't forgotten your initial suspicions about me being the culprit. Yes, I do apologize for that, but my duty is to respect the facts at hand. Did the police say anything when they released you? Did ten dogs run? Yeah, they said they have no idea what's going on. They're back to square one. I see. Well, if you'll excuse us, we must... Layton, I'm glad you're here. I'd like to properly thank you. That's very kind, but no need. Will you just clam up for a second and let me say what I gotta say? Sheesh. Whatever you want, Layton, just name it. I owe you. Thank you, Dalston. I'll keep that in mind. So where are you in your investigation? The masked gentleman appeared last night at Pumpkin Park.
We're heading back there now to see if we missed anything from yesterday. Well, keep me informed. I would like to not be left in the dark on this. That way I can prepare myself if I'm falsely accused again. You're welcome. Yes, of course. I'll... Left in the dark. Of course! That's how the masked gentleman pulled it off. Thank you, Dalston. I'm not sure what you're thanking me for, but you're welcome. Let's pay another visit to Pumpkin Park. What is it, Professor? Sounds like he's figured something out, but he doesn't want to share just yet. This is the best part of the investigation. So exciting. We're going back to Pumpkin Hill. Yeah. I have a lot to protect in this town, Leighton. Whatever you find out about the masked gentleman, please let me know. Of course, Dalston. Daddy Pumpkin Hill, I got a puzzle on my feet. Oh, what did I miss, little guy? Uh, I missed a coin here somewhere. Oh, thank you, rabbit. What a good Benoit. Nope, not talking to any clowns today. Not today. Uh, it was up through here. Ah, Professor Layton, so good to see you. You as well. I hope things have been a little quieter lately. Actually, yes, I was taking this moment to reflect on the casino's recent growth. See, when this casino was first built, this town was just a small oasis in the desert. But things changed dramatically when other casinos were built. Hotels, too. It was Mr. Lador's benefactor who made all this possible. Henry's benefactor? Yes, that's what I've heard. Apparently, this benefactor passed away some time ago. I was not aware of that. I guess even Professor Layton learned something new today. Why would Henry keep this a secret? Stop by the casino when you have some time. I got a puzzle I'd love to share. Well, I can't say no to an invitation to a puzzle. I mean, honestly, he, he did he did give me intel and then say, I, want, I have a puzzle. The Great Deserts of England. Come on, lemon, lemon, lemon. Oh, hey there, Professor Layton. I'm just testing this here slot machine to make sure it's not cheating people. Sure looks like it's guilty. Of course, officer. All right, fine, I confess, I was slacking. I just wanted to take a break for a second. Is that so wrong? And I thought maybe there was a chance I'd get lucky and someone suspicious would be snooping around the casino. Please don't tell Chief Sheffield you saw me here. I broke down and gave in this once. I won't do it again. I'm sure it's hard to stay 100% committed to your job in a place with so many distractions. We'll just have to redouble our efforts so that you and the other officers can take some time off soon. Well, arrest him. Throw him into prison. How are sunglasses staying on? Uh, he glue glues them onto his nose. Welcome, Professor Layton. I assume you're here to try my puzzle. That sounds splendid, Drake. I hope this one is up to your high standards. Mmm, another one of these. It's got a new sequence. Here's an unusual slot machine. Numbers that appear when it's activated aren't random. Obey some sort of rule. Work out the rule to predict what four-digit number will appear next. You only have five chances, so think carefully. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Um, it's probably going to count down. So it's five, six, seven, eight. That's definitely what's gonna be. Uh, 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 zero, 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 zero. Okay, this time it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Four, three, two, one. Five, six, seven, eight? Or zero, 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 zero. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, six, four, two. Okay, well now we, now we have to, hmm. Uh, what the hell is this? Hey, you want any pick rats? Not a one. Ah, the months of the year. Good old, uh, the 864th of February. Numbers, Professor, what do they mean? Hmm. I do have one more spin, don't I? 
Uh, this says two. Two nine six three. What? Is each digit doing its own thing? I think each digit's doing its own thing. Okay, now I got it. Okay, so it's... That's a four. This is an eight. Eight. This is gonna be, um... Uh... Two. And this is gonna be what, um... It's like going up by four. Yeah, it's a six. Done. Hey, Todd. How you doing? I believe I have this one. That's Solving really... Puzzles is truly a pleasure. It's really clever that they set it up so the first spin sets everything to zero. That's genius. Because <laughs> you, you hit... You're expecting it to just be a bunch of random numbers. You'd be like, okay, there's like some pattern. It's just like all zero. And you're like, what, huh? What? That was random? Is it random? The first number is random? Holy shit. So I just got the best possible experience. That's amazing. Hell yeah. Now I'm extra glad I came in for his puzzle. Thank you, Drake. RNG, baby. You just get everything lined up at zero like that. I've been working to find other sources of amusement besides the usual casino games to keep our guests happy. It's all according to a plan that Henry laid out for us. I think that I thank Mr. Lador for trusting me with this casino every day. Damn! How you doing, man? Everybody's here. You really do love this place, don't you? The sound of cards shuffling sends chills up my spine. Well, you're in the right business then. I'm the luckiest guy in the entire casino. Yeah, because you work for the casino. Okay, goodbye. Those glasses pinch on your nose. That sounds like they'd be very painful after a little bit. We're back. Was it all just a dream? The place looks perfectly normal. At first glance, yes. However, I think we should take a closer look. If you say so, Professor. Hmm. Hmm. Round and round, round and round. And round. Voltage, thank you for the raid. Nearly dropped my coffee. Oh, it's the no. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, that's just the text. Good. Hope you had a good stream. Thanks. Missed that last time. Cool. And that. A lucky ticket. I've got a lucky ticket. And it looks a little something like this. Okay. What comes after round? It comes around, goes around. Do you have a puzzle? Oh, of course you do. Kids love carnivals. Carnivals love kids. That's the end of the story. You sure have plenty of energy, young man. I remember when I was a kid. What a great time that was. I know what you mean. See, just between me and you guys, I'm actually 20 years old. Wait. What? Since I look like a kid, I thought dressing like one might make me more popular. It didn't really work. I thought you were my age. Look, kid, remember this. If you're cute and little, people will always be nice to you. Especially beautiful women. Uh, okay. I wish I could return to my childhood. How about a puzzle instead? Well, that took a turn. Hey, Ferris letters. All right. This unusual Ferris wheel is adorned with a letter of the alphabet in its center and on every cabin. The letter in the center is S. Cabins in clockwise direction go J, M, E, V, M, N, U, and question mark. According to one fairground worker, there used to be a letter instead of the question mark, but he can't remember what it was. He only knows the letters obeyed some sort of a rule. Can you work out which letter used to be on the question mark cabin? Um... January, March, April, November, member, November, um, December. Uh, Irpel. Irpel's coming up in a few weeks. Uh, 
Member Vember? Member Member, the Member Vember. There used to be a letter, I can't remember what it was. The letters are based on some kind of a rule. Naturally. Naturally. Why is S in the... Oh, I know what it is. I was like, why is S in the middle? Oh, okay, so then what's missing? Um, uh, uh, S. Let me have a shot. I'm the professor's apprentice. Yeah, JD got it. It was video game consoles released by Sega. The cabin is Saturn. S is the sun and the rest of the planets. Get it now? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mars, Neptune, Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, Mercury, Earth, Venus. In that order. I was very lost. It's definitely like... <laughs> For all the dozens of puzzles where I'm staring at it, I'm like, I don't know. And chat's like, I, I got it. It's just like, I don't, sometimes your brain just grabs a thing. You're like, I easily could have been staring at that for hours. But instead, my brain went, S is the sun. <laughs> and I went, oh. Okay. What sun just meant. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking, like, if it spells out a sentence or, like, if you can, like, make words by, like, tracing them across through the S or something. I was, yeah. No Pluto, it's gone. Big out of one's the shot, isn't it? Hey kid, you're not so bad with puzzles. Remember that all your dreams can come true in this town, even if your dream is to pretend that you're a kid? Time to spend another evening soaking up the attention of my adoring fans? Luke, do you feel like you need more attention? Please, Emmy. No. I wish I could dress like an adult. You're lost, kid. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone for the rest of the game. Uh... Yeah, it's just... No, I'm not talking to you. I love this gross little man. Well... Do you guys know about that gorgeous hotel in the center of town? It must cater to celebrities or something. I hear it's easy to get to the racetrack or pumpkin park. I also hear that their service is top notch. I wish I could experience what it's like to be a pampered princess just once. I like to imagine myself on a Sunday morning eating breakfast in bed while my servants wait on me hand and foot. This lady's eating two Pringles. Yep. Pink Pringles. That's something you and I have in common, Maddie. Really? I have a hard time imagining you doing that, Emmy. Of course. After breakfast, I'd go for a jog around my estate, take some photos around the city, do some training. I'm not sure you guys are dreaming about quite the same lifestyle. Yeah, your fantasy life sounds kind of strenuous and tiring. The point of being rich is that you can pay other people to work for you so you can focus on being lazy and beautiful. Duh. It's a cartoon tongue smear frame. She's going blah, 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 really fast. That's somehow worse. Thank you. I think she ate them right side up. She put the Pringles together so that it makes like, you know, they bow away from each other. And then you eat it, and they just kind of explode. That's what she's doing. Uh, I made it to the tower. Once you pop, you're forever changed. Not much of a change from last night. Or is there? Even in the daytime, this place is pitch black. I can barely see an inch of full of my face. I believe that was key to what happened here yesterday. Professor, what are you doing? Exactly as I thought. The masked gentleman certainly isn't shy when it comes to elaborate schemes. What do you mean by that? Quite clever indeed. While the masked gentleman had our attention, he rotated the floor. Thus, we exited through a door on the opposite wall. Bahum. How did he do that? I'll bet my hat that on the other side of this door, we will find an exact replica of Pumpkin Park. An exact and very empty replica. I was right. You know, as soon as I said it out loud yesterday, I was like, fuck, I think that actually is the answer. I didn't want to say that, because I was like, I don't exactly remember. I think a part of my brain remembered. Now, of course, the question is, 
Why is there a functioning, operating, perfect duplicate of Pumpkin Park next to the other one? You've got to be kidding me. That nobody else can see? It's a simple solution, but hard to imagine. Who would ever suspect a replica park behind the real park? I can see him hiding a rotating floor in this tower. How did he hide the creation of an entire amusement park? So this park was empty all along! Luke, don't talk over the more important questions. That seems to be the case. Come, let's head back to the real park. D see? Look what you did, Luke. We could have gotten an explanation from Layton, but now we have nothing. Good. Mystery solved. The masked gentleman used the darkness in Topsy Tower to disorient us. He led us to an exact but empty replica of the park to make it appear the crowd had vanished. That concept was as simple as the execution was extravagant. The masked gentleman would go to any length. You'd think someone like Layton would be like, Hey, how come the moon's on the other side of the park than where it was two seconds ago? Like, something like that. Instead, he was like, hmm. This doesn't make any sense at all. And then, and then he's like, in the dark. He's like, of course, in the dark, we were spun around and put into a replica park. Like, how does... How do, What? Exact copy of the moon. I... Mm. It's all just speculation. He couldn't have the twist reveal. Yep. Unless it was midnight. It was a new... Night of a new moon. I mean, to be fair, the lights in... A big city like this... I mean, they're not gonna drown out the moon, but if it's... Bright enough, maybe it's hazy. I don't know. It's, um, the Eye of a Monster. Oh my god. What a treat. What a pleasure to see you again. Oh, this is the guy I gave like eight different voices to. I've got a story for you. I don't want a story from you. What? What? It all makes plausible. I'm excited to get to it. What area are we in again? Uh, we're in. So I've piqued your interest then. Good old Kern Cat Goldfrog. <laughs> Excellent. But I can't give you something for nothing. This is business. Oh, is it? It is. I'll tell you more if you solve this puzzle. It'll be worth it in the end, trust me. Okay. Vanish large monuments. They rotate the audience around an empty view and hit the move of the camera. Yep. Which is why TV magicians are bullshit. There was one that was like a masked magician that was on TV in the late 90s, or early 2000s. And it was all like, I'll make the Statue of Liberty disappear. And then there was like, here's how we did it. And you're like, yeah. It's not as impressive. Hey, sorry, we just need to, we yeah. need to store some stuff. Yeah, sure. No, that's my room is 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 a storage closet first. Yeah. Just as long as as long as that's like established lore. Uh yeah, it's also what it says in my lease agreement with with uh Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ooh. You can turn that off if you want. Wait, wait, I want I want the You can change the colors. Yeah. Go full stream if you tap the uh is, you tap uh, hold on. Oh, Oh, there that, yeah. Okay. You can turn the dial. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rotate this. Yeah. Hell yeah. How's it, how's this look? It is reflecting so hard off my screen I can't read anything. It's blinding. <laughs> Puzzle 117. Oh my god, it's the halo. Ba 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 ba. I made it green. Ba 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 ba. But out of the. Uh, uh, let's, let's just leave it on green. That's fine. Now this is puzzling. Now this is pause puzzling. A girl tries a spinning teacup ride, beloved at amusement parks across the world. There are four saucers on the ride's base and four cups on each saucer. The base saucers and cups take 20 seconds to make one complete clockwise rotation. If the girl in the picture is facing east now... Which way will she be facing after the cup has spun for 15 seconds? So, she doesn't have any control over the rotation, like the normal teacups? Well, I have a lightsaber. To defend myself against John Williams. He's always ready, at a moment's notice, to take me out. My office is a storage closet, yeah. Control for the child. There are four saucers. Let me reread this. Um, yep. Four cups on each saucer. The base saucers and cups each take 20 seconds 
to make one complete clockwise rotation. So back to where they started. Are they all spinning at the same speed? But I need to think about she's going to rotate and then the sauce is going to rotate and then the whole thing's going to rotate three times. <laughs> or just un counterclockwise once. So she will face north. And then that will rotate so she's facing west. And then the whole thing will spin so she's facing south. Right? Before you guys work together, you're just renting the same workspace? Uh, no, yeah, no, uh, south. Um, no, uh, uh, th this is the office where Gerard has been producing the completionist for many years. Um, this is where a lot of people have rented office spaces from in the past. This is where Octo used to stream from. This is where Jesse Cox used to stream from. This exact office was Dodger's office. And when I moved years ago, uh, my home internet was so bad I couldn't stream. There's art, there's, there, the VODs exist of when I was trying to stream from home. And the, the, it was so bad, I could barely stream. Um, and, uh, that was, this was shortly after Dodger had a baby. And so she was not streaming from the office. Um, I don't even know if she was streaming. She might have just been taking a break at the time. Uh, yeah, Okami were, were some of them. And I was streaming from my brother's place. And I was basically, like, knocking on doors, being like, Anyone I know, can I temporarily stream from your place until I can get the home internet fixed? Because I foolishly thought that Spectrum would fix our internet. Um... They didn't. I mean, I did end up streaming from home well, uh, in 2020 and, and into 2021, but um, at that point, I think they had done some infrastructure upgrades, but were completely independent to me complaining. Uh, so, yeah. How much space is there to my left? Uh, a little bit. The room is shaped... Here, let me, let me diagram. The room looks like this. And then, and then it's like that, like this. Here you go. Office tour. So, this is where I'm sitting. I'm looking up, and I'm waving at you, chat. Hello. And here's, like, my monitors. That's a very square monitor. There they are. Hello. And there's, like, windows here. And bookshelves back here. And there's a door here. So, there is, like, a little bit of room here for the door to open. But, um, yeah, that doesn't really... I don't really see that, because my camera's kind of facing this way. Trashing from on kind of sucks. I mean, I don't mind it. It just, you need good enough internet. And, um, fun fact is, uh, back in the day, when I would be shopping around, looking at apartments, and I would try to look up the internet ahead of time, they would list the up and down speeds up to, right? They don't guarantee those speeds, but it's, like, up to, you know, uh, 20, 25 down and 5 up or whatever. And now... They've moved past that point. Why is the face with big nose? I don't know. They moved past that point, and now every time I've looked up internet speeds anywhere, it's like our basic plan and our super ultra plan. This is good for streaming to five devices. And I'm like, just give me numbers. <laughs> That's just you. And like, you can dig in and they'll maybe have fine text where it shows the down speed, but they just don't mention up speed anymore. And I'm like, I need that to stream. I literally need that. And I'm not getting fiber. There's, like, no fucking fiber anywhere in Los Angeles, so... Uh... Fiber typically, unless they're fucking with it, and it's not really fiber, uh, has the same up and down speeds for bandwidth. So... Sucks. I don't... Yeah. Don't, don't get me started. But, um... Yeah, no, it makes It makes me mad. But, uh... Yeah, so we couldn't shoot from... Shoot from here. And then what was a temporary solution became a... More long-term solution, so... No beans! Not a single bit of... Actually, there's a lot of beans in LA. Google Fiber's come my town. Nice. I want to move somewhere knowing that they have fiber so I can just stop worrying about it. But it's been great. How's Dodger's office treating you, though? I love it here. I mean, it also worked out that I moved in here and then Dodger and Shrippen moved to uh, to the UK. So she didn't need this space back. Because I was like, the moment you need it back, I'll figure out a new plan. Like, we were very clear about that. And she was just like, I don't need it. So it really worked out. Vegas. Moving to Vegas, baby. Um, I'm gonna say South, because that's what I decided a while I ago. I have this one. Yay. I need to not 
Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Why won't it turn off now? Wait. There it goes. Wait. There it goes. Okay. I am good. 3D Layton. I know. You keep forgetting he's there. And then he jump scares you. Yeah. yeah. These lights are so fucking cool. Like, goddamn. I mean, I mean, I, I, I messed with them to try to set them up for um, my last Lego stream, and then chat was like, we like it better without. And I'm like, that's fine. I didn't spend an hour trying to set it up. But listen, it's whatever's best. <laughs> it's just funny. Um, but uh, just the fact that, like, they're so lightweight, they're battery charged, they last a long time, and you have all of this different color temperature shit and all these different RGB colors. It's just, like, so fucking cool. I love these things. If I made video productions with f filmed video, <laughs> I would. I'm sure they're not cheap, but they're rad. I want a blueberry. No. Uh, I did it. She's spin. Got it. All right, back to whatever the hell's going on. No, I guess I have to tell you now. Yes, that was the deal. I believe. Play in the dark. I gotta turn on my uh, Majora's mask <laughs> if I turn off the lights. That's the rule. Yeah. Mr. Lador's fortune has skyrocketed to truly amazing levels. He's now climbing the list of the world's richest people. Say thank you, Michael. I mean, it's not a gift. <laughs> I gotta take it back. Did I want to swap screens? I sure did. Thank you. I drew my thing and then forgot. Say thank you anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to. Uh, Ever since Mr. Dalston was detained by the police, and customers have been shutting his hotels and businesses. It's kind of the point where you could reasonably say that Mr. Lador owns this entire town. That arrest definitely benefited Mr. Lador. Bet my reputation on it. Professor, it was Henry who took the police to arrest Austin in the first place. Indeed. Murphy, do you know who was behind the construction of Pumpkin Park? You know. Was there a single person who was in charge of its construction? Well, basically, that's all Mr. Lador. He issues the permits for every construction project. Lately, he's been pouring money into new buildings like it's wet cement. But the masked gentleman definitely concerns him. With all this expansion, he certainly can't afford a drop off in business right now. Oh my, look at the time! Does the city account and have enough work for three people? Farewell for now. He talks enough for three people, too, which is odd considering how much confidential information he knows. It seems that Henry's invested in several facilities here in Mont Newell. Tear it up. I would like to check with Henry to see if this is actually true. Good idea, Professor. Let's head to the door house and ask him about it. Confidentiality compromised. Oh, don't make me do this voice more. I'm gonna give him a normal voice. It's like my, it's like my, my esophagus is gonna try to implode on itself. I'm not happy about this at all. You're telling me... I've had it up to here with Murphy and his blathering. Yap, yap, yap. All of our confidential information is at risk if he's handling our accounts. I caught him detailing the hotel's profits to a customer. I was mortified. He does my accounts, too. When I hear my employees quoting figures back to me, I know where they got them. We ought to report him to Mr. Lador. Can his new voice be monotone? Yes. Who's Bru Brunette Sissel? He does look like Sissel. He manages the casino. But he does look like Sissel. I don't know if that would help. I heard Murphy was a great help to Mr. Lador when he built the Reunion Inn. And that without his advice, Mont d'Or wouldn't be the city it is today. Well, that is fine and dandy. However, speculation will get us nowhere. He may be loose-lipped, but once he works for you, he's a very loyal man. Loyal or just calculating? Regardless, now that Mont d'Or is well established, Murphy's not as important as he once was. Mr. Lador most likely feels obligated to keep Murphy on. Maybe so. But if we explained... Oh, well, good evening. Sorry I'm late. I do apologize. Time for another night of ride through the numbers. Glorious! I just came from telling Mr. Dalston's earnings. Seems like he's doing well. He invested quite a bit into the circus, you know. Or didn't you? Or shouldn't I have said anything about that? Well, never mind. Let's pretend I never mentioned anything about how Mr. Dawson's investing his money. The circus, eh? Hmm. Yes, well, perhaps there are some advantages to keeping Murphy around. Yeah, it's a normal voice. 
I, I said what I said. I'm a man of my word. Not talking to this adult child again. Um, yeah, we're going to find Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry. Let's take the train. Operating the Mont d'Or tram is simple. Once aboard, touch your desired destination. Um, coming soon. Racetrack, then. That's... Is that close to the... I think that's close to their house. Right? Maybe? Hi, computer. Very stinking his dumb hair. Finally, someone says it. Appreciate it. Oh. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Uh. There we go. Uh, you arrived at racetrack entrance. Good. Um, south? South? The music in these games is always so good. They're very excited for what they do on the Switch. And it won't be as crunchy. <laughs> you do lose something, of course, but... Herschel, I fear that we'll never discover the masked gentleman's true identity. A horse racetrack. Yes. <laughs> If only we could find this Mask of Order, perhaps this would all end. I'm not certain we can trust the Masked Gentleman on that. Well, it certainly sounds like it's just as important as the Mask of Chaos, at least. Yes, I've read that the Mask of Chaos and the Mask of Order hold a great power when they're paired with one another. We know the police aren't going to be any help in the matter. If finding a mask can save this town, we must do it. I thought Henry might have it among his treasure, but he maintains he doesn't. Henry's hiding something. I don't like it. Angela, I couldn't help but notice that something happened to your pendant. Shwam. Pendant? Oh, it fell off somewhere. The chain must have broken. It was getting old anyway. I was thinking about buying a replacement. I see. Well, maybe it's for the best. Angela, is Henry here? I'd like to speak with him if that's all right. Yes, he's in his study. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Whoa! Where was Benui for that one? Gotta do everything around here. Bum, bum. Buying a replacement? I know. <laughs> How dare you? Henry's in his study. Please go on in. Is that shenanigans? Something's up with her. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just standing in your room, a posing. Neutral posed. Leighton, I'm a very busy man, so I can only give you a moment. What can I do for you? Thank you, Henry. I'd like to ask you a few questions about yesterday's incident. I gave a full report to the police. They're now investigating what happened. Yes, we did some investigating of our own as well. We discovered an exact replica of Pumpkin Park. Right behind the original one. What on earth are you talking about? Topsy Tower has a rotating floor. Last night we were turned around without realizing it before we exited into a different park. While we stood there in the dark, the masked gentleman tricked us yet again. We were so intent on chasing after him that we didn't realize we were walking right into his next act. Forgive me if I find this hard to imagine, but nothing gets built in this town without my authorization. That's what I wanted to ask you about. You have been investing quite a bit recently into construction projects across town, yes? We have not even yet begun to are you fucking serious with this game. Expanding while the future of Monte Or is so uncertain is an interesting choice. Why not wait until the Smash Gentleman business is over before expanding? Leighton, I believe I've told you this before, but I do not need to explain myself to you. The town of Monte Or is under my protection. I will do as I see fit. Of course, Henry. However, in order to conduct my work, I need to know what you know. What I know? How quaint. Leighton, you proceed with your investigation as you see fit. Most everyone in town will give you their full cooperation if you mention my name. If you need something, just say that I authorized it. But that is all I can do for you. I have my own work to conduct in this matter. Of course, Henry. Thank you for your time. I must take my leave of you. Feel free to investigate my study in my absence if you wish. I have nothing to hide. If you find anything useful, you may take it. Professor, I want this vase! 
Should we investigate this study? There may be information about the park construction or notes on the masked gentleman. We should search every inch of this place. Hmm. We may be missing something here. Henry's hiding something from us, that is clear. All along, I thought it had something to do with the masked gentleman. We may have made a very big mistake. What do you mean by that? Oh. Henry, is someone here? Oh, we have guests. Yes, you look quite familiar. Do I know you? Are you? My goodness, what a surprise. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Uh, uh, uh. This is all stuff we've already looked at. Hello! It's Kyrie's grandmother. Herschel? Herschel Layton, is that you? Why, what happened to your hair? Professor? Yes, of course, it's me. Emmy, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Ascot, Randall's mother. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Hi, it certainly has been a long time. What are you doing here? After Randall died, Henry and I tried to find the body so we could put Randall to rest, but we never found it. We spent my fortune scouring every inch of that terrible place. I lost everything. Yeah, I left a lot of- a lot of mummies I just kind of conga lined away from. It's my bad. And you still didn't find him. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I couldn't stand being in that old house. Too many memories. So we left Stansbury and came here with Henry. After Mr. Ascot passed away, Henry insisted that I stay with him. I had no one else, so I accepted and here I am. Over the years, Henry's paid all of my debts. He's also prepared for Randall's return, should that ever happen. Henry never mentioned any of this to me. Oh, you know how Henry likes to keep to himself, Herschel. If he doesn't feel it's worth bringing up, he never will. I respect that about him. Yes, as do I. But Herschel, can you please, please be kind to him. He's done so much for me. I don't think he has ever fully accepted Randall's death. I see. Yes, Mrs. Ascot, I will do my best to respect Henry's wishes, and I will try to protect him if I can. If this masked man knew what Henry was really like, none of this would be happening. If Randall were alive, he could protect Henry. They were practically brothers. This town is Randall's town too, you know. I'm sure Randall would be doing his best to stop the masked gentleman. Who are you talking to, Herschel? Angela, come in, please. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt. Please don't worry, Angela. I was about to have lunch, and look who I ran into. Yes, I thought I'd call you before your food got cold, but if you two would like to talk... No, no, that's all right. I just realized that we must be on our way. Already? I'm sure Henry will be back before long, Herschel. Oh, no, my business with Henry is done. I just remembered something I must attend to. Very well, Herschel. I know you'll find the Mask of Order and save this town. Yes, well, I shall do my best, Angela. Goodbye. Goodbye, Graham Graham. Oh, he didn't actually leave? Leaving already? I was just making tea. Yes, do forgive me. I'm certainly not one to pass up a cup of... Unless I must. Well, no matter. We'll have another opportunity when everything is resolved. Goodbye. Herschel. I, I left my puzzle on back at the hotel. Gotta go. What did you suddenly remember we have to attend to? Did you think of a new lead? Perhaps. Do you know where the masked gentleman will appear next? We need to speak with the mayor. I want to check on something. So back to City Hall then? Remember when I said that we may have made a very big mistake? We're about to find out if I was right. Why are you smiling? If you fucked up, Leighton, you've doomed us all. There's a meteor heading straight for Mont d'Or. I thought I was never gonna have to talk to this man again. Oh, God. Did they make the town near the old ruins? Possibly. I don't remember exactly where it is in relation to the old ruins. We could, I mean, I don't know how many giant deserts there are in England. There might be more than one. Hello, Leighton. Come to join our little crew gathering party. I do so love the excitement of things happening around me. Mayor, we need some information. Ready for more Chessent? Of course. Ooh, urgent request for knowledge. Wonderful. How can I help you? I need to see all of the land deeds and ownership papers for any assets under the control of Henry Lador. Now, hold on there, Leighton. I can't just give you that. Unless... Does it have something to do with the masked gentleman? 
Uh, sure. Henry's asked that I received as much cooperation as possible here, Mayor. This information may save every voter in town. Wink. Oh, well, if Henry's granted you access, who am I to interfere? Plus, it sounds like I'll be a hero in an election year. Just let me verify this with Mr. Lador. You solve this puzzle in the meantime. This is the puzzle of goddamn that man's dumpy. No, it's more, more fucking chess. God damn it, these puzzles. You want to cut this messed up six by six chessboard into four sections? Same shape, same area, four pawns. You want two white pawns, two black pawns in each. The solutions can be rotated but cannot be mirrored. Uh, okay, so nine squares per section. Once again. And, uh, maybe it's some kind of like, wait, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine? Could. That's not it. Um, maybe it's long ways. What if I just do that? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, hmm. Is it going to be some shenanigans like that? I need two more. Like this? Mm, nope. Like this? May maybe? May is it, is it? Did I do it? That's the Mogus. Yeah. Is the Mogus the answer? No, it's not. Damn it. That was close. Bottom left only is three. Hmm. Also, I can... Yeah. Make that bigger. Um. What if I give him a foot? But then I need a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, hmm. Uh, how do I get one more white pawn in the bottom left one? Without just fucking up everything. Hmm. I don't like this answer. No, this answer sucks. <laughs> I, I feel like that can't be the answer just because of what the shape is turning into. So, let me try a different route. Um... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Maybe like a weird stair step? We are a fan of a big weird stair step, aren't we? Everyone chats always like, come on! We want another big old stair step. That is not it. Or isn't it? Yeah, you're right. C3. I don't know if I can grab a C3 from the way I had it before. Um. One, two, three, five. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? That's just a weird stair step. But I do like those. Does that work? No. God damn it! I hate these puzzles! I hate them! I hate them! <laughs> it's just... There's there's no sensation of progress, it's just... Try it, did it work? No. Try something else, did it work? No. It just, it's just, you're just throwing darts at a wall until you eventually get it. It just, it doesn't feel like a puzzle where you're like unraveling, it's just like, uh, just keep trying, champ. You're close, though. I... I nah, nah. Or you can cut to split the board into two with equal number of black and white pawns in half. I don't know. Find the way pawns to position a straight vertical line down the mill makes a safe bet. Divide the board in the corridors. Yes? Like, literally divide in the quarter? I mean, because that's, that's, that's no good. That's no good. Or can you... Mm. Does this not work? I'm blind. The one I had before? 
It did not. I I just want to make a stair step, man. That's just that. It's just. That's just how it wants. My brain wants to turn into stairs. But it doesn't work. Because I'm left with four in each, but on the left side, I have three black pawns and one white pawn, and vice versa. I need to have two and two. So that's why that does not work. We tried three. Good old, good old fashioned three. Mm -hmm. Stair step left the other way. So instead of what I do last time. So if I stares it like this. No, because now I have three and one on the other side. Because I can't mirror it. I can't I can't do this. It's a valid for the number, but not valid for the shapes being rotated, but not mirrored. So I can't do that. Stair step right the other way. Gerrymandering simulator. It, that's what it feels like. No, you want you want gerrymandering simulator? I'm sorry, this is gonna get this is gonna get too real. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's gerrymandering simulator time. Mm, I hate this joke. Okay. Alright. Anyway. Um, you include all the pawns in the leftmost column. Two black and one white within the same section. You need one more pawn. How can you manage that? In the leftmost column. Wait, is it some weird... Is it some weird shenanigans? No, how can that... How can that be? Unless... Unless... Is that it? I did need several... Fucking... I think that's it. Yeah. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Gay. Hooray. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Ugh. Correct. Your clean divide is proof of a job well done. Appreciate it. I hate when the critical path puzzles are bullshit. <laughs> Just. <sighs> I'm a genie. I mean, I have a billion hint coins, and I'm really- I try to not use them, because usually it's like you spend three, and it's like, okay. Like, I appreciate that the built-in hint system has that gradation to it, but it's always just like, first, hint coin is useless. Second one can sometimes be a good hint. Two is a good number. Three is when it's like, okay, we're gonna kind of tell you what to do, and then super hint is just like, here's the answer. Which... Fine. Five is right out. Exactly. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Um, that's proof enough for me. No need to verify things. I'll get you that information. Thank you, Mayor. I thought you were getting it for me while I did the puzzle. But um, it's VBot. Thanks for 13 months. Life is pain, Professor. Queered Cryptid. Thanks for 10 months. It's 333, my lord. Welcome back. Voltage. Thanks for the raid. Negative space. Nine months. I hope you enjoy your Ruby key. I hope this message doesn't share the dumb emote it's showing me. It's not, but what did you see? Oh. Um, pretty spirited lady, thanks for 14 months. And Pixel, thanks for 100 bits. Do not trust- I do not trust Big Puzzle. They're covering up massive environmental damage. Look, they turned my climate change chart into a sliding puzzle no one wants to solve. That's how they cover up the conspiracies. They just hide it in between puzzles. Michelle, can you please fetch me everything we have pertaining to the assets of Mr. Lador? Is this mustache breathing? Yes. You can't take hit coins with you. You know what? I need to remember that more, India. Thank you. I don't think that's how you play chess, Professor. 
Solve this sliding block puzzle. But it's, it's got... It's got too many weird shapes. Sure, let me just snap my fingers and make those hundreds of forms appear. Good thing I already had them pulled for you. Here. Damn, Michelle. Kicking ass. Thank you, Michelle. Here we are. This document details the ownership of all properties controlled by Mr. Lador. His mustache is pulsating with his idol. Maybe, maybe he stores like air in there. You know, they're like, they're like bellows attached to his nostrils. Fascinating. So it is true. I trust you will respect the Lador family's privacy in this matter. This is extremely sensitive material that I'm providing to you because you said it's cool and solved the puzzle. His father was a bicycle. I can make you a copy if you need one. As long as you promise to take good care of it. This man. Yeah, sure. That's his mustache. I know, right? It sucks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Mr. Layton, please meet us in the briefing room. The chief would like a word. Understood. Thank you. I gotta, I gotta give Michelle a high five real quick. Or a fist bump. Never mind, I regret it. She had a puzzle. We got a call from Mrs. Lador this morning saying that the masked gentleman was at the amusement park last night. Which amusement park? That one. It has been a zoo here since then. Joy. You're not a big fan of your job, are you? Oh, I do administrative support for the most adorable lot of sweaty, talentless buffoons I've ever seen. What's not to like? Well, that one detective isn't so bad. He's quite handsome and seems highly ranked for someone so young. And he was smart enough to solve this puzzle in no time. No shit. Excuse me while I keep making dumb Flash-related memes. What is this, Killy? What is this? <laughs> Thank you, Killy. Fuck! Appreciate it, thank you. That was... It's everything I didn't know I needed. Ah! Whenever Killy brings a gift, it's... It's... Killy is a treasure. It must be protected at all costs. A duck of tiles! A child made a picture of an adorable little duckling using three colors of small tiles. You want to recreate it, but you only have three by three squares. Make the same duck. Look at those little ducks right above my head. Look at them! Look at me, look at them. Look at them, looking at that duck. And look at me, looking at them, looking at that duck. There's, this is good ducks. Now it's my turn. To make a duck. Uh... How do you, anyone know how to make a... Hey Siri, how do you make a duck? Okay, I found this on the web for how do you make a duck. Oh my god, she actually did. Huh. Well then. Technology is amazing. Uh, I need a little bit of this. Oh, wait. Need this and that. And then this. Yes. Good. Very good. Uh. Uh. Eh? Wait, no. The, the yes. Maybe. No. This first. Then y you. We had it. How is that? Okay, I'll just get to that later. Let me finish the top. Um. Put that away. Put this here. Right there. Uh, oh, I need that cut. <laughs> this is just an exercise, and what do I need to do first? It's this. Right? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. Um, put him there. Put him there. Put him there. 
This duck's looking really good. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Is it where we need to be? Hopefully. Uh, go with this one. I played some game on my phone, but involved pumpkins. Did somebody say pumpkins? Now we're at pump Got any grapes? Go fish. For grapes. Uh, uh, bump, 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 How? That is such a weird. Can he just have a big boot? Maybe he's sitting in a bucket. Maybe, maybe the water flooded. Now he's, now he's floating. And we're at pump. My name is not. Uh, I only have three yellows and two blues left. Which is great, because that's how many I need. Clearly. First, that. Then... Th this... Then this... Wait, that's too much foot. Oh no, it's just because the... Wait. Huh? I need to do that. This on top. I don't have a guy there. This. But now I'm lo now I lost that somehow. Ah, oh, Jeebus. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's all gone to shit. Why is there no undo? This is fine. This is good. This is actually my Kekaku at work. Damn, that's close. Um. Anybody got like, like a single guy? There it is. How about this? Puzzles are made to be solved. Perfect. Quacking job. You can actually complete the picture with one yellow tile left over. If you feel up to it, take another quack at it. And then you make the duck. Step one, just make a duck. Hmm. Despite that goofy look on your face, it seems you're pretty smart. Of course, he's the youngest professor in the history of Gresson Heller University. Yeah, and I'm the youngest rocket science doing administrative support in Montayor. At any rate, you did that puzzle almost as quickly as that detective. Good work. I'm surprised that Detective Bloom would take the time to solve a puzzle. Get more proof of the undeniable appeal of a good puzzle. You said it. Hey, Groshki. How did that blasted masked gentleman pull off the pumpkin park stunt? Uh, yeah. Maybe your time would be better spent figuring out how he'll strike next. Yes, something that could be seen from anywhere in town. If he intends to involve the whole town, we need to stop him before it's too late. I'm gonna put this masked gentleman behind bars if it's the last thing I do. You're not just going to run over the town needlessly again, are you? Not yet. Still got to figure out why that man's A-posing in the back. What's he doing? What's he doing back there? Go for colored squares and glaring into being a duck. Just like with scissors and construction paper. It seems the masked gentleman showed up at Pumpkin Park last night. We heard about it from Mr. Lador. Yes, Chief, that's correct. The case is still quite open. The masked gentleman made it seem like everyone in the park vanished and then just reappeared. Chief Sheffield, we need to act quickly before the next dark miracle. You ready? As much as I don't want to admit it, I think you're right, Layton, and I need a snack. This doesn't mean that Dalston is cleared, but we did have to let him go, and we do need to broaden our search here. Have you had any recent developments? Detective Bloom is at the racetrack. He said he found something there. In fact, he's probably still there if you want to catch up with him. No, oh, this is awful. We'll head straight there. Oh, I missed a coin. Uh, it's a side projector. You got maybe a light. Maybe one of these. Maybe, um... Maybe it's, uh, one of the chairs. It's probably, maybe the, the, the door. Yeah. Nah. 
Um... This this idea. I know, I'm just getting it out of the way. There's another coin in here! Is it near Grosky? I don't know. Dee 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 dee. I want it. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Damn it. All right. It's in Grosky's chest hair. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, it's night. Oh my, it's already dark out. We must find where the masked gentleman will strike next, and quickly. Layton, why didn't you tell me that the masked gentleman was at the Reunion Inn? How could you keep this from me? At the Reunion Inn? Well, that's news to me, Inspector. Haven't you talked to Bloom yet? The masked gentleman is hiding in the hotel that overlooks the entire town. That must be his next target. We were on our way to catch up with Detective Bloom. When you're done there, meet me at the Reunion Inn. ASAP, pronto, immediately. I, Grosky, out. The Reunion Inn. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. No, not talking to you. No, oh, good. This part. I can't believe someone made off with one of our carts. And the way it was done makes me think this was no ordinary person. I get the impression our culprit is rather accustomed to this sort of work. Not only that, but this kind of operation requires money, time accomplices, and a familiarity with the town. I'm sure. Well, I do hope the police bring him to justice soon. How about a puzzle in the meantime? A reunion at the Reunion Inn? That's too convenient. A day at the races. Hooray! The races are on! Three groups of tradespeople have been invited to watch. Tailors, winemakers, and upholsterers. The seating areas for each group have been arranged so that the sponsors can tell at a glance which is which. Can you tell which group of tradespeople is sitting in the yellow area? Um... Yeah. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to Took be sure. me a sec. The red seeing area is shaped like a chair. That's where the upholsterers sit. Blue is in the shape of a bottle. It's where the winemakers sit. Yellow looks like a shirt. Can I make it any more obvious that it's Henry? <laughs> Everyone's- who's not in on this scheme at this point? I can't in good conscience fill this place when the masked gentleman is out there somewhere. I fear it may be dangerous. Because you might be inadvertently creating an audience for one of his dark miracles? Yes, exactly. Alright, Bloom. We determined who took the horse cart. And did this information lead you to the masked gentleman's identity? I'm afraid we weren't quite that lucky. It seems our man blended in with the folks who come to check on the horses. He has a gift for disguises, apparently. He and his associates broke apart. What does Curious say when someone asks what his profession is and he transports wood types harvested from a type of tree that grows in temperate environments? Oh, I karaoke. Thanks for the raid, Rip. Appreciate it. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. Welcome. You're just in time for shenanigans. If you so choose to stay, uh, we are playing the Miracle Mask. Professor Layton, five. And uh, we, we are on the eve of the final night of the mystery. Things are coming together. Kiryu says, uh, while carrying wood. He does. Uh. Broke a p Bam. <laughs> I don't know if I want to welcome that joke. Too bad. Uh, he and his associates broke, that, park, broke apart the cart and then told Miss Lodora it needed to be repaired. When they finished using it for the statues, they brought it back and reassembled it. Bloom, what exactly do you believe is the masked gentleman's intention? He wants the Mask of Order. Is it true that it has some kind of special power? 
Mystical Special Powers? Magical Special Powers? What was the name of it? The He-Man for non blondes. Magical... Secret, secret magical powers. Thanks for marking me for death. <laughs> if so, we must prepare for something big. Something big and malicious. Yes, Kingdom Hearts. Inspector Grosky told us he believes the masked gentleman is at the Reunion Inn. All evidence points to that hotel. It's the perfect location for his purposes. I believe he's in there somewhere, preparing. Fabulous secret powers. Thank you. I don't know why I couldn't land on that. Thank, that is it. Damn that masked man and his fabulous secret powers. There's a stop near here for the Montedor tram that goes to the Reunion Inn. I need to check a few leads. Would you mind meeting Grosky at the Reunion Inn? Of course. I wanted to speak with you first before doing so. I appreciate that, Leighton. Your respect for proper procedure is refreshing. Now, please excuse me. I have a few leads to pursue. He seems quite thorough about investigating every possibility. I guess that's what elite detectives do. What other leads could he be talking about? Is he working on something else? I can't imagine. What is it, Professor? Based on what we've witnessed so far, I had considered Henry to be the main sus. But now it seems that it is just what the masked gentleman wanted me to do. All along, he's been trying to attack Henry with his clever use of these little tricks. He knew that when his tricks were exposed, all of the clues would lead to Henry. So the masked gentleman, whoever he is, is trying to frame Henry Lador. But if it isn't Dalston, who could it be? I don't know. Not yet, anyway. Let's head to the Reunion Inn. Yeah. We depart. Henceforth, according to the Bloom, the tram goes straight to the inn. How do we get tickets? I'll explain. You tap on the icon on the touchscreen or tap the red ticket machine. And then you tap Reunion Inn. Simple. Did that need a tutorial? Yep, nothing to it. I'm excited to see the Reunion Inn after all we've heard about it. Let's get our tickets. Bum, 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 bum. Operating the Montador tram is simple. Once the board simply touches it, uh, you just told me this. I rode the train earlier, Leighton. You're making me solve brain teasers and puzzles all day, and then you oh, tell me how a train works five times. Union Inn? It looks more like a castle out of a fairy tale than a hotel. Professor, how will we ever find the masked gentleman hiding inside of that place? Hmm. One room at a time, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not what I was hoping for at all. We made it. Dracula's in there being sad. Uh. It looks like the building's floating. I can't even see the bottom. Uh, this must be the source of the oasis and the heart of Monteor. Wait, so in the lore of the town, the yeah, poo brain's a powerful thing. Please don't talk to all this. I don't want to. In the lore of the town, there was an oasis here, and then Henry started an inn at the oasis. I forget the exact. What they what they said, but wasn't the reunion in the first inn that they built? So there was an oasis in the middle of the desert with nothing around it, and they built this by itself with nothing around it. It's been renovated since then. I would hope, even if it's just this ground area, just this, not the fucking t towers. Just like Vegas. Yeah, they started with the, uh, with the Luxor pyramid and then built the rest around it. Don't think about it too hard. I, that's rule number one of Layton. You're right. I keep breaking rule number one. Uh, that bench. What do you know? Sir, where were you last night? Hello, Aldous. Now that's for that. Uh, whoa. England is nothing cooler. England's so cool. I wish England was real. That's what games are for, though. To escape reality. 
Jira, the guy who keeps adding floors to his log cabin, has to stop because it reached airspace. No. We got cobbles. We got cobbles. You have to say that in an English accent, too. We got a lot of cobbles. The main gate of great travelers with open arms. Walking under it makes me feel real special. Now, what about Amy? Those street lamps just bring you in, don't they? Zoom! My god. Is this really a hotel? I don't believe it. Okay, I think they may actually be overdoing it a little bit. It's certainly a playful if it's ex if eccentric design. I found a paradox cufflink. It's ominous. How does this stay up? I wonder what the rooms in that are, are like in that round bit. I guess it was some kind of viewing gallery. Literally drag. If we walk in and I see a cogwheel spinning, we are backing out of there. And calling it a day. Well, mystery solved. Time to go home. It's giant gears. Yeah, where's the airship? There should be an airship docked, like, right here. Well, alright. Mall hint coined out. Hey, bad news. I think we have to talk to all this. Oh, ho! What gentleman is this that graces my presence? I've been waiting to see you again. That is the reunion in. Inspiring. Boo. Don't let me chat, I gotta sleep. Have a good snooze, Luca. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Rumors say that if you stay here, soon you shall be reunited with an old friend. And now it seems the rumors are true. I suppose you're right, Aldous. I love how Layton immediately is like arms crossed displeased. <laughs> Soon, he smiles all the time. And this guy shows up and he's like, what do you want? <laughs> My good man, now is the time when I check how many puzzles you've done. Let's see. Fantastic, beautiful, a most good, true, and learned gentleman you are. I touch my hair with glee. Boing, boing. I touch it twice. Boing, boing. You've not betrayed my expectations. Go ahead into the reunion inn. I'll watch over you from here. Ever your friend. St. Pat's cult? Oh, no. Um. Uh, right. Oh, good. So this is the Reunion Inn. It's so much bigger than our hotel. Now this is true luxury. I gather Henry has some special feelings for this hotel. You can tell just from its name. So this is where it all began for Henry. Yes, this hotel was an expansion of the first building that Henry put up while he was searching for Randall. Hell of an expansion. So yeah, I guess the expansions came later. Still, which part of this is the original building? He never gave up hope that he would meet his friend again. Wow. Yes, Henry never gave up. He trusted his instincts. What do you, you guys? You guys need like a puzzle? Seems like you might need a puzzle solving. This is very comfortable. We may as well sit down now that we're here, right? The simple solutions are often the most elegant. Elegant. It's just the restroom. Just a fucking outhouse. A hole in the floor to poop into. And they turned it into this. Even the receptionists are smartly dressed. The desk is spotless. Is it marble? The staff clearly takes pride in their work. Alright, what do you want, Morty? Welcome to the Reunion Inn. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. We've been expecting you, Professor. Mr. Lador informed us that you suspect the masked villain to be hiding here somewhere. Why, thank you, Morty. Would it be possible for us to investigate the premises here? Too many poor whale stealer. We got gotcha. you. I'm sorry I thought you was corn. <laughs> yes, of course. Is that because he's got a big old beak? We want that curve found before he can strike again. Just one condition. I know that Mrs. Lador invited you to Mont d'Or, so I'm willing to give you a chance. However, it's also my understanding that you have suspected Mr. Lador in our recent incidents here. I can't cooperate with you until I'm certain I can trust you. To convince me your intentions are true, 
solve this puzzle. Only a man with a true heart can solve this puzzle. Okay. Answers three. My God, his heart is pure. Show him the way. He may go wherever he wishes into every guest's room. Really? I don't need every guest's room. Open every door. The numbers for the door of room 2134 in the hotel have mysteriously gone missing. In their place, the management is using long rectangular plates. If 2, 1, and 3 are represented by the plates shown, which of plates A to D should be used in place of the 4? That's 1, 2, and 3. Uh huh? That's 2, 1, and 3. This is lost. Equals, equals, equals what? Equals, equals, equals. I beg your pardon. That's two, one, three. Uh... Or if you look at the negative space, it's eight, eight, eight. That's pretty cool. Two, one, three. Um, um, I had a half of a thought and it's not correct, but my thought was if, if they can slide them beneath the things in the back, then like you could take the guy that's two equal signs and like cover this up and then in the negative space here. You get you got a three. But I don't that that only barely works for that and not the other ones. Why are two and three the same? That that is key of the puzzle, right? So what are they doing? I don't that is good dad. Both of us skipped from having a half thought having two thoughts. Not a single thought. That'd be nice. Find out the number of sides. Well, no, it's it's gotta be something about their position or there's some other detail or I don't know. Sorry, negative space. <laughs> Very popular today. I has idea. What is idea? Eight. Clearly it's three. So C? Are these actual planks of wood? Uh... Just long rectangular plates. Well, let's just say it's three. Don't keep me in suspense. It's not three? I... Perhaps I need another look. I wonder how the plates are affixed to the door. Is there a way to rotate them to display different numbers? Three-ish, other three. Because if you rotate the first one sideways, that could be a Roman numeral two. If you rotate the second one sideways, the gap between the pillars could be a white one. Maybe you, uh, wait, was I right? Was I right with like smushing it to the side to make a three? I actually was right. Try more difference to make. I lose out on pick rats, which don't really matter. If you have a lot of pick rats, you unlock bonus stuff after you beat the game, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pretty, you can mess up quite a lot and still get everything. I think I was actually right with that. So then what, how can you make a four? Have any one of these, uh, um, uh, uh, well, um, uh, uh, like even having an idea of how they represent the other numbers, I'm still just like, I, uh, it was not C, no. A, I guess. I mean, A almost looks like sideways, like part of a four, but 
I don't I don't think that's good enough. It's neo modern, not mechanism. Yeah, it's postmodern art. I don't know. How do you make a four? I don't want to guess. I want to know, but... Looks like a hatchet to chop through doors. Yeah, you just break in. It's either C or D. Well, it's not C. D looks like a water bottle. And sideways, it's it's just kind of, I don't know. I don't know how you turn that into a four, though. Either Roman numeral four or a number four or... Technically, it has four lines, but one of them short. Counts like two twos. I don't, that's not, that can't be it. It might be D, just not for that reason. So you can add to each? I don't think you can add. You can just subtract from it. Because the, the, the... Yeah. I don't know. Deeply confused about this. How? How do they fix the door? I think that they are slid underneath that golden mounting bracket. They're beneath that. So they can be rotated and then put in place there. Or as is with the third one, where I think they're sliding it underneath to create a three. We're looking for four. What was the thing said? Like this? The numbers for two and three, four have gone missing. They're using long rectangular plates instead. Two, one, three are represented already. Which of the plates A to D should be used in place of the four? So... My assumption so far is the far left one can be rotated 90 degrees and you get a Roman numeral 2. So in the square, you get this. That's a 2. The next one, you rotate that sideways and you're left with this big black bars and a 1 in the middle. Okay? The third one, you slide it off to the side. So you have the bar in the middle, and the card is like, if I do like dotted lines, partially there. So you have, like, this. I know it's on the small screen. I can make it, but it's not gonna help. My drawing sucks so far, but that's 213. But I've been staring at these trying to go, okay, how do you make a four out of any of these using any kind of weird rotation? Covering it up, sliding it around, obscuring it, and I can't see a four in any of them. In fact, I just now see a four, and it's on C, which is not the right answer. It's still a stretch, but like you can almost negative space it, but it doesn't quite work. But. Bam, bam, bam. Try D. I mean, yeah, I didn't want to guess though. I wanted to. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Why? Why is it D? A fine puzzle for a gentleman. One and two are the same, but how? Okay. What? Oh fuck off! Oh boo! Those are the plates. So I was completely wrong. But kind of for the right. It was half right. But that's not at all what I thought. I thought that the little speech bubble was like this whole square is what you're moving into there. But the little parts are what you. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks really bad. Can you not make a four with any of the other blocks? Maybe not. Well, what a shit puzzle. Thank you, Layton. I feel less bad about being stumped by that. Simply splendid, Professor. I'll assist you in any way I can. As the largest hotel in Mondeo, we also have mo most rooms. Just ask if you need help navigating this place. It's reassuring to have you on our side. 
I have prepared a room guide for you on the touch screen below. Just indicate the room you want to search and I will guide you there. If you want to leave the Reunion Inn, tap the door icon in the upper right corner. I can't thank you enough, Morty. It is my pleasure. After all, our motto is, arrive as a stranger, depart as a friend. Let me know if you need anything else. I know every inch of this hotel, so please feel free to ask me anything. Are there any rooms here that Henry or Angela use regularly? I would say indeed there are. May I show you to Mr. Lador's office? Please lead the way. Very well, follow me then. Follow me. Set me. Me. Trust me and me, 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 and me, me. This looks a bit different than Henry's study at home. Mr. Lador conducts much of his research here. He's always rushing in and out. Wait, what? It is much more disorganized than I would expect from Mr. Lador. He scraped the wall from the house. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You can check it whenever you like, but you can never leave. But it did behind Morty. I don't know what that is. Wait, is that is that uh, Randall's scribblings from his wall of his house? That oh, it's Randall's crazy Pepe Sylvia wall. Oh, it does look like that. Oh shit. It's much more- is that why he took in Randall's parents, not out of the goodness of his heart, but to get access to the house? That'd be fucked up. It's much more disordered as I would have expected. Are you sure Henry uses this room? Mr. Lador is a very busy man and he does not allow the cleaning staff in here. Along with research on the excavations in Mont Deol, he keeps documents related to town administration here. Oh, well, if there are sensitive documents here, then perhaps we should clear- clear this with Henry first. No, I will speak for Mr. Lador here. You should know the truth. Mr. Lador would never do anything to harm Mont Deor. This room is filled with the plans and dreams of Mr. Lador. Every thought he had as he built Mont Deor is here. Henry lives in their house. Yeah, but he probably needed them out of the house to grab the door, grab the wall, if that is the wall. Maybe it's just a photo. I don't know. Mr. Lador has absolutely nothing to hide. Any suspicions you may still have about him can be cleaned up here. Cleared up here. P please feel free to investigate this room as long as you'd like. This wall. Randall had this. It appears as if Henry had done his best to fully recreate Randall's research. There's also a back room here where Mr. Lador keeps all of his files. Since you're already here, would you like to see it? I want your investigation to be as thorough as possible. Of course, thank you. And me, I'll go with Morty to investigate the file room. Luke, you two please investigate this room. All right, already on it, Professor. Morty, please lead the way. As you wish. Okay, Luke, let's see if we can search the entire room before the professor returns. You got it! Let's be sure to inspect anything that looks sus. Emmy, I got jab on me fingers again, and I got it on the walls. Oh, it's everywhere. It's sticky. Emmy, help. Hmm, hotel registers. These list the names and rooms of all the guests here. I doubt there are any clues in there about the masked gentleman. Right, even if he is here, we won't we don't know what name he'd be under. Hey, what about this binder, Emmy? Hmm. A record of the masked gentleman's appearances. There are also copies of the warning letters and announcements. I guess Henry was trying pretty hard to catch the masked gentleman too. It must be horrible watching someone trying to destroy what he spent years building. I suppose so. If the professor and Henry had worked together all this time, they might have caught the mesh gentleman by now. <clears throat> I think Henry felt betrayed when the professor left Stansbury for London while he searched for Randall. The relationship between Henry and the professor is quite complicated. Being an adult sounds quite complicated. Yeah, you know. Nice. I don't know if we should steal Henry's money. He's got enough of it, Luke. Look at the kids in this photo. Aww. Oh, uh, uh, they got a robot and everything. Uh, it looks like Henry, but who's that next to him? Is that the professor? That uh, must be Randall. It looks like they were very close. Look, this robot's the same one they're holding in the picture. 
Yes, it's rather old, but it's been kept in really good shape. Why keep it in his study? It must be a prized keepsake. Hey, little robot. This toy robot's looking a bit worse for wear. Looks a bit older than yours, Emmy. How dare you. Borrowed shovel. Surely that's not the same shovel. From Abacadabra. Hmm. Ah, the Necronomicon. It's made of human skin, Emmy. This looks like some sort of old journal. The cover's all faded. It says expedition log. Could this be the record for the search party that went out after Randall? There might be more information in here about the Mask of Chaos. It's weird that Henry was Randall's family's servant. There's a lot that's weird about it. There's a photo stuck in here. Could it be a clue? Is it all mushed up? Oh. Hmm, swamp gas. Faded photos. Four dusty photos are kept in a battered old box of keepsakes. They're faded and hard to make out, but they all show the same place and seem to have been taken within a short space of time. In photo A, you can see a horse-drawn carriage traveling across the frame. So you can. Can you tell him which direction the carriage was headed? Um... Well, the sun is setting. Or is it rising? Do we know? Uh... Must be in Norway. Yeah. Do, do, do we know if it's rising or setting? How do we know based off just the photo? It's setting. The sun sets in the west. But we don't know the order of the photos. Do we? Didn't it say they're taken out? Of, they're all out of order. Been taken within a short space of time. Based on the carriage. The carriage is moving. Sunsets in the southwest. Not based on the carriage. Um, it's the horse moving forward. Sure. But was, do we know if B was taken before or after A? Look for other details. Uh, 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 B and C. There is a leaf here and here that is missing in B and C. So B and C came after. Okay. That's what I needed. Thank you. You can't just tell me, oh, look, the carriage is leaving. Therefore, B is later. It's like, oh, I, it could have been earlier. Maybe they rode out at dawn. Okay, so if they're going weastish. No, the sun is weastish. We're facing weast. They're going south. Is it south? Right? No, I'm a double thinking this the south. Set him up and knock him down. Piece of cake. A D B D D. I mean, it doesn't matter the order of all of them. I didn't even notice the carriage was in D. A leaf fell. We can assume the first time I was saying the same as the last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. We're fine. The fact that it, it's in this journal must mean it was taken during one of the expeditions. If this is a record of the expedition of Fine Randall, there may be something about the Mask of Chaos in here. Let's take a look. We made the inn at the Oasis our base of operations. Today, we're going to search the ruins for the lost boy. You called it. The town was built on top of the ruins. That's probably not important. The ruins are a dark and ominous place with lots of color-coded mummies. If there wasn't such a large reward, I doubt that anyone would come down here. This is definitely one of the most dangerous expeditions I've ever been on. We were only a small team at first, but now we have several dozen members. Many men descend into the narrow entrance in the Oasis daily, all hoping to find anything of the lost boy. Yeah, I might have missed some hint coins in there. We didn't find him, but what we did find was, I can't find the words, a treasure. A pile of gold and silver big enough to make your eyes pop. Yeah, Leighton found it first. But he called Dibsent. 
That was when Henry, the leader of the expedition, increased the reward for finding the lost boy even further. So we pressed on, exploring deeper and deeper into the ruins. Eventually we found a strange room with two mysterious platforms. We created a platform that allows us to descend directly into this chamber from a spot near the inn. However, it seems this chamber is the final room in this vast underground complex. I fear our search for this Randall fellow will soon come to a fruitless end. It has been over a year now since the boy went missing. The ancient silence of these ruins reminds me just how fragile life truly is. So they never found him. He mentions making camp at an oasis, so this is before Mont Deor was fully established. Do you think that Henry actually quit looking for Randall? Considering the state of this room, no, I don't think he ever quit. I think we found all we can use from this journal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Pile of gold. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! These swords are really cool. If you inspect the hilts, you'll see that they're part of a puzzle. You're right. Let me at it. Hundred twenty-seven Ace of Diamonds. One of the three famous swords shown here. One is the legendary Ace of Diamonds. Those who have faced it in battle all call it so. Can you work out which one it is? Uh, uh, the master sword. Okay, so um, here's what I'm thinking. C has a diamond-shaped object on its hilt. B has a diamond motif on the side as well as in the the the, the grippy hilty bit. A has nothing about it that's a diamond, therefore it's A. Because what I'm thinking is this part here. Well, I can't. Well, whatever. Here, you got you got like that. Whatever. This guy is shown to be three dimensional, and if you turn it sideways, it's a diamond. And and you you it's people who face it can see that part. I don't think it's about the sword tip. I think it's about what they see. It's a... Did Killy post a thing? Killy posted a thing. Hi, Killy. Is Dan still around? He needs to see this. But I'm sorry, I thought you was corn. When they face him, but exactly. The price tag says Ace of Diamonds on it. Thank you, Killy. Yeah, I'm just gonna send it to Dan. We're gonna survive this actually the masked gentleman. I mean, it would be strange. Layton has done the most bullshit of ass pulls. So it almost seems like it's like at this point, it could honestly go either way. We either oh obviously it's uh it's gotta be uh it's gotta be Randall, right? That makes sense. But because it makes sense. Maybe they wouldn't. And also, don't forget, there's another masked gentleman, the villain of the last game as well as the movie between the two, we have not seen or heard from the entire game. So, maybe it's Layton. Maybe it's Layton. Where's Dan? I need to send this to Dan. There's Dan. All right. It's probably Layton. I think Layton sucks. There was fake time travel imitated by a fake underground city with a giant robot. I don't discount anything anymore. Now you're now you're thinking, or rather, no longer thinking. Hey. How's this for an answer? Three more looks. He's work. He's working on it. Is it exactly what I deduced? Yeah. Oh, it's not what I deduced, but it's actually dumber and smarter than what I deduced. Sword A is the Ace of Diamonds. Anyone who's ever seen for the pointy end knows why. Okay, Dan saw it. Good. Alright. 
Well, whoever was like, it's the sword point. You were right, but... It, okay, yep. I mean, it's also, you can just look at B and C and be like, those seem more obviously diamond, so therefore A, and just not even think about it beyond that point. Do you think the swords have anything to do with the mash, gentlemen? Doubtful, I'd say they're just souvenirs. I know I'm missing st I'm still working through it. Don't rush me, rabbit. They're packed full of documents and files. All of them related to archaeology. Yeah. All right. What else? Probably the big map on the wall. Yeah. Where are we? We're in the Reunion Inn, getting to the bottom of this before the final dark miracle. This wall is covered with strange writing. The professor said it looked just like a wall in Randall's room. You don't suppose he had the wall removed and then brought here, do you? Perhaps. Wow, it could contain key information about the ruins, but it's all some sort of code. Can you read what it says? Ha, maybe if I had a library on hand and a few years to spare. He must have had some reason for bringing it here other than just trying to decipher the writing. Right, if that's all he cared about, he could have just taken a picture of it. So it is the actual fucking wall. Okay. So have you two found anything? We most certainly have, Professor. It's a log from an expedition that was searching for Randall. We also found a journal that Henry has been keeping. Good work. I also found something. Something... Oh. Is that the Mask of Chaos? But it was stolen from Henry's study. Does this mean Henry has been the masked gentleman all along? Wait, so the mask was never stolen? Well, not exactly, but it was taken from the Lador estate and hidden here. But why would Henry hide the mask? It wasn't Henry who hid it. I'm... I'm confused, Professor. My brain hurt. Perhaps that isn't the Mask of Chaos? Is that actually the Mask of Order? The one that the Masked Gentleman's after? Not quite. I thought I was going to find a replica of the Mask of Chaos here, a fake. But to my surprise, the mask I found here is actually the genuine Mask of Chaos. It seems that someone has hidden it here, but the question is why? And is the Masked Gentleman even aware of this? I don't have the answers yet, but I know there is a deep connection between these questions and the next dark miracle. There was something else here that I found to be very interesting. Oh no. Is this Full Metal Alchemist? What's this? What's it say? Is this a map of Mont d'Or? It looks much different than it does today. This old prospective map shows how things would look as development progressed. Oh shit, it's Amistris. Oh god, oh no. But it also reveals a rather fascinating secret about Mont d'Or. Notice anything odd about those ruins? Now that you mention it, they seem to form a pattern. This is why the masked gentleman has been so intent on finding the Mask of Order. Why? Before I explain, we need a bit more evidence to confirm my suspicion. According to Bloom, the masked gentleman is somewhere in this hotel. Morty, are there any other rooms that may be of interest to us? Actually, Professor, I just remembered that I have something I was asked to hold for you. I'm sorry for the trouble. Would you mind returning to the lobby with me? Of course not, Morty. I'm suspicious of Morty wanting us to go back to the front. I'm sure it's fine. He's gonna kill us. I was instructed to give this to you. What is it? It was left at the front desk with a letter addressed to you. Really? What book is it, Professor? Hmm. Very interesting. Looks like the masked gentleman has sent us another message. Full Mordi Alchemist. Full Mordi Alucist. A long time ago, there was a small kingdom surrounded by forest. Five friends who lived near a castle spent their time fishing in the river and playing in the lush grassy fields. One day they went exploring to the top of the tallest hill in the land, and there they found a treasure of silver and gold. The friends divided the treasure between them, and four of them spent their riches through the years. 
But one friend decided to bury his share of the treasure in a fine place, surrounded by green and pleasing to the eye. He did this so he could go searching for treasure with his friends again. He did it so he would never forget the feeling of embarking on an adventure. He did it so the five friends would always have a reason to be together. Maybe he also just didn't understand what money is. This boy knew that people change when they grow up. When he finished burying his treasure, he fell asleep by a window, fully content and blanketed in the glow of the moonlight. The end. That boy was a dog who just liked to dig holes. <laughs> Take a look here. It's a children's story. A kingdom surrounded by forest, five friends, a treasure of silver and gold. Luke, does this story sound familiar to you? No, I had a big book of fairy tales at home, but I don't remember this one. This story feels unfinished. It doesn't even have a proper ending. It may be an allegory of sorts, perhaps about the masked gentleman himself. What is he trying to tell us? Professor, the lights went out! Stay calm, Luke. I expect this is the masked gentleman's handiwork. He has been waiting for us. And this book is his invitation to find him. Is this all one big game to him? We need to act quickly here. Let's go, Professor! Let's see if there are any clues in this story that will help us find him. He must be here in the hotel somewhere. Perhaps we need to find a room where he fell asleep by a window, fully content and blanketed in the glow of the moonlight. If he fell asleep, there must have been a place for him to lie down, obviously. Somewhere with a bed! Yes, somewhere with a bed. We're in a hotel. It must be one of the guest rooms. And the bit about the moonlight streaming through mean mu through must mean we're looking for a room with a bed near a large window. I believe we have a room matching that description on the third floor. Follow me. Oh no, they dropped the things. Oh no. Even the receptionists are smartly dressed. The desk is spotless. This is very comfortable. I love watching staff workers get yelled at from a comfortable position. <laughs> um, ruby, emerald, or sapphire? Let's go in order. Ruby. No, oh, I gotta look around. Um, bed by the window. It's a fine sete. Seti? Seti. I think I could just relax for a bit. I'm no furniture expert, but so far, so good. All right, Amy. All right, you got me with that. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, nah, nah. I didn't realize this room was so high up. Scaredy. Thank you for the raid, Scaredy. Can we ditch Emmy now? How dare you? She's good. It's pronounced city. It probably isn't. Hope you had a good stream, Scaredy. Well, Bubba Dub, is that true? Yes. For a standard suite, the view is quite spectacular. We almost coangered that final Sigma fight up. Hell yeah. We were talking about Kawanga earlier. And boomers. I think I can see the Layton Mobile from here. Wait, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. All right, okay. Oh, yeah, oh. Cool. Emerald Sweet. Spark Mandrel? So what's the next scam, Connor? Who are we gonna fleece next? You know, you're almost as brainless as you are ugly. Has all that hair product frozen your brain? What do you mean this hair is my brain? I set everything up perfectly, but you always seem to find a way to mess things up. You know what? I've had enough of your lip. How you like a knuckle sandwich? With extra sandwich! So less knuckle? How's that? There is no need for fighting, gentlemen. Hey, how'd you get in here? Boomer Coanger cannot bother you anymore, chat. <laughs> Thank you, Scaredy. Layton! What a pleasant intrusion. Might I ask what you're doing here? In my hotel room, hmm? 
You better get out of here right now, bub. Unless you want a sandwich sandwich with extra- Wait, how'd that go? Yes, you are interrupting our confidential exit strategy session, Leighton. Do you mind? My apologies, gentlemen. Please don't mind me. But I'm gonna look around. All the people look like tiny ants from up here. Please don't try squashing anyone. The point where city ends and desert begins is perfectly delineated. The room speaks to an expert attention to detail. I'll be on my best behavior on this sofa. It's comfortable for two, or cozy for three. I like this green carpet. It smells like a spring meadow in here. Is it just me or is the room a bit washed out? Nah, yeah, it's just you. Look, we paid good dirty money for this room. You can't just shove us aside and start poking around. It's just rude. Yeah, if you want to search our room, you got you have to pay us for the privilege. Okay. How much you want for it? Let me steal some money from you, though. Oh, good! Since you keep getting up in our faces, it must mean you want to duke it out. Perhaps some other time. Right now, I need your permission to search this room. Oh-ho, my, aren't we presumptuous? Of course, Layton. Please rifle through my room. As soon as you solve this puzzle. Damn. 130. Water, wood, fire. The cards in this tournament beat each other as follows. Fire beats wood beats water beats fire. Four players draw four cards, which they then have to play in order going from top to bottom. Both players in a match play one card. Whoever wins moves on to the final, but if it's a draw, the next cards are played. Used cards are discarded. At the end of the tournament, one player announces, I have won, I'd have won if I had been allowed to swap wood for water and water for wood. Who said this? Who said this? Probably three. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge, to be sure. Yeah, well, it was three. Correct. Three. Three never misses, chat. I just, I don't... I just thought, guess, I thought before if it was three. W wow, you actually solved it. Yes, indeed. Now, if you don't mind. Way to go, Connor. I thought your plans were always so perfect. Stick a sock in it, Frankie. A dirty one. Go ahead, Leighton. There's nothing of value left in here anyway. We will be as quick as possible. Could this be the fine place surrounded by green and pleasing to the eye? Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, maybe I should look at the blue room first. Oh, hello, ma'am. Ah! We meet again, English gentleman. You, Ming, what are you doing here? I thought you were at the dromedary. Yes, but they got the dates of my stay wrong, so I moved over here. I'm sorry to hear that. The service is first rate, so I don't mind. So, are you just walking into rooms now? Why does she look like, uh, me? It looks like every part of her is part of the default me editor. I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just like the hair, too. Like a me version of Ada? Well, you see. Oh, I was just joking. Please come in. How about a puzzle? Mean. 129, a sweeping solution. This hotel is a suite with many rooms in it. Cleaning such a large suite is quite a task. Hotel staff likes to take an efficient route that allows them to cover the whole suite without doubling back through any of the rooms. They take a different route each day, but no matter which order they clean in, there's always one room they pass through at the same point in the route. Which one? So one's always the same, huh? Well, we start here and go... Like, around, like there, and like there. And what if I start, like, I don't know, like here? And then, but oh, if I went this, is it, is it one of these middle rooms? Um, this is not gonna help me solve the puzzle, is it? Because I can't start 
in either... I can start in any room other than the middle rooms. Can I circle both of them? No. Which room? There's always one room they pass through at the same point in the route. Because you can, you can start in any room. Except for those two. I don't know. She looks like my aunt. Nice. Bar me. Uh, me. Except I have to pick one or the other, and I don't know, so I don't know. Counts the number of rooms of each side. Uh, how many we got? Hello. All right, thank you for holding these. Hey, man. Don't worry about it. Have you enjoyed the light? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> hi, chat. They say hi. Oh, they're sweet. You say hi, right, chat? Right, chat? You say hi. Say hi, Michael. Yeah, they say hi. Okay, good. Um... Yeah, okay, there are a different number. So on the left, there are seven rooms. On the right, there are six. But how does that change anything? I said howdy. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Um, You can't say Heichel and Beichel. You can't say that. I didn't say that because I don't know that guy. That's fair. You know what? Fair. The very middle is the right room. You're right. Oh, so you are. Done. Right room. Wait, do I have to... There. I believe I have... Because with that one, there's six to the left and six to the right of it. No? Why not? I'm not certain what happened here. Consider all the possible routes. Uh... RP my pick rats. I don't need my pick rats. Then, left room. Final answer. I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle. The large central room on the left-hand side is the only room that stays in the same position no matter the route. Right, because you do the six on the left and then pass through the seventh on the way through, or you do the six on the right and pass... Th okay. Yep. What do they even do? Once you've beaten the game, there's on the main title screen, there's the bonuses section, and you unlock stuff like concept art, music, character portraits, like bonus stuff based on how many pick rats you have on your save file. That's pretty much it. It's just meant to be a very soft way of being like, you want to try to get puzzles right and not just brute force them without it being too punishing. It's honestly not a bad solution. Of course, you can always just like look up a YouTube video if you don't have enough pick rats, but. From my experience, even messing up a lot and using a lot of hint coins and stuff, I've always been able to unlock everything. I've never had that issue of like, oh, I know, my pick rats. It's also a high score, yeah, because your save stores how many pick rats you have, so you could look at someone's save file and see if they got everything first try, because I'm sure somewhere out there is the max number of pick rats you could get. But, yeah. Anyway, that was good. That was... Also, there's some high pick-up puzzles in the post-game. True. And also, you unlock more puzzles by doing stuff in the game, and those tend to be high pick rat puzzles, so it's like, yeah. Hey, not bad. You know, I like the hotels in this town, but who comes up with these names? I should ask the owner. He asked him. Good quality springs. This sofa may be comfy, but I'd still choose the bed if I wanted a nap. The sofa really pulls the room together nicely. The blue rug makes the room feel nice and airy. I can't spot a single mark on this room. Not too gaudy, not too plain, I like it. No, I don't think anything's ever been locked by 100%. Springs. The dromedary looks tiny for me. I can see the tram going back and forth. The view is fine, but I find the quality of this frame truly fascinating. Alright. Back to the Emerald Room. Uh, this. Professor, there was a book hidden behind the picture frame. 
I see. So the place surrounded by green and pleasing to the eye is the green picture frame in this guest room. Why didn't he just come out and say that? Let's see if this is another children's story. Thanks for the raid, Andres. Or Andre SP. Thank you. Hope you had a good stream. One day, a young boy found a wild dog in the woods near his village. The dog was hurt, so the boy took him in. As the dog healed, he grew to trust the boy. The two grew up together and became very close with one another. One day, the boy packed up his belongings so that he could fulfill his dream of becoming a scholar. The dog was sad to see the boy go. The boy grew into a fine young man and became a famous scholar. When he returned, he was eager to show his family and his dog what he had made of himself. But when he arrived, he saw that his house was empty. The boy, now all grown up, saw an old man pass by and asked him, What happened? The old man said that the family who lived in that house had been chased out years ago by a wild dog. And that's when the boy realized... He had been betrayed by the one he trusted the most. He now had no home and no family to return to. With grief weighing heavy upon his heart, he disappeared into the woods, never to be seen again. The end. More if this is an allegory or something. Nah, I don't know. Sometimes allegories are subtle. Well, that was a sad story. Yes, clearly another allegory, but I'm not sure what it means. So that last part must be designed to lead us to another room, right? Yes, it seems that there's a wilderness theme here with the dog and the repeated images of the woods. Morty, are there any rooms here with a lot of plants or foliage in them? Actually, yes. Please follow me. Good call, Professor. <laughs> there certainly are a lot of plants in here. That one has flowers blooming and that one is bearing fruit. This conservatory is the pride of our hotel. Careful monitoring and maintenance of the soil and air allows us to grow plants from all four seasons in one room here. In the same room? Not just... It's impressive that you made this in the desert. You don't have to make summer and winter fruits grow side by side, buddy. What amazing technology. I see there are animals here as well. What? How did that bird get in here? Professor, that bird is sitting on a book. The bird appears to be guarding it. We'll need to approach it very carefully. Just 30 billion gallons of water every second. Let me talk to him. Right. The boy that can talk to animals. It's a good thing there are frequent scenarios. They're not even that frequent. Any scenarios. Oh man, sure would be nice if we could talk to an animal right about now. Oh, hey, Luke. What's up? Oh, wow. That, yeah, look at that guy. Hey, what's up? Whoa. Calm down. This will be my first attempt at talking to a bird, but here goes. Cock, squawk, Yeah, I'm pretty sure parrots sound exactly like chickens. Hmm. Anything, Luke? He said he's not moving until he gets his favorite fruit. Whatever that is. There are plenty of different kinds of fruits in here. Does that mean none of these are his favorite? Oh, he didn't get that specific. Morty, do you have any fruitful insight? Mr. Lador said one tree here is quite sensitive and will bear a very rare and delicious fruit under the right conditions. And then, and then very, very rapidly. Perhaps that's what this bird seeks. So we have to wait around here until the conditions are just right for this tree to bear fruit? Really? Yeah, Luke can talk to animals. It's his special talent. Well, although the tree withers easily in the wrong environment, it will produce fruit instantly in perfect conditions. I would guess that the blackout altered the environment here. If we restore power, could we make this tree happy, so to speak? Of course! There is a backup generator we use for this type of occasion. How could you forget something like that? How do we turn it on? It's, uh, yes, there is a switch somewhere in this room. 
Morty, did you forget where it is? Don't be ridiculous. I'm just remembering gradually. That is a good line. I didn't forget. I'm just remembering gradually. My apologies. No, it's fine, Morty. We can help you look for it. Yeah, Abby had her fucking good face for that line. Uh... Uh, where could it be? Is it in a bush? Is it on a tree? Next time I forgore. But I won't remember! Cause I'll forgore! That's the cruelest irony of all. Where the fu- Oh. Oh, no, nah, it's just ain't going. Come on! Where? Oh, oh. Found it! It's in this weird looking flower. Oh, I'm so glad you found it, silly me. I think sticking your hand in that flower is gonna require some bravery. Let's get brave and flip the switch. Oh, trees like water. What is that? Look, that canal just filled up with water. There's a new piece of fruit up there. Well, that bird doesn't seem to be moving. You know, the rind on that fruit looks pretty tough. Maybe we can crack it open. The bird might be a little more interested in it. Maybe it'll crack if we knock it down from a tree. This is be rapidly turning into a point-and-click adventure game. And I don't necessarily mind it, but... It's like a point-and-click adventure game where every step is find the thing to tap on. We did it, Professor! Now it's our chance to grab the book! Get it! Get it! Grab it! Kick the tree, Emmy! Kick it down! Make no mistake, this was left for us by the masked gentleman. What's written in this one? Let's find out. It's covered in bird shite, Professor. That's part of the puzzle. What does it say? It just looks like poo. Once, there was a very poor man who lived in a lively town. The man had nothing, but he got by with the help of the townspeople. The man lived in a giant house and had a servant, but he had nothing. One day, the richest man in town took pity on him and brought and bought the poor man a shop so he could earn a living. The poor man ran a good business and his shop thrived. His shop became known far and wide and it grew into the most successful shop in town. Even the shops of the rich man who helped him could not compare. No longer poor, the man decided to buy all the food in town so he could make a great profit. Oh no, he made a capitalist. The trusting people sold him everything. The man then raised the prices until no one could afford to buy any food. The man then sold the food to people in other towns. The man had become so blinded by money that he forgot the debt he owed to those in his hometown. The town he had called home, once prosperous, began to decline. The man's fortunes grew as the townspeople starved. He built a palace in town. It was the largest palace ever built, and his wealth continued to grow each day. The end. The townspeople had no choice but to leave their homes, and in time, the man was left alone in his empty kingdom. There, his vast loneliness, as open as the sea, swallowed him whole. There was no the end in that book. Just ran out of pages. Well, that story was... Horrible! These are children's stories! It's the metaphor for every rich person ever. What's the masked gentleman trying to tell us? A town suffering in the face of prosperity. A man growing ever richer and forgetting the great debt he owes. An emptiness. What do you think, Professor? A vast, wide open emptiness. That's it. I believe that is the key here. Morty, what's the largest open space inside the hotel? The Grand Hall on the upper level, of course. Can you take us there, quickly? To the top of the tower? It's here. I know it is. Enter. You still haven't found it, you incompetent fool. The mask is inside the hotel. Sir, please accept my apologies. 
Oh well, as long as you're sorry, I suppose everything is fine. That's a relief. Get the mask. We will find it, sir. The Garden of Healing. The City of Harmony. From the movie! Two of the three. They made reference Which is to the just movie. Another way of saying we have nothing, isn't it? My god, the continuity is staggering. I don't remember who that man is at all. <laughs> but I, I think that's the one time. Is that the one time they referenced Eternal Diva? Our Grand Hall goes all the way to the top of the Reunion Inn. Don Paolo? I mean, it didn't look or sound like him. But stranger things have happened. His name is... Oh, look, a distraction for me. Yeah, I mean, don't spoil anything. I miss Movie Night, so I'm lost. Uh, it'll make sense later, probably. I don't know. If we get to that point. Oh my god, it's Napoleon! On the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, buried underneath... The Eiffel Tower, of course. I wonder what it looks like when you look down from up there. I think we should investigate the area. Something here looks a bit sus. Bloom's deception. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Professor, what did he do? The Golden Garden, the City of Harmony. And the last circuit city. <laughs> Chief Sheffield, I think we've solved the mystery behind the petrification case. What? Well then, out with it. The perpetrator must have used a horse cart to drop the stone statues in the middle of the crowd. What? But the eyewitness reports mention nothing about a cart. Because the masked gentleman hid the cart inside the giant clown balloon. If you'd allow me to investigate the scene of the crime, I believe we'll find tracks that correspond to such a cart. Very well, be sure you report whatever you find right back to me, Bloom. Yes, of course. Sheffield is lacking in mental capacity, but he's a brilliant motivator. This may prove problematic. But of more concern to me is the man hired by Mrs. Lador. We won't be able to manipulate him as easily as Sheffield and Grosky. I'll need to be a bit more... subtle. I should probably bring this to Bronev's attention as well. Oh, that... Bro! Bro! Nev. Bloom! I hope you have good news. I have news. However, I fear its value will not be deemed as good. Bloom, you have the most odd way of putting things. Please, what is it? Herschel Layton is now involved in the investigation. He was brought to town by a request from Angela Lador. It's George Harrison. Really? So Layton has finally turned up. How should we deal with him, sir? Let him be. Neither he nor... Let him, George Harrison said let it be. Uh, neither he nor Descale poses a threat for, to us. Dimension Descale, it's all coming together. For the moment. They might even prove to be useful to us. They will fall into our hands eventually. That said Brony at first. Oops. Understood, sir. I will not fail you. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, what did Luke see that's sus here? Apparently that. Professor, there was a book hidden inside that cushion. This one has a more elaborate cover than the others. What kind of story would this one hold? Let's see. Huh? It won't open. It seems we're qu we were quick to judge this book's cover as well. A cover. Let's take a closer look at these. Self timeout is 10 minutes. 131. Jewels to the lock. This book is locked up tight by some mysterious contrivance. The trick to opening it lies in the 10 arrow shaped jewels adorning the cover. These jewels are arranged in a particular pattern, and rotating just one arrow will release the lock. Which jewels should you rotate in order to open the book? Uh Um This one Don't keep me in Thanks suspense. for the There is no puzzle without a solution. They all point in a chain and that's the end of the chain. I figured that made more sense than the first part of the chain. Correct. You need to rotate the top left arrow so it's pointing to the right. 
That also works. Each jewel is placed so the arrow is pointing to another jewel. If you trace the route from one arrow, you'll eventually get back to where you started. Right. I didn't even think about rotating. It's just like whatever. Very good. Now we can read it. Another sad story. What does it say? Will you read it out loud for me, Druk? Uh, oh, boy. Ten minutes, you drive a hard bargain. All right. If you insist. The air also looked a bit different for some reason. It seems a bit more vibrant. Oh, was it? Didn't notice that. There once was a kind-hearted princess who... What rhymes with princess? There once was a kind-hearted princess who never found very much success. Pins. Ins. This. This suck. Mince. Mince rest. Okay, work. Work. Mince rest into a rhyme for me, if you. If you'd kindly. Mince rest. Bryce, what are you? What are you? What are you talking? Pinterest. There once was a kind-hearted princess who got locked out of her account on Pinterest. She reset her password, then flipped her PC the bird. And thank you, Calvi, for the raid. How you doing? Hope you had a good stream. Thank you. Welcome. Appreciate it. That limerick sucks. Thank you. <laughs> I spent all night on that. Come on. It was pretty good. There once was a kind-hearted princess in a kingdom in the valley. This princess was so beautiful that suitors cramped, cramped, camped outside. I thought it was like cramped their, cramped their style. Camped outside the castle for months to gain an audience with her. And then one day, the princess saw a young knight pass by her window. The princess fell in love with him at first sight, and they were married. The knight was named king, and the princess named queen. That's that easy. There once was a kind-hearted princess who in the second movie did insist. She kissed her bro's lips, thought of his nips, and found out their dad was the same guy Darth Vader. <laughs> Thank you, Viz. It does work. I... Yep. Monday, the king and his ministers set out for the mountains to slay a dragon that threatened the kingdom. The once was a kind of princess who once forgot to let her mince rest, and so her meat was not so neat, and all of the princes liked her less. You're missing part of the limerick. It's ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 da. But you did get mince rest in there, and so I'll full points. Bryce gets full points. Thank you. What a horrible day to be able to read. Hey, Google, how do I kill a ghost? <laughs> Princess waited for her king to return. She waited and waited, but only the minister returned with news that her king had died. The minister did everything he could to comfort the princess in her grief. She's a queen now. He comforted her day and night. Oh. Did he now? After many moons of grief, the minister's kindness and patience finally reached the princess's heart. Uh, the princess's feelings for the minister blossomed into love, and she married him in a lavish royal wedding. It seemed that here the audience sat, wrapped with attention, eager to bear witness to the final miracle of love. No one knew that the minister actually tricked the king into searching for the dragon, and then trapped him in the cave. The minister now had the princess, the crown, and the country, but then... Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. The masked gentleman must feel betrayed by someone he trusted. Perhaps one who stole his love. Well, this doesn't add up with anything that we know about. While he was trapped inside a cave. I can understand why someone would be upset about that kind of thing. What does this have to do with Monteor? The audience sat wrapped with attention. Bear witness to the final miracle. More do is there happen to be a stage or a presentation area somewhere in the hotel? A theater or a conference room, perhaps? Something to that effect? Well, we don't have a proper theater, but we do have a small auditorium that we use as a screening room on occasion. That must be the place! Let's go! Oh boy! 
I gotta tap a little more in here first. You never know when you might need a couple dozen more hint coins. Um... There once was a man with the puzzle. It was stumped and I did a befuddle. I gave him hint coins, he said think about it, and then I left. To the auditorium! The auditorium is rarely used these days. Do you think the masked gentleman is in here somewhere, Professor? I have no doubt he intended to lead us here. No doubt at all. There's a puzzle hidden here. Oh. I was like, is that is he hiding there? Oh. Uh oh. This reminds me of the rhythm have mini game of the, the, the guys going side to side. Bump, 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 ba ba, hop, 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 hop. Stealth Knight. Five police officers have been tasked with the security of a 64 seat theater. Each officer can see all the seats directly in front of him, behind him, to his left and right, and at 45 degree diagonals. Those are some very, maybe they're police, maybe they're Robocops. The seating arrangements shown above would let the five officers cover the whole theater. However, all but the fourth row of seats have already been booked. Which one officer already sitting in seat 4A? Where should the others sit to cover the whole theater? One's in 4A. Bah, huh? Seems like on the queen puzzles. Right, you have to cover every spot. So, everything's been booked but row four. They all have to move to row four in such a fashion they cover the whole theater. So, at least one in H. Um, so we got this, covers that. I don't need to do row four because we'll get that. Faux free. And there. And then this does these. And uh, uh, these. Um. Hmm. Well, if we put a guy here. Bam. How many do we have total to work with? Three more. That gives us there. And these, and these, and these, and these, and these. And we get another one. Um, pull one next to them. Gives us these. Over there. Over, over there. And over um, there. And then the last one here, right? Right? Oh shit. No. Cause I'm least missing 2E right now. Hmm. Oh no. It does get these. Oh no, E is covered by the guy. I didn't go up and down from red. I yeah, I'm sure chat's yelling me about that. Hi. Yep, thanks, chat. Um What about G8. Anybody grab him? Battleship! Maybe I should switch to this screen. Um... I don't think anyone's getting G8. They need to space them out. Missing C8 as well. Yes. So I need to do space them out different. Uh, I can only undo a couple steps. G8 and 4s of B and C. This is a row 4 we get for free because they're all sitting in row 4. And they can see sideways. So just to not clutter up anymore, I didn't draw a line through there. Um, is the guy in 4H next necessary? Uh, I thought so. But maybe not. Maybe we do G4? 
Because I was just like, oh, if he's on the end, then that just gives us all of, all of column H. But if we are hitting them all diagonally, then maybe we don't need to. Um, but that would... Uh, all those are getting hit. Okay, well, um... If he was here, that would get uh, these guys, as well as G8, and it would get C8. I think that's it. Because he gets him, you get there. Yeah. I switched to the chunky pen by mistake, but it's kind of nice. I think I'm going to keep it on there. Oh, do people not understand? Yeah, so... um. 4A is already sitting there. We can't move him. Everyone is sitting on the other screen. This is just, they're showing this is a valid solution. However, they have to be in row four. All the other seats were, were filled, so where they have to sit. And they have to sit in 4D through G. Bam! How about this? Famous thing. I actually didn't made to be solved. I actually did not find that misleading, but I definitely could see other people finding it misleading. Now the show can go on. But I did the classic puzzle blunder of making an immediate assumption that was incorrect. Like, well, obviously I'll need to hit those corners and just put a guy on the other end. That was rather difficult. You're difficult, professor. The stage isn't much, but the seats are nice. Forget the movies, it's more exciting traveling with you, Professor. Front row center, noise. Noise. All right, maybe I should tap the screen. It. Hmm. I think there's gonna be a movie. Are there trailers before the movie? Is there anything behind the movie screen? Does it retract? Professor, look! Seems like we're just in time for the show. But then... It's just the witness? Oh my god. It's the two hour long talk. But then... The king awoke, trapped under a pile of rubble. The minister to whom he had entrusted his life was gone. The king used every last ounce of his strength to clear away the rocks and made his way back to the surface. And when he finally escaped... He saw the minister living happily with the princess as husband and wife. Mm-hmm. It's, it's probably just a, a fun story. That's it? That's the end of the story? Not the happiest ending I've ever seen. What do you think, Luke? I mean, have you... Luke? Professor, where's Luke? I found some gum on the floor, Professor! Welcome, ladies and germs, parasites of all ages, to my little theater of revenge. Oh, ooh, he did a very fun little wiggle there. <laughs> Luke was like, rrr, rrr. do you think that was a slower animation and they sped it up because it took too long? And they're like, we don't have time to retime it. Just speed it up. It's fine. May I interest you in a young British lad? I have one left. You'll have to act fast. Oh, me, 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 me. Unhand him at once, you fiend. Professor, help! Fiend for shame, Professor. I try my best to create entertainment for your amusement, and this is my reward. Boo on you. Leighton, I know that your road has been paved with regrets that tear at one's heart. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you? For tonight's dark miracle, my revenge will rise to its dramatic climax as Mont d'Or sinks into the earth below. And it's your destiny to suffer the same fate, Leighton. This is the price you shall pay for abandoning those closest to you. Actually, you've earned yourself one special experience of suffering tonight. 
Leave Luke out of this. He's just a boy. Let me go! Hiss! Just a boy indeed. Toodles, my good man! Professor, we have to go after them! Let's go! I appreciate how visible the rope is. Hang on! Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just how deep do you want to delve? I hope you've enjoyed this look into my world, Baton. I've left you one final puzzle, so that you may save your little friend. It looks as if he's in quite a predicament. And so high up. Oh my. Is it true, lady? I've heard you have a history of letting your friends down. <sighs> of course. I'll burn the ropes, and murder the boy. Free me of him once and for all. <laughs> Gets me every time. Oh my god, look at that latent art in the top left. It's really good. The masked gentleman has fled! Leaving Luke hanging in midair. Help Leighton slide his way down the ropes, drawn across the hall, and save him. There are only a few places where he can jump from rope to rope. He was the panel on the right of the touchscreen to view the whole hall and hurry to Luke's rescue. Move the magnifying glass up and down and look at the whole hall from the top bottom of the touch, re touch rescue Luke to start Leighton's descent. When dropping down, point from A to P. Touch drop down to make Leighton drop from the rope he's on to the one below. So I have to figure out in advance where he's going? Oh. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you never go A to P. Um. Mm-hmm. I've got it. I made it. Is he doing a Sonic Adventure pose? Is... Is... Is Layton doing a Sonic Adventure pose? Hey, game. Quick Pumpkin Hill. Uh, uh, uh... And then he fucking dies. Yeah. Anyway. Um... Let's try that again, but better. Um, I need to get down over there. I dropped down too early. Oh God. Well, um, oh, I could have saved that. But I didn't. Lane Advance now available for the Sega Dreamcast. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh. Oh. Is that what I need to do? Well. Prater. Okay. Got it. I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Thank goodness Luke is safe. Yeah! Safe. It's cute to use the same sound effect as in the minigame. <laughs> what was that? Oh, God.
Good. Bravo, Leighton. You risked your life and saved your friend. Yes. Well, as a friend once told me, no risk, no glory. Hey, everybody. Uh, not right now. <laughs> not right well, now. Sorry. Right. We'll I suppose back. I won't be Come back in two minutes. anymore. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it pains me to see you like this, Randall. Randall? What? It's Randall. But how? Hmm. Well, isn't this quite the reunion? Oh no, he's hot. Now, my revenge is at hand. Master Randall? Is that really you? He still calls him Master. It is, unfortunately for you. I have returned to take back everything you stole from me. Quickly, kiss him. He stole Layton's hair. <laughs> the Azran treasure, my family fortune, and my Angela. Henry, you will know the pain I have felt all these years. All the pain is held in how crunchy my dialogue is with the compression. Randall, no! It's not like that! Master Randall, please! You've got it all wrong. Let me explain. You called it. You called it. Oh, I would love to. But unfortunately, I'm not interested in your explanations. You could at least tell us where you've been all these years. Well, all right. Why not? What good is an untold tale? I first explored the ruins of Akbadai nearly 18 years ago. I was only a few steps from unlocking its secrets before I fell victim to one of its many cunning traps. Mm-hmm. And then you refused to be saved. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. I fell into a deep ravine where I could have died. But as fate would have it, an underground river broke my fall. Mm-hmm. Sure. The current washed me onto the banks of a remote village. The villagers nursed me back to health. Oh. Yeah, soft water. <laughs> Fortunately, breaking on my bones cushioned the fall. I made a full recovery, but I could not tell the villagers anything about myself. My mind was a blank. He got amnesiaed. Of course he did. You... You had amnesia? Good. Oh, that guy! I worked in the village while I tried to recover my memory. Firth! He's a good lad. Months went by. Years went by. And eventually I gave up on trying to unearth my old life. I forgot when- remember when Firth was like, I'm looking for- for my boy. My guy- my guy that helped me and stuff. That was Randall? I forgot about that entirely. Shit. Then one day, I received a letter. He did say 18 years. I totally blanked on that. I know all about your past, Ibrit. I know who took everything from you. And I know how to get it all back. Hmm. The letter recounted my life in great detail. And it said that the one who had betrayed me was a man named... Henry. When I read that name, it was as though someone had turned a key in my mind. Everything came flooding back. I remembered all that I had, and all that had been taken from me. Did he conveniently forget about how he could have easily been saved and fucked it up? But the letter didn't end there. I have a plan to take revenge on those who have wronged you. You need only to don the garb of the masked gentleman, and they shall cower before you. So it was decided. I would have my revenge by taking back what was mine. Mm-hmm. He forgot he needed glasses. And the letters continued. Each one advising well, me on how to execute my plan as the masked gentleman. He was set up! Also, Angela isn't yours. She doesn't fucking belong to you, dude. Yeah, maybe, maybe never needed glasses, and he was just that kind of a guy. He's like, the glasses make me look smart. Randall, my problems are my own damn fault, asshat. Yeah, he's not the most sympathetic villain. Like, he, there's, there's potential there. His profile mentions he doesn't need glasses. 
He's in his favorite rocket. Damn. Called it. As each no. phase of my plan fell into place, I felt myself returning with it. The masked gentleman brought me back. At least he's hot. Every hot villain is redeemable. The letters. Professor, do you think... I fear the worst, Luke. This closes my tale of woe. However, we still have a few tears to shed. Henry, you shall bear witness as I ruin you, just as you ruined me. Master Randall, wait! The Mystery of the Mask. Uh. Mask Chaos. Randall used the myth behind the Mask of Chaos to convince everyone of its power. This was a key element in his plan to take revenge on Henry by destroying Montbeor. The Mask of Chaos proved to be a valuable part of Randall's deception. The Masked Gentleman was revealed to be the long missing last Randall. Fry. Do not to belongs to me. One last fry. Hmm. Don't even look at it. Thank I'm gonna you, dip it in a little chop, a little chop, and watch you cry. No, you must yeah. oh, Thank you very much, sir. Welcome. Thank you for the hammy, and thank you for, for waiting till the cutscene was over. I'm assuming you did. Thank you. Well, hope you're doing good. Appreciate it. Thought Professor said, Luke, you're the worst instead of I fear for the worst. Yeah, well, that's what he meant to say. I miss Michael. <laughs> Uh, believing that Henry betrayed him, he set out to ruin Monteor with his malevolent dark miracles. Randall assumed the role of a masked villain and engineered this entire masquerade just to get back at Henry. Well, someone told him what to do and how to do it. But those were his motives, yeah. Oh, this shit. This is a stick up. Is it okay now? Yeah, no, that was a good time. All right, this is a stick this up. This is a stick up, chat. Here's the deal. These are spent. Nintendo three uh, eShop cards, tons that's a, of them. That's a, lo that's a lot of twenty-two thousand dollars worth, and we're gonna not, not just these, but there's like there's, a there's, there's a whole we're bunch. We're gonna spread them all over Perry's office, and we're not gonna pick them up until we get ten gift subs in the chat. Oh, that's right. You gotta give ten gift subs, otherwise we're gonna leave it here for the rest of the stream. That's sure. not what I was expecting was going about no. to happen. You have, but... this is a, a financial stick up on both ends. <laughs> Every, there we go. Okay. All right, now we're picking it up. Yeah, All right, now we're gonna, yeah, sure, yeah no, okay. you, you can stay, Barry. We'll, no, 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 no. This was our dumb bit. This was. Yeah, this yeah. was my these dumb. are these these are literally chat. These are fifty dollars each. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We uh we did a, we did a very dumb thing. We did a very yeah. Dumb thing. We have a new we have a video coming out. This is a promo. It's not a sponsored deal. I, we just I figured you know we need to get early SEO guys. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. we, we bought every single Wii U and 3DS game, and our video's coming out tomorrow. It was very expensive. We lost a lot of money, so we please, absolutely did. please watch it. Hey, anyone chat remember, how many months ago was it? It started in August. Remember last year when they came into my in my office, and they opened up a bag, and they were like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That was the bit. This and then, and I was like, bit. and I was like, I can't tell you what that is. Yeah. You'll have to uh, wait. Uh, Gam, uh, show that footage right now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's coming uh, out, uh, tomorrow. There's, uh, there's like one right Barry's there, actually right in the video, so oh. you get a, you all can see that. So, anyway, this was a stupid bit. <laughs> we appreciate it was, it. It was a very good bit. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, you we, got, got, we got more gifts. You got me, you got me a ton of gifts. Y'all better be doing those gift subs. Or no, we'll come well, back in here and do it again. That, that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a promise. Oh, Thank you, Chad. Right. Thank you, Gerard and Michael. That's a Everyone go to youtube.com slash the completionist tomorrow. You can just go to youtube.com slash browse. What? Just, oh, just the, just the main. He thinks, he thinks it's he gonna thinks go trend. It's gonna go viral. So thinks, you'll just you'll see it on the front page. That's the hope. That's the yeah. Hope. That might pay off some of this. <laughs> yes. Again, yeah, but no twenty-two thousand dollars we spent. Oh my gosh! Look at all those. A lot gift subs. subs. You guys, thank can, you so much. Guys, give the twenty-two grand back to Barry via gift subs. That's yeah. what we. Well, love I didn't see. spend the twenty-two grand. That doesn't, that, that doesn't, doesn't make. I mean, I pay you rent, but that equates. would take so long to. Was it really twenty thousand dollars to buy everything? Yes. Uh, it's a little bit more. It's, it's, like, it's like, more or less depending because I did own some games, but yes, it, yeah, it the is. Crazy, the crazy part is like we did the math and then we started to be like. 
like in some ways we saved because there were some things that were on sale but then the thing that we couldn't anticipate until we started making purchases is the way that the 3ds handles dlc yeah because you can't view the values of the dlc on the eShop itself you so have to play you have the to, games you have to, to a certain you have to point. buy the game first before mm-hmm. you can even gain access to it in the game itself there's good, a whole good riddance so frankly like, <laughs> so like, i'm glad it's got yeah, going so like away in in theater God. rhythm for example i think it's curtain call one of them the dlc is like like more than fifty dollars worth of songs. Oh my god! And you have but to buy them individually. Uh, I yeah. had to. I uh, hello, hi everyone. I'm Gerard the Completionist. I had to play Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney to beat the game before I could buy the DLC. Uh, it took me a, a twenty four hours. Approximately. I had to beat Jesus. the game in a de- uh, twenty four hours it worth DLC. No, I had to pay for it. Oh shit. And I didn't know what the price was until I was done. And it's very cheap. <laughs> Anyways, we love you guys. Please watch our video watch, tomorrow. Watch video. They've, and they've... keep keep giving gift subs no, to stop. Barry. Go go next that's, time. That's Ger- a demand. Next time Gerard streams, go throw some subs to him to help pay him back for the twenty two thousand dollars. Guys, just give it back to Barry. Pay it just forward. Get, yeah, pay yeah, it yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah pay it right. forward. We're gonna keep making the rest of the video. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, yeah. we're not we're not we're done. Not even we're, done. We're editing it right now. Yeah, we did get a very dope shot of a bunch of these dumped on Gerard in slow Ooh. motion. Hell yeah! So. so that's not the first time you've had to pick them off off the floor. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> we yeah, that that we were like, oh, this is a lot quicker than we thought. So yeah, we're yeah, yeah. now now just. <laughs> Get ready to How get many more shots? Bombed. Yeah. Yeah. Godspeed. God, Godspeed. They have been working on that for so long. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited to watch that video tomorrow. Uh, thanks for the gift subs. <laughs> it's a lot. I literally, this office for the last however, God, however many months, it's like every time I walk past one of the rooms where they have everything set up, it's just like, just gift cards, just one by one, redeeming them, buying games, downloading the games, just. And they've been doing it all in secrecy. So, you got the scoop chat. I don't know if they've said that anywhere else, publicly. Anyway, y'all ready for some <laughs> more shenanigans? We're not done. This shit, the, the, this train is still on the rails, believe it or not. Chapter 8, world premiere. Limited Wii U and 3D. I'm sure they'll get into it in the video, the logistics, because they had to jump through some fucking hoops. We need to follow Randall, quickly. Did they know they could buy 3DS games off of Nintendo's website? Um, I mean, I only learned about that recently. And I don't want to tell them. Do you want to tell them? <laughs> I don't know, Squeaks. The tightly plotted amnesia BS. So, keep in mind that also, it, it would have been quicker but also for the sake of the video to be like, here's the fucking stack of gift cards. That's a better visual for making a video anyway. So they might have known and decided to do the gift sh- the gift card route anyway. Because you might be able to bulk add them to your account. I don't know. That's good copium. I Listen, they've done dumber... Th- I don't know. Have they done dumber things? This is pretty dumb. You make a better thumbnail on Tile with gift this trim. For the... You gotta... Com- listen, when you're the completionist... You don't half-ass anything. 100%. Someone in chat said earlier, he 100% of the eShop. Yeah, that's, that is exactly what they did. Damn. Seriously, I hope that video does well, because I, I I have... I have bared witness to how long they've been working, and how hard. It's like the, the money, the cost of the dollars they spent, obviously, does not include the salaries of the many people working. That's still just like... A sliver. There's so much time and effort, so. Very, very excited to see it finally happen. <laughs> I'm just glad that they did that on the stream, because now you get the payoff for them looking at that bag with me. Because they told me, like, that was that was last year, they're like, we're going to do it all. And I was like, yeah, okay, have fun. And they're like, we bought, we went to every store, <laughs> and we bought out all of their eShop cards, and this might not be enough. And it's like, shit. So. Anyway. Master Randall. Wonder what happened to that bit. I know. I I was I was ready to tell people if the video didn't happen, but yeah, no. That was clip of that? I I don't know. Put this side. Yeah, there you go, Gam. <laughs> Gam, do you have any idea when when that was? They said it was August. I don't know if that's actually when it happened. 
I'm not, don't go look it up now. Just uh, if you happen it off the top of your head. But it was around August. Okay. That is the nice thing. It's like, I, I'm pretty sure that that was in the highlights that month. I don't remember. That's like 50 years ago. It doesn't mean that? Okay, cool. Anyway, Master Randall. How could he do this? Thank you for all the bits. I will get, I'll get caught up on bits and stuff once we finish the game. I want to try to get to the end. But thank you. That was a lot. And I appreciate it. Mystery bag. Yes. Mystery bag. Has that paid off yet? I was going to ask you about Fear Edge Hand yet. Nope. Michael always makes the highlights. Some days are years, and some years are decades. Why they actually want all them? They used all those gift cards to add to an account to buy every eShop game. There will be a video on Gerard's channel tomorrow, if they get the video done. They are apparently still editing it. Go to Gerard's channel tomorrow, and uh, hopefully any VOD watchers too. It'll be out by now, so you can watch it. I'm sure... Because the video is not going to be them being like, and then we downloaded this game, and then we downloaded this game. They're going to, I I don't know the content of the video, but I'm assuming they'll get into any questions you have about how dumb an idea that is. That's the channel. Boom. Go sub to Gerard. He's the best. No one does it like Gerard does. It. He's the nicest guy. Jesus. Hey. On like what the video is like. Yeah. It is real-time presentation. We cataloged fucking everything. I'm expecting it to be 15 hours long of just reading out 16-digit eShop codes. We read out the codes. Mm -hmm. We read out the games. We read out the block size or file size. Yep. And then we declare whether it's smash or pass. <laughs> <laughs> name of the t name of the, the video: most fuckable eShop download. That actually, Gerard, we. <laughs> That as a you know that little smiley face shopping bag guy that flies around? Yeah. Like, come on. Oh, the most <laughs> fuckable bag. What what an eShop slut, that guy. Just getting sloppy on the inside. So <laughs> it's gonna be a long night for you guys, isn't oh, it? Oh, <laughs> I mean like the past Monday Monday night and last night were pretty long. Today we I came in with a plan of like what pickups we needed and mm -hmm. we immediately went off the rails. So uh things are gonna be moving and grooving. Mm-hmm. Moving and grooving. Moving and grooving. Anyway. Have fun with Layton. Thanks. Be well, chat. He said be well, chat. Like a plastic bag. <laughs> Why did Katie do this? Go sub the dry to get ready for that eShop. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Cam. Do I don't want you going home tonight? I know, right? It's already late and I gotta finish this game. Master Randall, how could he do this? This last miracle. Yeah. What is he planning? Mr. Lador, I will accompany you. Thank you, Morty. We must make Randall see the truth before he does anything else. Come with me. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me. Morty! I'm so glad you're the most important characters are all here. Master Layton, what should I do? Follow us, Morty. You're as much a part of this as anyone else now. Return to the map and tap the door icon on the top right of the panel when you're ready. Professor, what does that mean? I think it's drugs, Luke. Herschel, we need to go after Randall. Wick and Morty. We were talking about the most fuckable bad case of the lyric of a song and I'm laughing, therefore she must pay. That's fair. Let's go. And Henry. Choo-choo, thank you for the hype train. <laughs> Herschel, I just can't believe this. Could it truly be Master Randall? I believe it is. All the more reason we must stop him before he does something drastic. I think it's cute and tragic as fuck that he still calls him Master. Um, all right. Get me out of here. Wow. <laughs> I'm so delighted you all could make it. Randall, <gasps> this is madness. Come down from there. Take a final look around. I'm going to do a flip, Layton. Then you'll see. Henry, you stole everything from me. I treated you like a brother. And this is my reward? Allow me to return the favor. 
The destruction of Monte Dor shall be my final dark miracle! <laughs> Randall, no! <laughs> Oh, he's just gonna go ahead and do it, isn't he? I hate sand! Wow, a lot of people probably died from this, huh? What's this? Look at the sand. fucking 3D ass running oh, around. about destroying the town. He's trying to bury us in sand. We need to get out of here, Professor! If only I brought a shovel. But I dropped it in that spider hole again. Randall! Stop this immediately! The motion capture ass. Yep. It's all a part of the circle of life, Herschel. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Watch closely, Henry, as your precious town is buried into oblivion. All roads leading out of Monte Dor have been blocked off. Embrace the final dark miracle before you. When I am through, every last one of you shall become one with the desert. Professor, we need to do something. It's pouring in so fast! Henry, is there no escape route from here? This town was carved out of an oasis. Monte Dor is essentially a big bowl. If there's no way up, then there's no way out. What can we do, Professor? Let me get a hold of Randall for a moment, and I'll figure out what we have to do. We must remain calm. Only clear minds will prevail here. We need to head for the monument in the center of the town. The monument? Why? I'll explain once we get there. Everyone, follow me. All right, then, to the monument. We should take the tram. Good idea. Oh, man, it's so dusty. I'm sure the tram will still be operational despite the city imploding on itself. Let's go. Come on, Amy, kick Randall's ascot. Yeah. Thank heavens the tram is still running. The closest stop to the Monument Plaza is Pumpkin Park. Very well, let's go. Not using an elevator and a fire. Yeah, not advisable. It's pandemonium here, too! If we don't stop this, Monte Dior will be completely buried under the desert sand. What now, Professor? I've got you now, you vile cur! Struggle all you want! Oh, Layton, is that you? I can't see a blasted thing in this sandstorm. Grosky, this is the result of the masked gentleman's final act. That's what Big Elevator wants you to think as they escape without you. Oh, shit. You're right. I should have known. Let me at him! Inspector, where are- Oh, never mind. And then Grosky died, and that's not why- That's why he's not in the, the present games. R.I.P. to Grosky. That Grosky sure is something. Indeed. Chief Sheffield, I need your help. Is your face smaller? My what? I saw someone dressed like the masked gentleman heading for the plaza in front of the museum. We don't have time to chase him down. We're heading for the monument to try to stop this madness. You need to get the townspeople to safety. Get everyone to the highest floors and the tallest buildings immediately. You got it, Leighton. Where is Detective Bloom? He said he was going to investigate the reunion inn. I haven't seen him since. He probably got scared and turned tail once the real trouble started. You know, these hoity-toity London types. Beg your pardon. Don't worry, we'll get everyone to safety. Do you think Detective Bloom ran away? We didn't see him at the Reunion Inn. Let's just head down Chance Avenue right now. We must get to the monument. Sheffield steals himself. Whatever did he do? The sand's flooding the city, Chief. What should we do? Show some backbone, you cowards. Come wind or sand, we are people of the desert. Are you gonna let one little sand slide paralyze our great city? No, sir. If you wanna run, I won't stop you. But in my eyes, you'll be a spineless loser who never deserved a place in the force to begin with. 
We are the Mont d'Or police, the shield of the people. If we don't stand tall now, who is left to protect them? Exactly, sir, we agree. There's no way we can stop a sand flow this strong, but we can still lead the citizens and tourists to high ground. When the civilians are all safe, then you take to high ground and join them. Do you understand me? Yes, Chief. We're agreeing with you, sir. I don't want to hear it. There is no room for dissension among the ranks. There are lives at stake here. Human lives. Oh, and another thing. There's an elderly lady at the Lador Estate who needs an escort to the plaza. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. When your superior's talking, you wait until they've finished, officer. All right, I'm finished. Get to the Lador Estate. I think she's in a wheelchair. Just take her to the plaza. She may turn out to be our final trump card. Now go. I'm tired of this arguing. What a great commanding officer, that chief. Hey. Sand, high ground, stop. Or, uh, dark side bar thong? Is there something there? Cave, what's this? What do you have? Oh. oh boy, why? why is it good? It just feels right, you know? It just feels right. Yeah, I get I... Just gonna creep down in pumpkin hill. And then, I got some my lord's fleet. I know that it's here. I can sense it in my feet. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. It just works. Okay, all right, thank you. Fuck the uh, shit. Okay. Um, we're here, Professor. Now what? The pose is going increasingly popular. It's a good pose. We're here. Now I need soap shoes. <laughs> the sand's getting higher. If only we had the Mask of Order, we could counteract the Mask of Chaos and stop this. Tell us where it is, Henry. Angela, what are you talking about? This is no time to play dumb, Henry. Are you just gonna sit back and let Randall destroy Monteor? Give me the Mask of Order, Henry. I have no idea where it is. You of all people should know that. Please, calm down. The Mask of Order is safe. There's no need to worry. Wait, what? How do you know that, Professor? I hate to interrupt this, but may I remind you that we're running out of time? Yes, right now, Monteor is in desperate need of a true miracle. Professor, what are you talking about? It's time to solve the riddle of Akbadain. If my theory is correct, we should be able to save the town from right here. The riddle of Akbadain? Who does that have to do with saving the town? And why did we come here? We're nowhere near the entrance to the ruins. Oh, but we are, Emmy. I really have no idea what's going on. I was quite surprised by that old map of Monteor back at the Reunion Inn. Many years ago, I explored the ruins of Akbadain with Randall. I found a treasure, but nothing of particularly great archaeological value. That treasure was, in fact, left behind by the Azran to distract thieves from the truth that lay buried there. The Azran assumed that anyone who was satisfied with material riches wouldn't push on to discover the truth that is hidden there. Which was what? Tell us, Leighton. Henry, you reached the bottom of the ruins as well. Do you recall the symbol there? How could I forget? It was like nothing I'd ever seen before, but I never figured out what it meant. Take a look at this. Look closer. What is it? When the Reunion Inn was built, this area was still an oasis dotted with old ruins. This map shows the area here around us before Mont d'Or was built. Using the oasis as the circle's center, we see how the remaining ruins hint at the shape of the original structures. Oh! What? It matches the markings! What does it all mean? It means the Akbadain Labyrinth stretches below the entire city of Mont d'Or. And the deepest part of the ruins, the part that has remained hidden for centuries, lies directly beneath where we are right now. 
When I read the ex when I read the expedition logs, I knew you were on to something, Henry. How could I have been so blind? This is amazing, Professor. <clears throat> if we solve the riddle of Vakbadine, I believe that these underground chambers will reveal themselves to be as they previously were. As they previously were. However, in order to do this, we need both the Mask of Chaos and the Mask of Order. More. Traces of another civilization far below Monteor are the hidden ruins of Akbadain, a vestige of the once great Azran civilization. The remnants seen above ground are just a small part of that ancient structure. Learning that Monteor was built over the Akbadain ruins was quite a discovery. I mean, there's only so many deserts, as chat put together. I thought I might find you in the eye of the storm. What is this, Leighton? Where is all this sand coming from? In the desert? Sand? Really? How preposterous. No time to explain, Dalston. But the town is in grave danger. I can see that. I suppose this is that masked buffoon's doing. Do you see what happens, Henry? See what happens when you try to put the police on me for your own gain? Dalston, stop talking for one moment and listen. Randall is the masked gentleman. Randall? You've gone mad! All this desert heat finally fried your brain. It's true, Dalston. Randall is alive. Randall? Alive? But how? I'm not going to stand here and explain it all to you now. We're going to stop Randall. He's at the Gallery Plaza right now. Henry, wait. I'm coming with you. Don't get the wrong idea, Lador. I'm doing this to help Montdeor, not you. According to the overlap... Ooh. Hello, hello. Berry to Berry. Hey, Crudberry. Thank you for the raid. We're playing Professor Lane in the Miracle Mask. We are deep in the final act. Everything's coming together. Welcome. If you decide to stick around, hopefully chat can get you caught up. But I'm gonna keep plugging away. Thank you. Hope you had a great stream. Appreciate it. According to the overlap of the markings on the map, there should be another entrance around here. Let's split up and find it as fast as we can. I hope you know what you're doing. Examine the monument. Zoom. Uh. Oh! A wall! Raiders of the other berry. Over here, Professor! Luke, that's just a manhole cover. Oh, wait! Look at these markings. I believe this is it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 134, breaking the seal. Each of these stone slabs has two arrows on it. To open the manhole, you must fill the board with slabs so that all four rows, all four columns, and both diagonals contain one of each direction of arrow. Some of the slabs are already firmly fixed in place. You can freely rotate the rest. Are you up to the task? Um, it's a Sudoku. All four rows, all four columns, and both diagonals contain each direction of arrow. Okay. Um, just put, oh, 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 oh. I have to plug in my DS again. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a fucked up Sudoku. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I didn't realize that these were tied together. How very rude. Um, so I need one that is, oh, but because I can rotate, I can change the way they're facing. Oh, that's mean. Um, but it's probably, um, this, this. Shit. No. There could be this. No. What about this? There it is. Okay, <laughs> I got one. In. Um. And then I need left and up. Up and left or left and up. Um. Could be either. Oh, it has to be left there because the diagonal. Okay. And then that's right, and that's left, and then you throw a Sudoku at me, I got this, I got this, um, up, left, down, that's gotta be right, and is it up or is it down, it's up, wait, no, it's down, <laughs> eh, and then, ooh, it's spin. I believe I have this one. Have a good night. 
An excellent puzzle. Let's see what's beneath that manhole. All right, let's go. Herschel, don't we need to find the Mask of Order to solve the riddle of Akbadain? Not to worry, I have it right here. You what? Where? But how? I found it at the Reunion Inn, of course. It was in the file room, right where you hid it. Right where I hid it? Herschel, you must be mistaken. Why would Angela do that, Professor? Why, to protect Henry, of course. I'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to save Montleor. What exactly are you planning to do? Professor, Aid, if we have one of the masks, we need both of them, don't we? I have them both, Luke. Angela, I'll need your help for this. My help? What do you need my help for? What is all this, Herschel? This is the final chamber of Akbadain, the one that neither Randall nor I ever reached. It was right under our noses all along. And to solve this room's puzzle, we need to use both masks. Well, you said that you have the masks, did you not? Indeed I did, and indeed I do. This engraving was one of the messages that Randall deciphered years ago. We didn't know what to make of it then. When they are united, the bearers of chaos and order shall come. The what? You see those pedestals over there? A mask must be placed in each one to trigger a hidden mechanism. Once we do that, I believe the ruins of Akbadine will rise and elevate the city above the sand that is pouring in. Honestly, I tire of your nonsense, Leighton. Just tell me where the Mask of Order is. Ah, yes. You assumed that Henry found the Mask of Order with the treasure and that he was simply hiding it all along. Assumptions are dangerous things. Consider the message again. When they are united, the bearers of chaos and order shall come. When they are united... Wait, can it be? Hmm. <gasps> wow. Oh, they are united. The bearers of chaos and order shall come. The Mask of Order has been right here all this time. Yeah, that's satisfying. And now a human sacrifice. Luke? You'd step up onto the pedestal. It was so simple all along. How could I have missed it? I need your help to solve the final puzzle. Yes, of course. What do you need? A human sa- I just said. Oh. 135 mask pedestal. Four mysterious pillars have risen up. The ruins mechanism will activate when the arrows on each pillar point to the center. The pillars will only turn if Leighton and Angela step on opposing buttons at the same time. When you have Leighton press a button, Angela will press the one opposite. Keep in mind they won't be able to press the same buttons twice in a row. Work together to save the city. Oh, look at them. Um. Go over there. And then, and then, and then like that one. And then, and then like, um, like that one. And then like that one. And then probably that one. I am just tapping at random. I will dispel all... All notions to the contrary. Um... Mm-hmm. This is looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty much, pretty much... Yep, yeah, they're all pointing up. That's what we want. We wanted them all pointing north. You got it. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, 
And then this? Okay, wrong. But may maybe this one again. And then to this one. These, these just need to do a little spin. A little spinny spin. Eventually, they'll line up. Right? Um... Uh... Shoot. Hmm... This reminds me of a puzzle. Professor, there's no time! The sand is pouring in! No, this is good. Um... Okay, those... Okay, good. And then you spin... No, not the... Damn it. Great. Good. Great and good. Okay, well, we're just gonna... We're gonna just gonna loop it around a little bit. There's... You can probably solve this in, like, one move. Um, which is pretty cool. Love that about this puzzle. Um... Okay, now... Now these... Okay, now we have two... This is not going great. <laughs> not there's a city drowning. Yeah, right. There's there's just enough duplicate because every all of them have two spots that they can be activated on. It's just enough that like my brain absolutely cannot internalize. Like, okay, just do this and then do this. It's just like uh, I got just gotta just gotta you know make it work. Um, me you. Okay, okay, all right, and then and then you. Yeah. Perfect. First try. Easy. Now, how about this? No, I don't think you hit him two in a row. She had a thought! Well, not bad. She had a thought! Look at her go! You solved the riddle at the heart of Akbadain. Let's see if the professor was right. Look at that animated texture. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's fine. What? What is happening? Behold, Randall, the secret of the Azra. Now that's an entrance. I discovered it while you were busy seeking revenge. This ends here. Oh. Yeah. That's a cute reveal with the masks. The Mask of War and the Mask of Chaos are, in fact, two halves of the same artifact that can be separated at will. Far from counteracting each other, they have power only when used together. The masks were never two separate entities, but one and the same all this time. So we're still missing, um... How did the city develop so fast in 18 years? And how come Henry and Angela are so fucking sus? Those are the remaining mysteries. I will save. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Money and money. Probably. Epilogue. The city of miracles. No idea what's happening here. Uh, watching their streams will not help you, but I do recommend watching their streams. These games are nuts. These games are a fucking hoot. What now, Professor? I must speak with Randall for a moment. He's just dejected. God damn. I can't talk to anyone else. Alright. Randall needs to know the truth. You'll be unable to save your game from this point. You ready to continue? Yeah. Let's go. Everyone's here. What was that? What happened? 
Amazing! Is everyone okay? This is the true treasure of the Azran. A riddle we could not have solved 18 years ago, Randall. We were distracted by tales of fortune, while the most valuable archaeological find lay elsewhere all along. You did it! You solved the puzzle of Akbadai! Spectacular! Solved the puzzle. I must hand it to you, Herschel. There is no puzzle without a solution. You taught me that, Randall. He did say that down in the in the ruins. The origin of Leighton's catchphrases. Archaeology was nothing more than a passing fancy for you. And still you unearthed all of this. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I had some help. Randall, are you alright? Your skill has magnified my own faults. Even in revenge, I am a failure. Nonsense. The important thing is that you're with us now. Master Randall. Stay away from me! You stole everything from me! Everything! That's not true. You still don't see? Henry took nothing from you, Randall. You were used. Used? What are you talking about? Everything you were told in those letters was a lie. Hmm. What do you mean? The police thought there was someone behind the masked gentleman. They were right. Randall here was merely a puppet. There was someone behind the mask, pulling the strings all along. And that person is you! <gasps> hmm. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure, Descolé. <laughs> well played, Lee. Well played. <laughs> Where's Angela? <laughs> that might be the best part of all six of the games. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> fucking Descale. The costume goes on. I fu I... God. I love that moment so much. Finally, we can talk. Thanks for not spoiling it. Like, clearly Angela was sus, right? But, goddamn. I fucking love that moment! Ah, where's Angela? She's fine. I found Angela trapped in a room at the Reunion Inn. Where is she now? Right here. I forgot about this part. What? Morty? I asked her to wear a costume while we played Descolet's little game. Where's Morty then? I see. Wait, what the way? pretended to be taken in by my Angela disguise but then until I helped you solve the riddle of Akbadai. But then where's. Well then, yeah. The voice to give Morty was wrong. Yeah, I guess so. He's dead. <laughs> now, wait, wait, yeah. Also, why did they have a perfect Morty disc? Or whatever. You it's knew that you needed my help if you were to solve that final puzzle. Mm -hmm. Very good, Descole. Desk is not meant to be comedic. Yeah, he's just he's just silly, silly guy. Is this the lane shenanigans you wanted yet? <laughs> I knew I never should have used this has been bumpkin. I can't believe what I've done. You're pitiful, Ascot. I gave you back your life and you failed. And later, you must tell me. How did you know? When I first arrived here, I spoke to the real Angela. But I definitely sensed a great unease within her. Angela had suspected Randall of being the masked gentleman all along. That was why she wrote me the letter. She was hoping that I would get to Randall before the police did. She thought that if I confronted Randall, I might be able to get through to him. Destiny's theme fucking slaps. 
Hello. Yes, go on. Despite our history, Angela wasn't sure what I would do if I discovered that Randall was the masked gentleman. But the next time I saw her, there was something different about her demeanor. Mm -hmm. Her unease had disappeared. And from that moment, I began to suspect Angela. Perhaps I was too eager. Yeah, laid it on pretty thick there. Like, there's a point in the game after which every conversation with Angela is like, so about that Mask of Chaos, or about the Mask of Order. You got that Mask of Order yet? I mean, it's still, this reveal is fucking bullshit out of nowhere, but it is very clear that something happened with her and she becomes very suspicious. But I, but, but Descala, I, it's fine, it's good. You gave yourself away when you asked for the Mask of Order to solve the riddle of Okpadai. Yeah, and the necklace is gone. And she's just like, oh, let's get a new one. It's just like, that's, that's weird. And, and Angela mentioned things to Henry where he's like, you should know that. What are you talking about? Still. This is maybe like one of the most rational plots altogether, and it's still fucking stupid. When I heard of Henry's mask, I needed to find someone to play the masked gentleman. Randall obliged. I had to convince Henry of the power of the Mask of Chaos with our dark miracles. I love that name, don't you? If Henry believed that the Mask of Order could counteract the powers of the Masked Gentleman, well then, surely he would procure this mask rather than watch his dear city crumble, yes? Nice of you to explain everything, Escoy. But when he did not, you grew tired of waiting. You became Angela so that you could get closer to Henry. Mm. But Henry still wouldn't reveal the location of the Mask of Order. And he couldn't, because he never had the Mask of Order in the first place. Bravo, Nick. But I'm afraid <laughs> all of the deductive reasoning in the world won't change the fact that I've already won. You what? You've actually done my work for me. Oh. What do you mean? This has been a pleasure. Many thanks, Leighton. <laughs> Until next time. Don't throw a smoke bomb. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. He didn't smoke bomb. He didn't. He just jumped really high. Thanks for the raid, Luxel Hunter. How you doing? We're playing late in the Miracle Mask. We're in the end game. Um. <laughs> So spoilers, <laughs> and it's absurd and won't make any sense even with context, but I hope you had a good stream. At some point, Descale replaced Angela almost seamlessly. Disguised as Angela, he tried to trick Henry into revealing the Mask of Order. Descale was clever, but he failed to grasp the true nature of Henry and Angela's relationship. Yeah, Henry's still sus, though. And how about what's up with the city? All that time, he was using me? I feel like such a fool. Oh, Randall. Angela. I can hardly believe it. I've been waiting so long for your return. How dare you? You never waited for me. You married Henry. It's not... Traitors! <sighs> After everything I've done for you, Henry, you betray me like this? You stole my ideas and my research. And if that wasn't enough, you stole my love. <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong, Randall. First of all, that's fucked up and toxic. Henry has been preparing. Preparing for the day you would return home. When I would return? Where's Morty? Is Morty okay? What does that mean? Vandal, you should know the truth about Montedor. We have something to tell you. Now, just leave me alone, all of you! Randall, when you disappeared, we didn't know if you'd ever return. We were destroyed, all of us. Your parents took it especially hard, of course. Their businesses failed, and the Ascot House fell into disrepair. All that time, Henry risked his life as he searched for you down in those ruins, but to no avail. In a strange twist of fate, he found the Azran treasure you were searching for all those years ago. Henry supported your parents with his newfound wealth, but he could not truly replace what they had lost. So he did what he could. He worked hard to build Monte Dor, and he cared for your parents as if they were his own. Yeah, right, Zay. 
Morty's gonna be our service to make sure it's time to the execution. Hell yeah. Morty got a good ending. You... Henry, is this true? It is, Randall. Henry never stopped searching for you. He always believed that you would return someday. He spent a fortune sending search parties down into those awful ruins. He built the Reunion Inn so that they would have a base near the ruins. Oh, there it is. The Reunion Inn? So that was the first little part of it. I believe that was the first building established here in Monte Dor. Out here, in the middle of nowhere, the Reunion Inn thrived. That was quite a miracle, if you ask me. A light miracle. But not one without a rational explanation behind it. And what was that? Henry announced several rewards for anyone who could find the man named Randall. And then a city was born? These rewards were so large that word spread quickly, and the Reunion Inn became a popular haunt. From there, the town prospered. Hotels and shops cropped up everywhere. A yeah, thriving city bloomed here in the desert. And Monte Dor became the city we know today. I mean, that's basically the story we were told from the beginning. Who recovered Randall? Uh, he, uh, amnesia downstream to a village. It's maybe the most efficient way to explain what happened to him. I... I can't believe it. One might say that Monte Dor is built around the idea of your return, Randall. My return? And that is the true miracle behind the city of Monte Dor. I... I don't know what to say. Nice. This city was the friends we waited for along the way. Randall, it appeared as if Henry had stolen your family and your fortune. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, he spent his entire life preserving all that was yours. But Angela... Is... is that mine? Randall, my marriage to Henry wasn't real. What? After I lost you, Randall, I didn't know how to go on. My parents kept pressing me to get married. They wanted me to marry the richest man in town, Alphonse Dawston. I had given up so completely by that time, that I probably would have agreed just so that they would leave me alone. It was a green card marriage. <laughs> but then Henry asked me. I'll never forget it. He said, Will you wait for Master Randall with me? Hmm. Henry X Randall can finally happen! Henry always believed you would come back. He helped me believe too. So we agreed to pretend to be married. Until the day you returned, Randall. Henry vowed that he would protect and preserve everything of yours. Henry never took anything from you. He protected everything for you. A loyal servant to the end? Oh yeah, here's the Can by the way, your dad died. <laughs> Would you like to join the X-Men, son? Mother! So when's Randall being arrested? Hopefully any second now. He did kill a lot of people in that sand avalanche. Can it be? Randall! Oh, if it wasn't for Henry, I don't know what would have happened to me. He took such good care of me, Randall. I understand. Oh, Mother, I thought I'd never see you again. Randall, I believe this is yours. This document is proof of ownership for all properties attributed to the Lador family. I did say Sand Valanche. Huh. It reveals that the Lador <laughs> family fortune is in fact fully owned by a third party. Uh, this is for you. Handcuffs, you see your click. <laughs> No, best ending. 
No, no consequences for crimes. Third party? All of the land and money attributed to the Lador's is actually in the name of Randall Ascot. How can this be? Henry created a replica of the Mask of Chaos, but not to steal the glory that ought to have been yours. It was the symbol of Monte Dor, a beacon that would draw your attention wherever you were. Henry assumed you would seek out someone claiming to have the Mask of Chaos when you came back. His assumption was correct, but when the masked gentleman appeared, it was clear the police would come asking questions. Angela acted fast. She knew that if the police investigated Henry's mask, they would discover it was a fake. So she hid the mask and claimed it had been stolen in order to preserve the symbol of Monte Dor's prosperity. And also to keep Henry's beacon alive. Randall, do you still feel that Henry has taken something from you? What have I done? You got played by Descale. Descale. You weren't yourself. And now that you are, and back here with us, everything is going to be okay. Henry. Henry. Now kiss. This was the true miracle all along. No, I flipped him over, he got a little roll, but... Some 18 years ago, Henry offered a hefty reward for Ando's return. Fortune seekers flocked to the reunion inn in hopes of securing this prize. Thus, Montedor was built upon Henry's devotion to his friend. Montedor wouldn't exist if Henry hadn't offered such a large reward. Still, I, I, that, that's not a very satisfying answer, but whatever. Uh, Henry's devotion to developing his estate was based on his desire to create a perfect home for Randall's eventual return. Henry truly believed that Randall would return, and he wanted nothing more than to safeguard everything Randall cared for. Oh no. And now Was Randall and Henry face an each other. Shock. Oh, there's Groski. He's dead. Randall! Let go of the mask. I'm, I'm not sorry, holding a mask. Herschel. I let you down. Oh, I can't pull you up. Now give me your other hand! You can let me go now, Herschel. Randall! You must just give me your other hand, Randall! <laughs> you don't have an excuse this time. I've betrayed so many people. I'll never forgive myself. I don't deserve to live. Let me go! Randall, I can't! No! no. Uh, my god, Cave. Henry! Master Randall, after all these years, there's no... There's no way... I'm letting you get away from us that easily. Henry. so ashamed of what I've done. And I don't deserve your kindness or your forgiveness. But why? Why would you do all this for me? Master Randall, do you really not know? You've always looked out for me. That's young Master Randall's toy, not yours. You remember your place. Give that back this instant. Honestly, Henry, I don't know what you're thinking. Is this how you were taught? Are you some sort of common thief? I have half a mind to report you to the master of the house. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to play with it. Oh, hello. Sorry to disturb you, young Master Randall. Why did you take Henry's toy? Ah, huh? Young Master Randall, I think you're mistaken. This is yours. Mm. No, this is the robot that I gave to Henry. Now then, if you'll excuse oh. us. Oh. What I have half a doing? mind to report you to the master of the house. Oh, all right, I'm going. Hmm. Oh. Master Randall, can you please forgive me for playing with your toy? Henry, it's yours now. 
But it's your favorite. Uh, well, now it's your favorite. How many toys does one boy need, anyway? Come on. We're going on an adventure today. Thank you, Master Randall. I promise to take care of it and always treasure it. Oh. Let's find some more treasure. What do you say? Hmm. You taught me something invaluable that day, Master Randall. And gave me something to treasure. And he still has the robot. You treated me not just as an equal, Randall, but also as a brother. And that has always meant more to me than any amount of riches ever could. As the years went by, it became clear to me that our friendship was my most valuable treasure. I'm speechless. There's nothing more to say, Master Randall. We all knew you would return. We just didn't think you'd take so long. Brother's own Henry. Katie. Oh, I'm so sorry. No more apologies. Welcome home. Welcome home. Henry. Angela. I'm home. This was a picture-perfect ending. Everything seems to have turned out for the best. Agreed. But I still have several questions about the Aswan civilization, Professor. Look. I mean, how were they able to build all those structures that were below Montador? Indeed. I was wondering that myself. The Aswan were much more advanced than I'd suspected. Who were the Aswan? No, what, Professor? Henry turned out to be an amazing person. He waited so long for his friend to return home. Gee, and everything he built all those years was for Randall. It was all quite miraculous. The greatest achievement is often the one that is the most selfless. What other city can claim that it was built on a foundation of loyalty and friendship? None that I know of. Quite fitting. It truly is the city of miracles. <sighs> the hell is this music what is this definitely not paris it definitely not rome definitely not new york nope none of them and then randall died went off to heaven in his gentleman outfit mm. philadelphia the city of brothers what about Desclay? Who? Well, that was Professor Lee and the Miracle Mask. There's definitely nothing after the credits. So you should all stop watching right now. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, get your hands off the robot. The fuck is this whole music? Your call is important to us. Thank you for dialing the Professor Layton Puzzle Helpline. We'll be with you in just a moment. Our operators are currently busy. Your wait time is approximately 38 hours. Show me the robot. I want to see the robot child. Yeah, this was this was a hoot. Um The only things I remember about this game before replaying it were the 3D models being jarring as fuck, and they were. You do get used to it, but man, that first shot where it shows them just moving in 3D going bap, 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 it's just like... Any of the real-time 3D cutscenes were like a little bit bumpy. Um... Near the, the meeting! It's cute. I remember that. I remember, um... Shenanigans with the Masked Gentleman and his bullshit miracles. I remember the fucking Angela reveal. That stuck with me. The, the Descalay. Fuck it. Just, it's not even that Descalay was disguised as Angela. That I'm fine with. It's that he's like, hmm? And then like swoops up into just being Des. It's just so. It, like, it's like they wrote that, and then the animators were like, how the. F what do you. What do you want us to do? It's great. Um. But yeah, I totally forgot about like horse riding mini games and dungeon calling chapter and. Oh no. He lost him shoe. I'll call you shoe because you lost your shoe. 
He has my lane versus Phoenix, right? So, at some point in the future, not right away, because I like to space out games in the same franchise on stream, but um, we'll do Azran Legacy next, and then I plan on doing the first Ace Attorney, because I've never played an Ace Attorney, and I want to know the characters. And then at some point after that, we'll do Layton Ace Attorney, because he'll mention it, it's a, a wild time. Link the official music video. You have to meet the video. If it's a YouTube video, you, you do not need a permit. YouTube and Twitch links do not need permits. If it's not on YouTube, then yeah, we can give you a permit. If I get a notification, well, uh, if you have notifications on on Twitch, or if you join the Discord, we got a bot made by the wonderful Mithra that posts whenever I go live. There you go. Gift to the friends for AA? I can ask. It's just, it's a big time commitment. So it might just be like an on off thing. Let's see. Troy Baker, Liam O'Brien, Matt Mercer. Who is Matt Mercer? I, I, I really... I'm excited for the new one, man. Even if it sucks. It, just the fact that after so long, I'm getting a new lane, I'm still not over that. we riding that high the rest of the year. It was me. Oh. He was Henry? Really? I did not hear that. Damn. Look at that bunny! Remember the bunny minigame I said we'll do, do if we have time? I'm glad I didn't do it, because the stream went long. If you want to watch all the minigames, I'm sure it's on YouTube. You don't need to see me sitting there and telling a rabbit to spin around for an hour. Maybe you want that. Too bad. No. Level 5. The end. And as I said, there's nothing after the credits, so... You should have left. I don't know what you expected. I found this weird potato, Randall. Ah, yes. The... Uh, oh. He's like, thank you. I will watch this later. More like late ton. Hoo hoo hoo. So then it has come to pass, and we shall see if the Azran were worth my trouble. I have sacrificed everything for this moment. Master, you've done it. It's the Hanging Gardens of Babylon under Paris. Behold, the Nautilus Chamber of Arkbadine. What? It's quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Huh? Hold your ground. Oh. It is perfect weather for a day of world domination. Trespassers, this site is now controlled by Targent. Do we go quietly? These cowards are not in charge here. You are not recognized as any type of authority. And you disgust me with your demented worldview. I will not let you steal that which I have earned! It seemed like that hurt when he was playing it off. Holy shit. What if Descalade died here? No, his fluffy neck thing. Descony. Oh, Descony. You cannot do this. You have no right. No contrary, boy. Actually, I have every right. Now, let's just have a look. Did he not run? Did he not run into that smoke cloud? <sighs> He's of no concern. Forget him. Secure the last of the Azran ruins. Years of work. Well worth it. Well worth it. Mist Hallery's Garden of Healing. Ambrosia, the City of Harmony. And now, the Nautilus Chamber of Aquadine. We finally have all three of the great legacies. And when I'm finished, 
The power of the Azran civilization shall be ours. Tune in next time. <laughs> what the fuck was that cutscene? Every part of that cutscene was my favorite part of that cutscene. Did you enjoy Professor Layton of the Miracle Man? I have questions! How dare you? How dare you break the fourth wall right now when I'm reeling? The fucking, like, butler doing, like, do we go quietly? Like, just holy shit. You have reached the end of the story, but the game is far from over. There are exactly 135 puzzles scattered throughout the story you just completed. There are like 100 of them. That's a lot of puzzles. Try to complete all of them. You can lock new content in the bonus sections. Do you have what it takes to conquer some of the most baffling puzzles in the game? Enjoy the rest of Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Thanks. It's at least a C plus. New episodes have been added. Good. Since you've come to the end of the story, you may now save your game. When you continue, your game will pick up right after you saved Monteor. You can explore the town, collect items, solve any puzzles you missed. That's nice. That's actually post game. That's cute. I saved. Yeah, I did 109 out of 135 puzzles. That's, that's a lot of puzzles. Like you saved before, nothing happened. Well, there was there was a point in no return, and then you have to get through all of that, and then you can save during the post game. So. Hey, Josh. I did, I did every puzzle in the other one. Well, because that's including all the extra bonus puzzles, because if you had me here, then you get into this, and this is where all the extra stuff is. This is latent challenges. Do these, they have more puzzles, and then there's a daily puzzle. Top secret. This is what's tied to your pickle rats. I only have 3841. You need 5500 to unlock it. But also, I could, I could just, um... I could just do this. Who's gonna know? Who's- you're not gonna knock them, are you, chat? Listen. Let's load up my other save. I'm not gonna go through all this, because it's not really worth it, but... It's just like, oh, you can watch the cutscenes again. Look at that Luke in the bottom right! He's so tiny and happy. Wait, come back. Is it playing the whole cutscene? What are you doing? This is very elaborate. Whoa! Yep. Yep. Profiles. Oh, God. I mean, this, this really... This tells the whole story, doesn't it? If you kind of squint, you're like, Oh, look, it's two lanes! And you look closer, and you're like, Oh. I do kind of prefer the 2D art. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's okay. Um. Yeah. The perfect gentleman. Might as well look upset. Everyone's here. Great. You get, you get that, you get the idea of it. Art. It's just background art. Looks good, though. Anyway. Get the mayor and his stash. Get him out of here. We made the trip desco- I'm no desco- but I, I told- I'm no desco I'm desco Oh my god. Then where's Angela? Guys, Luke is desco I'm desco Oh, what? But, but, what? But, 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 I, des, but, I, I'm no, but, I, desk, but, I'm no, but, I still have several quests, but, I'm no child. Shit. But, I'm Descale. But, I'm Descale. Sorry for the spoilers. I'm the Randall, I told this was, this, I can't, this has been a detective in, Hen, guess I'll, guess I'll, Henry, I, Henry, 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 I, Henry, I, All right, anyway, I need to go have dinner in the long stream. Uh, thanks for hanging out, though. I'm gonna get cop alerts. Um, there were a lot of them. YouTube poops when they. He's just surprised, right? I hope you enjoyed Professor Lane and the Miracle Mask. At some point, we'll do Azran Legacy, and uh, that'll be that'll be it forever. No, and then Ace Attorney at some point, and then Professor Lane, and then after that, New World of Steam. Whenever that happens. So, um, if you're gonna bounce, thanks for watching. If you're gonna stick around and join me for a raid. When I'm done reading alerts, and talk amongst yourselves about how stupid this game is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Josh, I saw it. Let me... Did I grab it? Um... Turn volume up. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. You know me the Thank you. 
You ready? Good work. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, I'm down a smidge. Uh, bravo. Uh, da, 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 da. Here for the beginning and end of the game. I feel like I was caught in an avalanche. This is valid. Correct. Hulu and Woohoo, thanks for 37 months. This recent message contains a puzzle like the chess piece ones you've done. Can you split up the following into four quadrants to make sense? No, it's lost. Rebecca Roney, thank you for the raid. Ed is everywhere. Thanks for 19 months. What does Kiryu say when someone asks what his profession is and he transports wood types harvested from a type of tree that grows in temperate environments? Oh, I karaoke. Thank you, Ed. It's a lot of months. Thank you. Cold Cell, thanks for 44 months. Well, I can't tell which is the four, but have two fours for 44 months. Universe Fireworks, 13 months. I've been here for a while, huh? Thank you. Scaredy the Raid. Ryuk, thanks for 31 months. Smash Matt, 36 months. Three years. Enjoy your O- your- your, uh, out- no. Your O key. Yes, your O key. And, thanks for the tier two. Three years, hard to tell. I forgot exactly when I realized you were still out there after you left Grumps and started watching regularly. I'm just glad I eventually did, because you're such a positive influence. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Andre and Calvi, thank you both for the raids. Sargoto with the hammy. And Sargoto gifted 10 subs to Netrook44, Beanie Loser, Ac Elec Axella Creates, Clipping3, Foreside7, Adamistic27, Neurotic Ginger, Xeno Penumbra, The L Master, and Juicy Wizard. Lumen Doomen gifted a sub to Dr. Beppus. Universal gifted two subs to Waggle Dance and Angel Math1984. Randy355 gifted five subs. To Ugly Crying Teeth, Fire Cat the Kid, Image Corrupted, As Your Eyes Zero, and J Hughes 17776. Thank you. Gur gifted five subs. To Zabruto, the Angry Scientist, Penguin 976, Roxby, and Captain Dudley. Dudley. Universal gifted three more subs. To Snail Physics, the Mashi Alpha, and the Doodle. Kathy Shone gifted a sub to Luminous Decibel. Toaster Posey gifted five subs to Blue Twitch. Sharpest Ensign, Estes Soup, the original Swayabu, and Man. Main. Main Critic? It's like Leet Speak. I'm trying to. M4N3CTR1C. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Palak gifted 10 subs to Earthboy Bebop, Code Puppy, Sea Salt, Yuki Blade, Hut J509, Storm Null, Q1, Havel, Beardy Fox Bear, and Digi Harps. Smash my thing for the 100 bits. 3DS eShop also has DSi Wear, DSi Wear games, which was on the DSi. There's some neat games on that. Be sure to add some to the recommended doc just in case you'd be interested. Thank you. I, from what I've seen of the DSi games, I'm probably going to pass, but if there's any that you think are especially worth checking out, I appreciate it. Windslash, thanks for five gifted subs. To Perbzy, Shidon, Shadow Spectrum, Lynx Bob 20 xd 6 and Jeeves, Foresight 7, gifted a sub. I think they were gifted subs to Ping it for. Thank you. Gifting a sub to Unhairy. Universe of Fireworks with 280 bits and then 100 bits. Meister Jazz with 96 bits. Just think about everything they did for that joke. That's so much. Uh, Aqua Berry, thanks for 100 bits. Crudberry, thank you for the raid. Lexel Hunter, thank you for the raid. Sweet Fang, thank you for the raid. Big Cave Monster, thanks for 69 bits. You see, Randall, Henry's a shining example of selfless individual that wished to help others and did not blindly strike out for personal glory without caring what others thought or cared. It's simple. Solve this puzzle, Layton. Let go. Thank you for the bits. I... The fact... I, like, the when those bits came in, that was, like, perfectly synced with if he let go of his hand again. It was just like, Jesus Christ. Thank you. And Limestones, thanks for the bits. How does Layton Crazy compare to Rhythm Thief Crazy? They're different brands of crazy. I feel like... I feel like Layton games... It's, it, they're comparable in that they both give you plausible scenarios. There's a little bit of magic realism or something going on, but it's just like, okay, we're trucking along. Things are kind of ramping up as the narrative progressing. Then you get either to the final act or in this game's case, more so the epilogue to the final act. And then it just takes a steep fucking climb into Crazy Pants Town. Crazy Pants Townland. And you're just like, how did we get here? What are you talking about? Um, it's just a matter of where that happens, but the thing is you kind of have to space them out. And I think Layton does a good job of spacing them out, whereas Rhythm Thief literally in one sentence goes, I am Napoleon, reincarnated or whatever, and I have now obtained 
the hanging gardens of Babylon that were buried beneath Paris and can fly and I can control the weather. That's all in like one sentence. And that's like, that's too many, that's too many crazy things. Like I was struck. It was like being slapped across the face. I was like, I, blah. it was very good. It in fact, up to rhyme scheme code. I stand corrected. Thank you, Bryce. Absolute nosedive in an updraft. Yeah, it crashed down and then the debris went into an updraft up into space. So, not quite one to one, but I still adore it. I still enjoy playing Red and Thief, even though I had some issues with it. But I love me some lane. I think this one is is a very strange one in the grand context of lane. I think it's not it's not the strongest one for puzzles. I think because it was the first one, the 3DS, they leaned more heavily on like, look at these real time 3D things we can do with like mini games. And some of the puzzles aren't really puzzles. And then a lot of puzzles are just math. I think it's not as good variety of good stupid puzzles. And it's not quite paced as well. But also, I think this is the lane game I've streamed where I did the most puzzles. I don't quote me on that, but I spent a lot of time just talking to everyone during chapters, which is probably why it took me so long to get through. Whereas in the other ones, I'm just like, I'm done talking. I do that earlier. Whereas today, I just kind of did it for today. So anyway, 12 match stick. Yeah, I'm excited to get to Azran at some point. I don't know when. Maybe next month. Maybe May. I don't know exactly when. As always, it's just like whenever there's a good time in the schedule. But we might be getting to Metroid soon. People have been asking for that. I don't know if anyone still cares. It's only been out for like a month. Not even a month. Did you know it has a reversible cover? I didn't, but I bought it physical and waited. Neat. I always care. Well, thank you. If you do in May, it might be on my birthday. Happy almost birthday, Cat Cat, in two months. That's close enough to... Anyway, we'll see about that. Um, maybe some other things. A lot of games coming out. The first three being more self-contained, the prequels of this overarching plot. I think it's smart. Because, for one, that's kind of the natural convergence in a lot of media. That it goes on for a while, and then it... It goes from serialized narratives into more long-form... Narrative with... You've introduced, introduced all these characters that have their own things going on. You have these little bite-sized episodes, and now it's, like, coming together. So this isn't a linear narrative. You know, it's a prequel, but still in terms of the development of the series. I think it makes sense, and it also makes them feel more cohesive. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to get back to Azran because of, in my mind, the two 3DS games are kind of paired together. And I remember a lot more about Miracle Mask. Like, when I think about the two of them, like, three out of the four things I think of are from this game. And I don't know why that is, but uh, maybe if I get back to it, I'll be like, oh, right. That'll probably happen. Because there's so much in this world. I was like, I forgot about this, but it's kind of coming back. But it's been 10 years. Can't believe it. Because I got into the Layton series not super late. I got into them at like the tail end, like around when Last Spectre came out, I think, was when I started picking them up. So I kind of like played through all of the original ones on the DS. And then these were like the new ones in my mind. And they're 10 years old. Anyway. Purple. Thank you for 10 months. Hats go on head. They do. They can. When Twitch was put up a million years ago. How do I do emotes? Like that. <laughs> you also, if you're on uh, desktop or mobile, if you hit colon, if you type in a colon and start to type in, a little autocomplete thing will pop up if you don't want to use the emote picker. If you know the name, but... but and uh, if you use BTTV, you can hit tab. I think that's BTTVism. Anyway, for raid suggestions... Space Time's playing Pizza Tower. Oh, hell yeah. It's been a while since we've raided Jeff. Let me take a look at who else is going. Don't type in your colon. You can't stop me. Bath's doing Fortnite Fridays. The other's doing some Deep Rock Galactic. Jonan's also doing a Fortnite Friday. Loading Pat's. Pat's doing Exo Primal Lobby. I mean, it's Friday night. Right, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Michelle's doing Persona, 5, Persona 4 Golden. Ooh, you. You know, that works for me. Let's raid Jeff. And Jeff. And Jeff. And Jeff. Is that is, is that a, is that a raid message? Um, but uh, if you are so interested, my uh, forever fiance, we'll get married eventually. My fiance, Bath and Jan, is doing Fortnite Fridays. They do it every week. And uh, games with chat. So the thing, I, I don't know if it's open open, you have to ask to like get in, but um, if that sounds like a hoot, recommend it. Go say hi to Jeff, he's a good dude, playing Pizza Tower. Um, looks like he's hanging out in the, the western lobby. Been going for five hours, he's been going for a while. 
Uh, he might be wrapping up. Oh, is he wrapping up? I don't know. I have a stream muted. Well, my raid's gonna go soon. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out to- Maybe I'll hit raid. Because it looks like he's just talking. But anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, right? No, hopefully. Goodbye! See ya, thanks for hanging out. I'll be back soon on another stream something Tuesday? Sunday? Whatever day to, Later. Goodbye! Thanks for hanging out. See you later. This reminds me of a puzzle! Uh, thanks for watching, FOD Watchers. I hope you enjoyed Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Um, take care. Be well. Think of a- do some more puzzles. Pick up a Sudoku app on your phone. And then Layton will be with you every day. Some of the- I think some of the DS games are on mobile devices. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in Azran Legacy at some point. Um, and I, don't, I gotta go. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. Thanks for... Thanks for watching. Professor!